Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we are going to be starting Sly 2. Um, so if you guys have been watching my channel, we just finished Sly 1. And I promised that we would try to play through 1, 2, 3, and potentially 4. So here we are. We are at the beginning of 2. Um, now just a <clears throat> very quick thing. I actually am pretty sick. I just came back from my honeymoon. And on the plane ride back, I just caught something and... So, I'm actually finished like Cooper. I'm pretty good. Um, I think my voice sounds pretty normal, but just for reference, if I cough, if I need some water, I am actually sick. But um, I'm gonna try my best to just straight up not show it. Let's go. Breaker Alpha Foxtrot, this is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. They still have the classic two cam thing. And you're Although, sitting time, duck. Don't let me, like, move I read the you loud and heads. clear, lizard. Sure no, I, I'm... Forget it. You're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain so talk, them in what's your stats? Seconds. Well, I've There's established clockwork. myself at the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire also, I'm the service it, elevator so. if wonder. you can power it up from that I am on PC. station. Yeah, Hang up, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. All right, so we got to go for the lever, and as far as I'm concerned, it's literally the exact same controls. Now, I don't think there is any bottles in this room, so I think we're all good. And, um... For those of you not familiar with Sly at all, <clears throat> obviously the first game was pretty linear, and you had set maps. Okay, this one follows that like tradition, but it um, it's very much more open world style. The the bottles are actually like in the world and stuff. It was Bentley, but same exact characters as the first game. So. Let me at that security computer. Yeah, so very much a, very much similar to Sly 1, but very, very different to Sly 1 too. I, in my the opinion, they made everything bad good, and everything that was good, they didn't really take away. So, there yeah, the at least that's what system. I remember from Working the game. The so we'll see. Um, we'll see if that kind of sticks to what I remember. And then this game, we can actually use Rest the points for something, which is clear. cool. <laughs> Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Lit. Thanks, Bentley. And we got some guards up in this piece. But well, funny enough, they... I don't, I don't know if they're deaf or something, but... I was straight up just, like, hit everything, and... I don't think they can. Oh, I don't think they can particularly tell. And oops, that way. And a little throwback to game one. Got the Panda King. Ooh, this is. Oh, that was kind of funny. Thank you. You're all doing a great job. I think this was at Miss Voodoo. We got mugshot and there's Crowley. Okay, cool. All right, let's keep going to where we need to be. What is this? I think this is the map we're gonna go to this game. I don't think that's an old map. I wonder. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of um, maybe spoilers to what's coming up next, but. According to my information, the clockwork parts are being stored up there. Wow, now convenient. to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, I think they've said rendezvous the like three the times just this game already. With guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. Now, why in the world would if I bother going serves, on the floor? You need to jump and hit the circle button to yeah. run along ropes. I got you, got my skirt. Here we go. Honestly, I like this beginning level quite a bit. You don't often just see like straight up like cars and the world around you in Sly games. It's kind of the difference between the one and two, is you don't in one you never really got things like this, which is really really cool. But anyway, we have to touch ground here. We just scared. We gotta scare all the pigeons, the pigeons. I 
minutes. I could even make this faster by just doing a jump spiring here. Trucks. Dude, you think I can open this? Hey, yo. He actually has like more of a part in the game than just the vehicle citizen. this time, which is cool too. I hope you weren't harmed by my meteoropic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept at a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe. Only destruction. Yeah, could you the maybe only thing about this raw game energy into the security gate? Is of course, Murray's lines of connection? It seems like last game he was just kind of chilling. He seems to be like his lines are very weird. This game, they're yeah, I don't know. I still love him, okay. but he's definitely a little All cringy clear. compared to Slime Bentley. Even Bentley's pretty you. Fear not. I shall bend it like the truth. It's like, what is that? I shall bend it like the truth? Murray. Solid what? work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Blit. See you, Murray. Appreciate you, big dog. Again, I love how all the guards are just over there chilling, but like none of them actually look up. I don't get it, Sly. The clockwork part should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. Oh, Freeze, shit. Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable. You always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Comnita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts! Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Now nah, we dip him. Hold still! Later. Yeah, why would I do something like that? And her pistol is actually sicker this time around. She can actually like shoot. Shake Look, a leg, just a puny Murray. little, time to go. puny little laser they had last game. You can't run forever. And again, I don't think there's any bottles in this. Place, yeah, well, so we're good. This is where things get fun. Freeze! We run it. I'm surprised Murray and Bentley can keep up, to be honest. That's the one part that's like, Stop. really? You're telling this me Murray can now run Carmelita? You guys I mean, go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita yeah, warm busy. up the van for you. You're here. all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. I don't, I don't, I don't like jail. I'm cash. It's the po, po We gotta get out of here. Still have those little Take squad cars. Here, just no, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Stop, thief! See, we can break this, right? Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. Freeze! Whoa, where am I going? Woo! Alright, come on. Come on, dude. Focus, focus. focus up, focus up. Hey, there's a car. So we get a chase. I'll be there just a minute. Man. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this one, I'll, I'll steal some things here. Let's go ahead and make our way to the place we can go to. We're still getting chased back there. You can't run forever! Yeah, I can. I'm okay. headed for your position. Jumping fast so we can get out of here. It's coming. It's coming. I come back here, Ringtail. Uh, I'll find you, Cooper. I'm sure you will. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. 
And that Constable Mila, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue, or an intentional clue? Either way, it's our only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. All right, let's go get the parts back, huh? Let's not let him come back alive. That would be pretty cool. Spooky bird. All right, here we go. And again, they kept a lot of the classic things like, um, they're still going to have the title slides, and we still have technical, like, episodes, you know, like, I was the Crawley, and or, so we still have, like, a map with a villain. Um, but I think it's structured in a really, really nice way. Alright, let's go ahead and start the Black Chateau. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Scary. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. All right. <clears throat> but those plans end tonight. Tail feathers, here we go. Wonder what he's doing with those. And the amazing title slide. Actually, I'm not a really big fan of this one. The black chateau and there's like a little spider web. There's not a whole lot of continuity with this one because we're in Paris, I think. Or some something... That title slide doesn't hit as much as some of the other ones do, personally. Yeah, we're in Paris, because that's the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, so I, I don't know. But, um, again, what's really, really different about this game is the main map actually has a lot of substance to it, unlike the number one, which is super cool. So we're always going to have a hideout, and then we can uh, come over here, and we can hit a kind of thief net. And actually buy upgrades with the coins on like last game where um i don't think i used the coins maybe i didn't look hard enough i'm not yeah anyway um so we can go ahead and get out of here we're gonna go ahead and take sly and bentley will kind of show us how to do like missions and stuff i tell you bentley it's gonna be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded
promoted to your Vanakuka. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. So, um, we're gonna go there, but we're gonna go there in a minute. I kinda wanna show you guys some of the things that are super cool. So, once again, the bottles are on the outside of the map now. Yeah. So while we walk around like this area, we'll be able to kind of look around for these. And then press the left analog stick. And we can kind of leave some virtual markers into your feedback. Oh, I'll help you find your way around. Order R. The controls inverted. Okay, so I quickly just inverted it in the actual emulator itself. And um, hopefully it doesn't screw us up later. Okay, here we go. Um, and we will go to the mission in just a second. But what's cool is they added another way of making money. So you can see that there's actually like guards and stuff running around the map. But if we sneak up behind them and press zero, we actually just straight up steal out of their pockets. Cool. But sometimes um, you're dumb and another guard sees you. And the other difference is in this game, the guards aren't a one hit, and they take multiple hits. So you kind of have to batter them for a little while before they do anything. But now I totally failed at my attempt of actually trying to steal something. Anyone else has anything else in their pockets? In the water. And they're cool. And we also just like hide under stuff, which is kind of sick too. Alright. I need to find someone that actually has something on them that's worthwhile. Glanced over. Did I kill everyone? Yeah, this is the bottle that we kind of walk on. Alright, well, I'm going to click these two bottles. Oh, hey. Hmm. That guy looks like he has something in his pocket. Let's go ahead and make our way up to this bottle and then we'll go to that guy. Glad I hit that before I fell, because that would have been kind of embarrassing. Come on, man. Somebody's got to have something. Okay, this guy has something nice in his pocket. See? Okay, the worst one. Bronze comb. So, these guys have, like, extra stuff in their pocket that can be worth a little bit more money. Now, what we just got was, like, the worst thing that's basically worth nothing. But, you can get really lucky sometimes and get something that's, you know, worth quite a bit. But, anyway... We got a few bottles. We'll, we'll, we're definitely not gonna try to collect them all at one time. There's really not like a point or anything. Oh, I don't know what I just did there, but that was kind of sick. Definitely gonna grab that one though. Come on, what did I just do? What? Oh, I can charge an attack. Now. Okay, that's pretty cool. It, oh, another bottle. Alright, we got half of them already. Now, here's my question. Is that the one I'm supposed to be headed to? I think that is the one I'm supposed to be headed to. Alright. Let's... Yeah, screw it. Let's get started. Sly, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then, reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. And if you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle yeah. button to grab yeah. hold. We've done plenty of that Try already, Try climbing but... up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. Cool. Alright, and we need to get to a couple of towers, it seems. Looks like that frogman's coming this way. Okay, this guy's kind of dumb. And again, we're going to try to steal as much money as we can while we're here because we do have upgrades to actually get this time around. Hey, frogman, you got something on you? I don't know where frogman went. Alright. Up we go. I've projected holographic markers near interactive objects like 
PvP. When you're near these markers, press the circle button to use the object. Okay. Great. The first one's in position. I've uploaded the this. next waypoint is your lead mask imager. Remember, click the L3 button to locate your next objective. Okay. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh, there's okay. So there's two bottles right here. We'll go ahead and grab both of those. I don't have a so I'm just gonna smash that one. Smash that one. Okay. Let's see if there's anything. If there's any loot. I'm gonna take this guy's stuff. Where, where's he going, bud? Okay. I can steal both their stuff, to be honest. Huh? No! Alright. Laters. Uh, don't follow me up here. Don't, don't do that. You're gonna regret it. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do this other satellite. I mean, this one's pretty close to our headquarters. Okay. okay. work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head out for the cellar. Okay, let's do that. I do hear the very, very amazing clinking of a bottle. There you are, bud. While we head over there, let's go ahead and give another look see. Pretty beautiful bottles lying around. Point. Okay. <clears throat> Is this where we're supposed to head? Ooh. Oh. Good to see you, little okay. buddy. I guess the Bro. way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like rats. some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. All right, pal. Let's get to it. Oh, so is he about to just like, like dash and smash? Or are we trying to do this sneakily? I mean, all right. What up? Bonk. Bonk. I guess we can just straight up square up. I don't want to feel like that. Trash this game. Hold on, Sly. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. Thanks, to man. get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Oh. Looks like you're on your own from here. Eh, I'm used to it. Thanks for the help. Anytime, partner. Alright, Murray. Is there any cash I can uh, zoink? Nope. Alright, let's go. I love these lasers. Sly, in order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To these do are that, horribly get placed near the tables. table and press the circle button. These flashlight guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. Okay. Oh, let me steal your. Oh, you got no cash on the ground. Alright, I'm smashing on the ground. Anything in here 
It's not gonna be any of use to me, but I can do it. Alright, I don't think I can get up there. I think we're gonna come out of there eventually. That sneak attack slam move Ooh. only works on guards who haven't seen you. <laughs> that was until dumb. this guy turns his back and then let him what? have it. Okay. Alright, I'm. Am I dumb? Okay, I can just go right through here in a minute. Yeah. There we go, kind of. That wasn't the brightest. Alright, bud. Watch your back. Okay, can I not get detected by these guys either? If you get in a fight with those rats, the sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. Yo, I just need your comb, bud. I just want your comb. Please don't notice me, I just want his comb. No, I was one away. Oh my god, I actually did it. There we go. <laughs> Bronze watch, okay. Not useful. Nice. Oh, there's more of them. Alright. Oh, this game is gonna give me some money now. Nothing, alright. These guys are cheap. What about these instruments, huh? Hmm, a little bit of money. Oh, my cough is about to flare up. <clears throat> oh boy. Good thing we're near the end of the episode, huh? Another air vent. Another air vent. Judging Ooh, yes. angle, it's okay. Here we go. There's Dimitri. Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation. <clears throat> Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. Oh, we're here just straight up about to take Tap some photos. Tap the R3 huh? button. You know, click the right analog stick to bring up your Badakucom. It's already outfitted with a spy cam. <laughs> Use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Okay, Pass take the, the photo, bud. button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. Okay. That's Bonk. our target, the Matry, professional lounge lizard that was a horrible and international photo, by the way. fortune. Okay, money printer. That generator. generator seems to be powering the security systems down here. <laughs> Please do not blow up the generator. That's probably a good idea, huh? Oh no, I was trying to take a pic. Ingenious. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. Alright. Mission done. Alright. So. Oh. Okay. Well, the first. recon photos are a grim reminder of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights. Stepped up patrols. The sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. 
To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Let's do it. Okay, so I think can we go back to the warehouse. Okay, we're gonna end today's episode. I'm gonna go have a coffee fit, and we'll be back for the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, how's it going, guys? We're playing side two again. Just a reminder, I'm still sick, so I'm gonna sound a little weird. But hey, we're gonna push through here. I've been wanting to play this game for a couple weeks now, actually. So I'm not gonna let that stop me. Okay, smoke bomb. Ooh, that's 300. <clears throat> what about trigger bomb? That can be useful for whenever we play with Bentley. Okay, I don't have enough just yet. So, we'll go ahead and grab slide. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and... We could steal a bit more money. And try to get that smoke bomb. But I will need 300. But also, I need to find... Bro, Bentley, shut up, bro. I don't want to play the game. Chill. But I need, um, for some people to have, like, items in their pocket. Oh, he heard some. Alright, we dipping. We dipping. I want to go there. Oh, okay. There's one bottle. Let's grab this bottle, and then we actually will go to the checkpoint. point. Let's continue with the game here. Skirt. Okay. Let's go ahead and run over to the checkpoint. Oh, wait, this guy's some in his pockets. All right, that belongs to me now, bud. As long as I don't, like, hit you on accident. All right, give me something good, huh? <clears throat> okay, silver watch. Um, there's an auto sell. I forgot, do I have to sell them? Is there anywhere I can go? Okay, so yes, I actually do have to sell them. Okay. I didn't even know like that. Okay. Mission one. <clears throat> with a bug. I need you to sneak into Dimitri's office and swap it with the original. Nice. Okay. So we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought yeah, things fine. might go more Let's smoothly <laughs> with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with the fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. Alright. Oh, they just should have put it on my back. Okay. Oh, so I'm guessing what he means by that is, um, <clears throat> don't get into a fight, please. A little jump, a little... Do, I, do you guys want me to smash that window? I will. Oh, man, it's very stealthy of me. Ooh. And this is a, a level that I remember. Like in my little nostalgia. The schematic indicates that door is locked from the inside. That's all right. I never was one for the direct approach. Swell, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. <clears throat> cool. And I'm guessing I can't just walk up there, right? And I still have the painting on my back, so I still, I still. What an absolute banger, dude. Maybe I can just walk up there. I need to get up there. I need to get up there. Alright. I can't see where I'm going. Can I spray for on this? Oh, okay. I just don't die. Okay. up here a little Dimitri, come on at your loud and clear okay. I've got to high five girl up to my main man work in the disco spice sales are up 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 keep up with that spice part and to every home spice, spice down in the special thick money making room that nice and some jobs there man I know keep those steaming ahead with my new clockwork pretty plates all of us retire early you picking up on what I'm throwing now 
Cool. I am picking up what you're throwing down, Dimitri. That was always one of my favorite ones as a kid. He's picking up what I'm putting down. There's the safe. Okay, so, but I don't have all the bottles yet. Is you he? managed to get the original painting back to me in one piece, I can sell it through my internet connections and make us a ton of coins. Is he not going to notice that his painting is just completely different? Okay. So, we just got to make it back in one piece, huh? How hard can that be, right? One little... Jump. Get out of here. And we do gotta come back though. We gotta find all the bottles, we gotta come back. But now we know where the safe is. It's in his office. So. Avoid getting spotted by the flashlight guards. If you get caught, you can run away by holding down the R1 button. <clears throat> okay, so now if we go over here, how much can we sell for there, bud? Two thirty-two. Easy. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back and buy a smoke bomb. Buy a smoke bomb. And let's go buy the trigger bomb. Right and the real question is, how do I use that smoke bomb? I don't really. I don't. I don't think they ever tell us how to use it. Do something good. Silver comb, okay. Not very good. Anyway, I'm ever gonna have like some gold things. Okay. Where's the job at? There you go. I just intercepted an email from Dimitri. He's ordered his guards to ring the boat's bell when the coast is clear. Coast is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. Let's do it. Ring, ring, ring. Banana phone. Oh, it just like pops up instantly. I, like, whatever he's in the middle of, I just ring it. He's like, yup. Okay, but I can't get caught either. Up we go. Yeah, I can't steal anything from his pockets, right? I don't think Dimitri has any pockets. I like to take a pick of him. Okay, we just gotta kind of keep on his tail here. That was a stretch. What up? I'm just gonna check behind him. Bro, I'm on the roof. I'm guessing that's a way to make it a little harder. Like, oh, you can't be behind him. Bro, I'm not gonna... Oh. Wait, his butt. Oh, man, I do that something on him. I want to steal so bad. I'm doing it. No. I don't want him to get too far, but I want to steal this guy's stuff. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Go comb. Okay, cool. Alright. I gotta catch me, Dimitri. Not there, bud. <clears throat> get you a raccoon who can do both. Keep it smooth. Get funky. Get funky. Right, where are you going, bud? You do be grooving, though. Anyone following? Nope. I'm just like two feet away from you, literally above you. I keep it smooth. Okay. Where are you going? Are you going? You down? won't be able to see what Dimitri is doing from up on that water tower. Go down for a closer view. <clears throat> I will, Belly. Chill. I'm taking my time, brother. Mm. Uh. Aha. 
she have a, she have a heart attack? Good job tailing him, Sly. He had no idea you were watching <clears throat> while he typed in that secret code. Spooky. Hold on. Looks like that door leads to the nightclub's aqua pump. This might be useful for the heist. Bob. Four percent. Okay. You know what I'm kind of feeling though. I kind of want to grab. I kind of want to find all the bottles. We don't have too many left. We have 22 of them. I don't think we've been to this area. Yet. I like it. There's got to be a bottle or two. area with the bottle. I like totally swipe at them and I never hit them and I just have to like run into them like a doofus. Bottles done fairly quickly and quickly. I don't have to like look any of them up either. Instantly, no. Haha, <laughs> there you are, bud. Okay. There we go. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and. I'm actually gonna go back for both pieces of art. Just because it'll get me quite a bit of money. And then we'll go go to the safe. Now let's go return this piece here. And then let's go ahead and grab this guy's stuff. Gimme, give gimme. Give silver watch. Ah, you, you're boring. Only silver watch. Why, why aren't you stunt with some gold on? Later. Okay. Let's skirt our way into here. That's so dumb. I don't have to go through all that. <clears throat> Good thing he's not in here. That'd be awkward. It took some higher level math, but I believe <clears throat> the coach in the B3 vault is 231. 2, 3, 1. Two, three, one. Well, all right. I totally forgot. Okay, do, is there moves? Just like last game? Not that bad. But I don't know how to use them, but oh. oh gadget. Smoke bomb. Okay, so there's all my gadgets. Press or R2 to Okay, so I can do that and I can do that. So if I do that, I go Boop. But I only got a certain amount of stamina. Okay. Oh! And this was the classic the role that we had from last game basically. Alright. 
Cool. Let's go ahead and steal his stuff real quick. Don't turn around. Old ring. I think that one's one of the more valuable ones. Okay, silver. Silver comb. All right. Do your buddy got anything? He does have something. I don't, I don't think he'll hear it from that far away, though. <clears throat> Gold comb. All right. You can got a little bit more money on him now. Money on you? Oh, you do. Wonderful. I will um, take it from your pockets. Thank you. Another gold comb. Man, these guys are stacked. Thank you. Oh, I made a mistake. Alright, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You totally did not see me walk up in there, but... Well, if we're going to go with Murray... Let's go ahead and... um. So all that junk. Let's go ahead and get that. And let's go ahead and um equip him with that. So I think that's like an insta kill for most enemies. And that's kinda how it works. I go up to here. Yeah, it's just like the shit of insta kill. Now how many shots does it take to kill a normal person? Okay, two, so it's still a pretty good upgrade. One to two. I think I gotta go. You're gonna die, bud. Let's walk in here and see what we can do. Hurry! I need you to make your way back to the aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. How am I supposed to get past these lasers? Throw. You should be able to break that power box by throwing something at it. Mm. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of what? ice. Well, then press <clears throat> I guess it is a wine. I guess you need ice. Throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle button to pick stuff up. It seems up, weird to have that those to throw. big of blocks of ice. Like, are you trying to cool down like entire containers? Oh, do I straight up need the ice? Oh, I see it multiple times. Okay. You're strong, Murray. Try picking up other stuff in the room. Can I like so I can get all the way from here? I can. Oh, okay. Probably that didn't work. Enemies that are knocked out can be picked up with your stomp move. Throw something at that guard. Then jump up there and pick him up with the circle button. Now, question: Does he get down eventually? Oh, he's still there forever. Okay, we do got a dot. I hate these things, man. I suck at them for some reason. Are they gonna go away? Okay, cool. Toss the rats into that open water main and plug up those pipes. Oh, but I gotta throw something at him first, right? Okay, so I can just go... Wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, more rats, please. Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers, but we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the spotlight control center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. 
Trust me, it's all part of the plan. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, who can we grab? Just Murray. Okay, we can also grab. Who is that fine tiger lady I've been seeing? Okay, I did not hear. I kind of wanted to hear what he said, but that's okay. Okay, where do we go? Okay. Don't shoot. I'm fat. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out three. here, and what? I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. Okay. Okay. Right, take you with me, bud. Oh, actually, no, that is the next one. Maybe it's like farther away. Oh, okay, the next one is farther away. I'm gonna get some real cool moves for all the characters later in the game. I'm really excited about it. Oh, this guy shared the newspapers? I these papers don't sound like they'd be the type of thing to do a lot of damage, but they're fair enough. If you want to break out of your combat stance, hold down the R1 button. R1? Ooh. Oh, I still can get on the roof, okay. I just can't uh, do like the little line things. Shut up. <laughs> I love his jumps, they're so sad. Oh, what am I heading off to again? Ah, there it is. Oh, you want you? You are gonna be thrown. Don't do the third thing. You know what, actually, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, we're playing slide two. Let's go ahead and continue. I think we're, I think we're near the end of this level. I think we have to be, right? 
I don't know. Okay, Sly. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take <coughs> those thugs right. out. Just gotta do some stealing. And um, guards, once again, sneak up behind I am still set. So, um, my voice sounds a bit funny. I am still sick. I'm still recording. It's still the same day as all those other videos. So let's go ahead and uh, zoink. In his pocket. Sometimes you have to dig a little. Let's go ahead and. Oh no! <laughs> no, I did not want to do that. But it's okay. I think we got it. Key. Go ahead and pop. Slam him. Okay, where are these other buddy boys at? There's one. Probably grab this dude's stuff. I don't miss at least. Get one more. Zoink! Give me a key. Check one, check two. Sorry. Dimitri on the mic with a shout out to all my nightclub samurai. Stand tall and feel beautiful. I hear there's some raccoon dude giving us static. If you all spot this cracker box, bam! Make him unhappy. Take no prisoners. Go hardcore. Extreme! Oh no! <laughs> I still got the key though. Sucks for you. Yeah, he's gonna blast me right there. <clears throat> I don't think there's any buddy boys around. We good? We'll be running. Who's sleeping? I think he's over here, right? One more. Zoink! Give me that key. Let's head up over to this guy. Hopefully, it doesn't turn around. Will not be too good. Like I only had two things of coins. Whoopsies. That was close. Alright. One more key. Where? Oh, hello? Turn over here. Oh. Wait, before I do that, can I hit this button? No, that doesn't do anything. Okay, he's up here. Okay, there you are, bud. I was like, I don't even know how in the world I was supposed to find them, but all right, there's the key. You nice get slammed, homeboy. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fail. All right, control panel. Is he talking about whatever this thing is, or is it the outside one? I think it's the outside one. But now, the nice part about exiting the mission is I figured out where. I have to put these stupid keys. So, I say that, and then I... Okay, I have to go... Oh, yes, there they are. I'm like... I swear I just saw it. What in the world? Okay, yes, I have to go put it in this thing. Boink. Why doesn't he do it like slide one where you just, like, chuck some at the locks? I would have preferred it that way. <laughs> Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of a main chandelier and insert that splice clip. Let's do it. Also, why was there six locks just for the fans? That doesn't seem like a very... <clears throat> well, I say not a very logical thing to do and then I fall off a super, super easy ledge so I can't, I guess, say much, but... Okay. I'm overriding the spotlight security guy. That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. <coughs> Sick. Okay. 
Okay. Is there anything else we actually have to do in here? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and make our way out. And I think, are we going to get another one of those little briefing things? Because I don't think there's anything left to do. Is there things I have to do? There is. Okay, Moonlight Rendezvous. Alright, well, that's where we're going. Set up here. Oh, I remember this mission. Hold it, Koopa. Yep. Constable Neela. Another policewoman hot on my tail. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want the likes of the claw gang putting them to use. So what, it takes a thief to catch a thief? Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that you can keep up. Literally. Literally? Don't fall behind. <clears throat> Alright, we chase him. Hold down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with possible deal. Free money? Say less. Hey bro, Neela, I'm literally faster than you bro. You gotta run faster. <clears throat> Alright. Where are you going though? I th this is like, almost reminds me of like, the mission in the original like, PS2 Spider-Man. Where you have to chase Catwoman around the city. Kinda reminds me of that. I wonder if there was any inspiration taken from that. Or, was that an inspiration? I, no way that is an inspiration from this game, but... I mean, I guess that's also a pretty common PS2 trope. All these games is uh, like a following mission. Also, there you did not have to break that infrastructure, Neela. Come on, bro. All of a sudden, now someone does not cable TV because of you. How do you feel about yourself? Some guy just kind of watched the office or something, and this is gone. Oh, why is she destroying absolutely everything? Dude, chill. I thought I was supposed to be following you. We're not, I, I didn't know we were just like commit vandalism and destroy people's property. I, I didn't sign up for this, Neela. <clears throat> yeah, this is definitely not a very hard game. She's not particularly doing anything crazy here. While she's breaking the fountain. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, we are absolutely going to work well together. Sick. That job inside the disco will okay, we need Bowie. All right, let's go ahead and grab good old Bentley. Go ahead, and we do have a trigger mine, I think, right? Ooh. So I think his ability is just bombs, right? And then he also does have his bow. But if I do this, I can actually throw a bomb and blow it up. Ooh. Okay. So that's actually a really, really cool bomb, because I can... Oh, and Bentley can do some sneaking too. Okay, that's pretty cool. Because this... So, because Sly can't really attack from super far away, but this is actually, like, pretty cool. Now, I'm terrible and missed, but... If I do that, I just go... Oh. Oh, he walked back into it! <laughs> Alright. I was kind of dumb on his part, but fair enough. Alright. Taps are kind of sick. <coughs> Alright, let's do this. Sorry about the coffin. <clears throat> okay, Bentley. To get past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Yep. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb. Boink. And then get out of the way before it explodes. Whoop. And this guy, I can sure just throw job. a bomb at him. Now, use your sleep darts to get by the guard. Press the R3 button. You know, click the right analog oh, stick I have this to bring too. up your binocular. 
and then tap the R1 button to fire a dart. He's out. Drop a bomb on him while he's down to keep him that way. That's kind of cool. I totally forgot about this thing. Bentley's definitely good. I like Bentley's abilities are so much fun. Okay, we're in hey, Bentley, here. How you holding up out there in the field? Fine, fine. I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. That's facts. Now, can I should have just bombed these from far away? Okay, never mind, apparently. There we go. So, can I just... I'm not too far away. Okay, sick. So, I can't just, like, Kobe it all the way over there. Which could make a lot of these a little easier. See, even this guy put this guy to sleep. There's a bomb on him. There's a bomb on him here. Sleep. Oh, that's not good. There we go. You sleeping later. Throw that bomb up there. Okay. And let's mosey on our way to the other one. Can't do the rail climb, so I just have to do the dash. Where is that next pillar? Is this a pillar here or am I tripping? Let's just throw a bomb at it to see. That is not one of them. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's over here. Okay. Is that close enough? Okay. okay. One more. Oh, we were like next to it and we just missed it like a dummy. Alright. Alright, we'll just go ahead and place that one. Let's make that one easy. Alright, let's go ball goes boom. Also, that's a really sucky dance sword considering you try to dance and you die. Like, what's even the point of it? Wow, Bentley. We felt that all the way back here at the safe house. And you were right. The peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. All right. Good job, Bentley. Again, coolest abilities. Absolutely coolest. But God, they're, hard to, they're a little hard to use, but they're definitely really cool. Okay, fellas. The dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up, then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock side. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the side. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. Alright. I don't particularly see why we can't just run into the room and just grab them. I just feel like they're very highly guarded, but hey, who am I to say, right? Where's the mission? Okay, so we got Bentley first. Let's go ahead, let's go back in. And grab our boy Bentley. Okay, that, you gotta go to sleep. There you go. You gotta go to sleep too. There we go. Come on, chum. Let's get to that water tower. Let's do it. We dash and we're doing the dash. 
he's doing it. A little penguin, penguin water. Oop, there's rats. You guys are gonna die. Be a bomb. Skirt! Bop! There you go. There you go. Oh, thanks, Murray. Oh, my bad, Murray. Jump into my arms! I'll toss you up there! Alright. Bro, I'm in your arms, bro. Grab me. Oh, I gotta press zero. <laughs> Wait. There we go. Right, you gotta go up. Start. Really? That straight up didn't. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? Whoa. <laughs> Is that what I gotta do? Place a bomb? Okay, here we go. Kobe number two. Skirt. Lit. I'm inside. I need to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plasma? Hmm. To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Okay. So. I still have no idea where I'm supposed to get the water to go. Oh, there's one more over here, ain't there? Yep, there we go. Gotcha. Dude. Success! Sly, the water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off, all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Think pocket the keys to his repair truck without being seen. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, what am I supposed to do with these other boys? How am I supposed to take them out quietly? Well, they got stuff on them, so I'm gonna steal that first for show, for show. Gimme, gimme, what you got? Silver! Ah, uh, that's not bronze. Cheapskate. Alright, gimme your key, bruh. You with a big old pistol. Got that thing thing on him, for real. Alright, okay. truck repair keys. Head back to the fountain to make the exchange. Oh, we gotta run back to the fountain? Alright. I'm dashing. Where you oh, <laughs> where you at? It's all you. Alright, Murray. Head out for the repair truck. Okay, that's that way, yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, <clears throat> penguin watch. Let's do this. You know what? I'm about to put you to sleep, bruh. Later. All right. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick shift. That's true. I we drove it last. I game. need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. All right. Um. Yo, what's the easiest way up there? Am I dumb? Okay, I just gotta get on top of a building. I can go boing. I can go boing. Then I can do the crawly basically through the window at some point. So get up here. And spire point. I'm in position. Will do, bud. Um, not there. All right. Sorry. Okay. Nope. What about there, huh? There we go. Hooks on. Pull away. Sly, the guards are on to us. Protect the oh. truck. Oh, I gotta protect them. Stay low. Can I do a little? Uh -huh. Don't do it. Oh, did I hit the truck? Who else is coming? Nah, don't do that. No! He died for that one. There we go. No! no. Anyone 
vamos. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Let's do it. Skirt. I wonder if there's gonna be anyone down there. Hmm. God! So raccoonas do this. Right totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen to me, Tree. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Yeah? Look. See the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can... What is this with clocks, bro? <laughs> have you no vision? Are you hearing what I beam to you? Do you think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. Do you think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. Bro, I best have boss no idea ever. what you're saying. And your suit sucks. Damn. Oh no! Let's dance! Let's dance indeed. Again, dude, the theme for this fight is like pristine. Uh, do this again. Third time the charm, right? Gotta get a little closer. Third ring shot should do the trick. And I can run up to him. Give him a little bop on the head. And he's gonna pull out. Whoopsie. Can't get up and cut it. Where you going, bud? Yeah, where you running? Do a little ball attack. One, two, wombo combo. He does the dash. Oh, where's he at? Almost got snapped by that one. One more. There we go. Then we can do a little. No, that is the wrong move. I meant to do that, but in the other direction. Dash again. And do I shoot your stupid ring thing on me? One more shot. Okay, he had a fourth shot this time. Ah, okay. I don't know why I was so close to him like that. There we go. What are you doing, bud? Oh, he about to get printed. You take clockwork, fellas, and my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. Thanks. You... Cracker box! Yo, my bad. But I kind of need those. I don't know why I need those. But I need those. Job complete. Let's go. 9% of the game done. My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. Bentley wanted to try out his new card counting formula, and I figured the team had earned themselves a well deserved break. Where are we going next? Episode 2. Where are we going? Ooh, we going to. Is that India? Right, India. Alright, anyway. See you guys next episode. What's up everyone? It's like Hooper 2, episode 2. 
Um, the starry eyed encounter. So, yeah, I think we're heading up to India. Some along those lines. We'll see, I guess, in a minute, though. Tell us better. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India. So the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target. A mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life of crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you, especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. All right, at least Dim Dimitri had like a cool idea for the you know, feathers and a starry-eyed encounter. This guy is just like, yeah, I'm just gonna put him up on my wall real quick. I think they look kind of sick. That's kind of lame, bro. Come on, this guy was like printing money. What are you just showing them off? All right, let's see what moves we got. I'm pretty sure we can buy them all, right? Because we got that. We got that. Oh, we don't got that money on us. These are expensive. All right, <clears throat> side steps. Jump to heroic heights, and shrinks guards. Okay, let's go ahead and grab slides. Just because that one is probably the one we're gonna use right now. Okay, and let's also... Oh, our R2. Okay, we can put R2 on. Find out who's at this party. Alright. Alright, we're doing some... <clears throat> Look out now. We are on a new level, so there are new bottles. So let's make sure to keep our eyes open for the bottles. Oh! Don't do that. You scared me, bud. Oh, see, there's a bottle already. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, let's drink it. While we're at it, huh? And the beginning of all the levels are kind of going to be like this, where I'm, just gonna, I'm probably going to spend a little bit of time just looking for some of these bottles. Hey, there's a piece of art instantly. Well, we're very close, so let's go ahead and grab this. Grab this off the map. Absolute genius I am. Okay. And this one seems to have a bomb on it. If I don't get it back in time, is this like this game's version of like the speedruns? Like, this isn't a very hard speed run to be honest. Unless I need to get it. Where? Okay, I got it back, right? Alright. There's a clue and a bomb. Now we gotta figure out how to get up. Oh, I can just spot some fire point on those rocks. Up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? <laughs> what? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. All right. I mean, we did it last game a whole bunch, so. A little spire. Spire. I don't think that bottle. Is there another bottle? I don't think so. Is he gonna look away? Hello? Oh, I'm like, do I need to, like, do something? I'll just do a quick little jump right there. Just in case he gets cheeky and wants to do something. Okay. Looks like we're in the city. Alright, now what do these guys have them um, have on them to steal? We got rhinos up in this map. Also, that was close. Whoops! Don't do that. Ah. Okay. Let's go ahead and just do that right here because I'm kind of a dummy. That looks like instead of like cars and stuff, they've got apples. Any no bottles up in here? 
So they do have different stuff. That's a gold medal. That's probably worth quite a bit. I'm gonna slam you down. Nope, did not mean to do that. Alright, up we go. Where's the other bottle? It's over. I think it's over there. I just gotta let this guy pass. Oh, it's just chilling. Alright. Nice bottle. Keep checking out the rest of the town. So there's our actual mission. Can I just... Was that... It sounded so real, like it was behind me. Okay, so that's where the actual mission is. But I don't actually want to go there just yet, probably. Shut up. Oh, shut up, too. Any bottles? I see a bottle over here. Let me grab that bottle. Okay. Ooh, a helicopter. What is a helicopter doing up in India? Oops. Okay. You should stop doing whatever you're doing. Same with you. Okay. bottle waiting over there for me. There's a second bottle. Okay. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab this. This one does not have a bomb on it, so I don't have like a time limit or anything. I don't think there's anything over there. Oh. Let's go ahead and try to... You know, no, I want to get in there. Let's just walk past them. I know I technically got something valuable on me right now, so I should be a little more careful than usual. But where's home again? It's that way, okay. I'm gonna try not to lose the piece of art. And on the way there, grab another little quick bottle. Make that 13. I don't wanna get seen by that guy. I think they're probably... There's a bottle in there, though. Um... Okay, actually, we probably just run up in there. Just make sure there's nobody on either side. I think there is. Another bottle. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. I got lucky. I definitely got lucky there. Wait, did I come up the wrong side? Did I come up the wrong side? Just go this way. Yes, then I go boing. Let's go and steal what this guy has. And then we'll kill him. What do you got? Oh, oh. I thought it was like diamond or something. I'm like, I got so excited. Let me get you up out of here. Still have the art on my back, so we're good. Okay. We're almost back. We're almost back. We just gotta... Not... Can I spire from on that? Oh, sick. Cool. Alright, we got a few more bottles, and we got another piece of treasure. Let's see what we can sell real quick. Okay. 
Oh, we can actually just go ahead and buy both of those. Alright, cool. So, we got everyone's moves basically right away. And honestly, I told myself I wouldn't do this. Let, oh, let's actually try to find all the rest of the bottles right now. The only reason I say that is because if the... Whoops, that didn't work. Because the vault is in a random mission, I want to just make sure that I have all the bottles as of that moment. Just right off the bat. So, to do that... We can just go ahead and look for all the bottles right now. And they're usually not that hard to find either way, so I'm not really tripping about like not being able to find them when it takes super long. So I'm just gonna keep running around and we'll definitely find them slowly. Just try to get on each spire point. And see, we we really run into them pretty naturally. I'm just running around and here's another one. Alright, we need 14 more. Oh, see, I literally see another one right there. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, he has in his pockets. Definitely gonna take that. Thank you. Silver pen. Yeah, silver looks like it's like something dies when I get super excited. That dude has also something in his pockets, but I'm not gonna look for it. Oh, I saw a bottle right here. Maybe I was tripping. There's definitely one right here. Grab this one for sure. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I swear I saw one bottle at one of these little climbing ledges. Okay. Like that one, we got 18. Let's go ahead and try to take this rope. Mine, 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 mine. Gold ring. Thank you. And now, in the back. Let's go and just run through some. Oh! Yo, my bad, pimp. I didn't see where you were chilling right there. So, the bottle, though. That is a fire pit here. I'm gonna be a lot more scarce. Ooh, I did not look over here. There's going to be a bottle or two for sure over here somewhere. But yeah, I totally just like skipped this area. Yeah, bottle here. Any more bottles here? I don't hear any, that's for sure. Okay. Then we could keep moving on. Oh, come on, Broski. Good thing you're here though, because I'll take whatever you got in your pocket. Alright, gold pen? Thank you. Alright, we go to the Shadow Realm. Nope. Go ahead and point. Alright, you belong to me. Just got a text. Check that in a minute. Seven more. Alright, another bottle there. Wait, is that a bottle there too? Okay. I just dumped this, right? Well, oh, take that one too. Alright, there's a bottle up on this ledge. Hey! Okay. Right here, another bottle. Oh, yo, 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 don't, don't do that. You don't need to do that. There's another bottle in the back there. No, oh, you don't need to do that. You can go ahead and do that. Okay, long. We need three more. I'm guessing there's probably one, one more on the island, maybe two. And we probably missed one out at the mainland. I'll grab this one. You got anything in your pocket, bud? You don't. Okay. Okay, I do hear another bottle. So what I'm guessing is it's probably somewhere down here. No, maybe it is. Maybe it is on the roof. Okay. I was hearing it more over here. Do that. Okay. Is it? 
Ah, okay, okay. Okay. And that dude has something. So, one more bottle. And now this is going to be the hard part. Where it could be just about anywhere. And it's going to be a little harder to find. But... Another piece of art. Definitely taking that with us. Ooh, and I'm taking that with me too. Thanks, monkey. One more. Zoink. Silver ring. Oh, am I really not close enough? Okay. Silver metal. Cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and get back in it. We just got one more bottle to find, so. Hey, there we go. Uh, once again, just walking around, and there's the bottle right in front of us. I knew it would just be not very, like, well-hidden, but just super random, like, just a random area. Bonk. All right. <clears throat> there we go. That's 30 out of 30. Now, let's actually go and do a mission on that. I'm pretty sure it's still over on the other side of the map, right? Instantly. And now, we don't have to worry about that. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Okay. Ooh, this dude has a little sum sum in his pocket. Well, you know, I'm going to take that. Right, a little bronze metal. Kind of poop. I would take those. Alright. <clears throat> this branch seems low enough. Okay, so I'm do one hop, two hop, three hop, and to the balcony we go. Some big wings you got there, bud. Just don't go out onto that balcony, and you should remain undetected. Oh, I just have to share. Oh, I forgot it's a picture mission. Okay, I got you. And then, how do I take a picture again? Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. I'm gonna take pictures of both wings. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will yeah. be a real challenge. I think the heavy part was obvious, but sure. Alright, um... Oh, Rashawn is up there. Where's that electronic blah blah blah? Oh, pick! That's you can snap. Rashawn's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Alright. <clears throat> Bonk. An electronic witch! That could be useful! Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Um. <clears throat> oh, alright. The Contessa. She moved. Um. Nope. Contessa, where'd you go? Oh, there's the bison. Favorite level in the game. Oh. Jean Bisson, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. What? Half the trains in Canada? Oh, there's a stupid little bird. Another Claw Gang member. Our arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. What? So cool. Alright, where's the spider at? Ah, uh, there's the spider. Disgusting old thing. That's the Contessa. A high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Undercover. Sure. Right, who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Oh, we got Carmelita up in here. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help <coughs> bust Rajan. Okay. No show up one of these days. Ah. Uh, there and there's Neela. Neela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. That's Seems all the like photos it. I need. 
Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. Easy mission. Just a couple of picks here and there. Ten percent done. All right, let's get the slideshow going. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. All right, well then, that's what we do. So, okay, we got Sly and Murray, but I think we gotta do the Sly first, right? Let's go ahead and do that. Where's my mission at? Ooh, it's all the way on the other side. All right, we gotta figure out like a better way to get to the mainland. Point and mission time, let's go. Sly, <laughs> totally Murray fell off and there, I but can't get sure. inside the palace unless you lower the drawbridge. I'd love to, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? Key guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. All right, another pocketing. Oh, I totally forgot that I fell. Okay. Well. Is this guy a key guy? Or is just or is this just a guy? Oh no. Haha, <laughs> I got the ring though. Later skater. Is the elf gonna like throw stuff at me? Farthest away. Alright, elephant, get out of my way, please. Get a little bit of that coinage. There we go. He had a lot of coin in his pocket. Jeez. That was a little loaded. Okay. I'm gonna hit this snake in the I'll do that. Bad snake. Alright, let's head over back to the main room. Okay. Let's go and do a ball here. Give me your money. And your key. Thank you. Alright, where's the next guy? Zoink. 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 Really? Yeah, this guy has some deep pockets too. Thanks for the coin though. Alright, now you're gonna die. You were really annoying to find. Boink. Oh, he has some of those pockets. I'll take that. Thanks, bud. Not very valuable, but you know what? Just for that, I'm gonna throw you up for you. Right, how do I get back to mainland? Oh, where are you running? I'm gonna do a 360 on me and like do something crazy. Where is this dude going? Are you good? Yo, he's going way too fast. And they both got a little sum in their pockets. I'll grab this dude first. Right, give me what you got. Alright, little pen. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why he's down here, but fair enough. Give me that stupid key. Okay, last guy. I'm pretty sure he's all the way over there, right? Thank you. Oh, this guy's easy. He's not even moving. <clears throat> Last key. There we go. Good job, Sly. Now take those stolen keys back to the padlock winch to lower the drawbridge. All right. Where is that again? Again, they, sh they should just do the slide one where you like check all the keys at once. Thanks, Sly. Now Murray and I can oh. access the palace grounds. So. Oh. 
Okay. Cool. Who's got next? Murray? Me? Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and grab Murray. I think that could be fun. Can I not? Can I attack the elephant? Okay, I can't attack the elephant. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab Murray. Let's go, Murray. Now we can cross here, so that's kind of cool. Makes getting into the map a little easier. Okay. Murray can still bounce on these badgers, right? Yeah, he can. A little bit. He doesn't take me anywhere, huh? Okay. Guess I'll just have to use these tunnels and stuff. Whoops. Okay. Oh, I just bounced up there over here. Okay. Are they gonna follow me? Oh, Murray can do it too. Okay. But guys, we're actually going to end off the episode right here. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're playing side two. Let's go and do this. We got a Murray mission. That chopper is a menace to all future aerial operations while on this job. Yeah. Why does this have a random helicopter? And That's guns so weird. And stuff. Now be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Let's do it. Okay. I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. Bro, last game we did a bunch of turret fighting. You're telling me you just like forgot? I mean, I guess it was sly, but we did too one time. Hit buttons fast to keep oh. your strike up. What buttons? <clears throat> oh, just all of them. Okay. <gasps> Oh, it's just all the buttons. Hmm. There you go. Boing. Hmm, let's shoot him down. Oh, I gotta save a little bit of room for the game to work. I got it. I got it. I'm going to go cool down. I'm trying to get the laser inverted. Yo, where'd you go? Oh, apparently, I'm really bad at this. Oh, I've got no more missiles. Don't oh, shoot that down. Don't oh, shoot that down. Apparently, I'm really bad at this. Whoops, that's bad. That's it for Murray, right? We're just looking at Sly now. All right, back we go. All right, let's grab our boy Sly here. Boing. Hello. Hello, I'm here for the dance. Oh, sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh. No. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Alright. 
tux it is, bud. Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. That guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. Let's do it. Alright, let's do the dash. Oh, fast. So fast. Here, top. Long fall. <laughs> you thought. You thought. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Uh, well, I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. Okay. We go up. I don't know where we're going, but we going up. Attention guards, this is Lord Rajan. The a... party here is in full swing and all the visitors are now in the ballroom. This ball may be on the up and up. Not all of the guests are. So be on careful lookout for prowlers. I don't want any bad press from this event. Stay sharp. Oh. He's probably got extra security. Okay. Oh, I didn't like it. Okay. Little mug there right there. Hey, yo. At the shoes. Okay, so these are the things that I have to break open. Noted. That was like, I just attacked it because I'm violent. I didn't realize that's what actually held what we needed. Don't do that. Okay. Well, we got what we needed from this room. That's nice to see that but It'd be a shame if it broke. Oh, you got, you got the goods on you. Gimme, give gimme. Give I want what you got. Silver pen. Okay. Later. Wait, is that a... Oh, don't come this way. Hey, you've got another thing. Well, I'm gonna definitely take that from you. Gimme, give gimme. Give oh, hello? Got a lot of coins in the pocket. What is that? Gold ring. Love me a gold ring. I'm dying and didn't. I like that. Give me that. Let's just go ahead and escape inside of this room. Fancy. Is someone following me? No. There's people in here. Okay. There's a wardrobe. Nothing. Okay. I have a piece of the tuxedo. Is that kind of what they're trying to tell me here? Alright, well, let's try this room then. Very sneaky, was it? Oh, for real? Oh, I'm just dying. I'm gonna go right, I need to be way more careful. I'm playing kind of dumb. Right, give me something, give me something, give me something. Still not that bad. I'm gonna Am I looking in the wrong places? Am I supposed to smash up like every piece of furniture? Oh, there we go. So there is one in every room, but it's not always in the actual cabinet itself. All right, noted. Well, that means we got to go back down. And there's got to be. Oh, it's probably over here, ain't it? Is it this? Oh, it's not in the TV, is it? It's in here somewhere. It's probably in here. No, it's not in there. Come on, the back. 
Where in the world could this piece of clothing be? There it is. Got a shirt. I'll take that help. I actually really need that right now. Because I kept getting into pretty stupid fights. Okay. Nope. There should be two more rooms. Let's go ahead and smash them up. Also, can I do the slide one thing? Sag. I can do the slide one thing. Just do the dash. Can I just go from this guy? Don't move, please. If you move, I'm gonna be angry at you. Silver pen. We take those. Oh, actually, I might need to kill all these guys. Well, it's easier. It's let. Oh, and this guy has some. Let's insta kill this guy because he's really the hardest to kill. <coughs> Silver ring. Let's definitely insta. Okay. Let's definitely insta kill this guy. Take care of these guys. They're slightly easier. Again in here. Oh, we'll take that piece of hope. Thank you. Wardrobe? Nothing. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Gloves. The Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee. Gloves. Love to see those. Right, let's get out of here. One more room. I'm not going to use that barrel. That barrel's stupid. I technically could have. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. I didn't do that. One more room. Let's do this. Did I already do this room? Am I dumb? Why, oh no. I was like, why is there no beds in here or anything? You got something special on you? You don't. Alright, you die then. There we go. In the box. That's it! Oh. Now that you've got a complete tuxedo, the doorman will let you into the ballroom. Ballroom we go then. Money, money, money. Okay, can we just dip out of any, any entrance we see? <clears throat> cool. Boing. Right. Show me where that entrance is again. Right. Here we go. You got your tuxedo now, sir? Sure do. Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. <laughs> wow, the door security is lacking considering like Your the importance of this party. Working perfectly. No one will recognize you in that outfit. Now, during the heist, you'll need to dance with Carmelita to keep both her and but the crowd the distracted. On. The only problem is she's picky about dance partners, so you'll need to impress her first. All right, I know just the girl for the job. Constable Neela, you look lovely this evening. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. Alright, is it another is it a button game? Let's dance. Try to memorize the steps. Oh, now okay. your turn. Bonk. Bonk. Just like Miss Lulu. Okay, I don't actually have to press it. Bonk. Bonk. Except this one's a little bit more about memory. And less timing. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Okay, circle. Triangle. Triangle. Are you using me to get at old iron sides? Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. Okay. Triangle. X. Triangle. <clears throat> triangle. X. Triangle. Also, I have a delicious. Ooh, I got a cough. If I didn't mention it before, I am currently sick, and I couldn't. I just really wanted to play this game, so I didn't want to wait. So I'm recording while I'm sick, so I don't think my voice is affected too much, Lovely. but definitely got a little bit of a 
this reaction throw, but we're gonna get through it together because we're absolute troopers. That fellow is very graceful. If only you moved spice shipments as well. Um, silence. Ooh. Fast. XX. Triangle. Boing, boing. Boing. I almost forgot that one. Triangle. Zero. Okay. Boing. 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 Nice. Okay. I think we got past the little hard part. Boink. Okay. Three spins. One spin, two spins, two spins. Okay. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Neela, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please, Neela. His skills far surpass you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. I love how she doesn't see it. I'm still wearing like, the Sly Cooper band. But, hey. Wait, do all raccoons have those? Am I all right, boys. We're ready for the next phase. My plan to get at the clockwork wings requires the use of the electric winch above the ballroom. To get control over the device, I'll need to hack the computers in Rajad's boardroom. Plus, we'll need an extra strong saw blade to cut the wings off the statue. To make a saw blade that durable, I'll need Sly to steal the gems off the headdresses on Rajad's prize elephants. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's surface-to-air defenses. That should clear things up for the heist. All right, <clears throat> let's do that. What we got, uh, let's go and do Bentley first. I wanna do that air mission, that sounds fun. I'll do the dash on that one. Oh, we got a new move, don't we? What is this? Okay, this is... Is this another bomb, though? Okay, no, we actually have to hit him with this, I think. Right? We walk up and we bonk. It makes him smart, and it makes him easier to kill. Yo, my bad. I didn't mean to do that to your buddy. Please let me get out of here. Oh, for real? Don't shoot me out of the sky. That's not very cool of you. Okay, so if we do that, are they now... Okay, see, now they make absolute sense. Okay, they're no longer inverted for me. Alright, let's start the mission. Bentley, what's your status? I'm in position with the RC chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface-to-air defenses. We're going to need free reign of the sky during the heist. Well, be careful. Chopper parts aren't cheap. Hostile has been sighted. Hey, Bentley, use the left analog stick to steer the chopper and hit the X button to drop bombs. All right. If you lose track of the Jeep, I'll project a holographic targeting arrow. Follow it back into the action. Ooh, this Jeep is actually a little hard to hit. Okay. Wow, this thing is actually really hard to hit. He went the other direction. I guess wrong. Launching missiles. Turn hard to dodge them. She hit him quite a few times right there. Ooh. Nope. Nope. You're bad, kid. You're bad. Was it just the one? Oh, okay. 
Is it enough? I thought it was more than just one Jeep. Okay, I think that's all for Bentley, right? Yeah, we got Sly. Yeah, we just got we got two Sly missions. No, let's bomb this dude just because it's sick. Right? Nope, never mind. He's... Yeah, let's go ahead and bomb this dude. Skirt! Oh, I wish I could have bombed him in the other direction. I don't know, man. I love... I love Bentley's gadgets. Boink. We hit you. You'll never know. Alright, let's go ahead and put this dude to sleep. Go ahead and go to the elephant rampage mission. We need to find a way to get Rajan's prize elephants out of their pen. I don't know, Bentley. That door looks pretty heavy. Maybe I can crawl on that hole under the steps and find an alternate route. Let's do it. This one. Can we? No, we can't. Let's break this. All right, we're scared of rats. That's 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 it. I'm just crawl under their floor and they just freaked out. Oh, fair enough. Wow, you sure look spooked. A job well done, Sly. Now comes the hard part. I need you to snatch the headdress jewels worn by both elephants. The jewels are firmly embedded, so keep whacking at them with your cane to knock one loose. I'll need to make use of the rooftops to get to one of the elephants' backs, but it shouldn't be a problem. Let's do this. Um, where's the nearest boing device? Boing. Oh, oh he's gone over there. No, I'm gonna miss him. Okay. Oh, he's all the way over there. No, dude. Why do you walk so fast? Come over here. Shut up, don't say anything. Why did they do that? Boink. 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 <coughs> Alright. Do I need to grab all three? Oh, and he's gonna do that every single time, huh? I need to just jump back on. Alright, well then, I'm gonna have to chase this elephant for quite a little while then. Oh, come on, bro. You gotta run that way. Question, can I do an easy little bounce to him? Ooh, this might be cash. No, Jump dude. Over that elephant's trunk if he tries to swat you off his back. Alright, well. Ooh, right here, we can probably jump right here. The other elephant. The Thank you. Now focus on the other one. Alright. Unless he like goes far away. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, got some more, huh? Alright, we got <clears throat> fourth one. Maybe we can just instantly jump back on, maybe? Nope, wishful thinking. Maybe? Nope, wishful thinking. <laughs> Okay, where is which direction are you going in? Hey, camera, follow along. Yo, where did the elephant go? Am I tripping? Ooh, okay, totally missed that. I'm back. I need your jewels. Definitely have to be on top of it with this. I made a mistake there. I did make a mistake there, huh? But I think I can correct it. Psych, I can't correct it. Ouch. I got squished. 
you're gonna die to the annoying spot. Yeah, I was I thought I could maybe just jump on top of it. That's right though. I can go ahead and just bounce. Boing. Alright. I'm just gonna do it one more time and we'll be good. I think the trick is kind of just to run in front of it and wait until it gets near something that we can bounce on. Okay, I have to also stop doing that. Boing. And I missed. Boing. Okay, I got it. That's terrible. Get in the water. Okay. Oh, I missed that many times. There we go. Gimme, gimme. And he just mows you on back in. Good for you, elephants. That's it! With these jewels, I can make an ultra hard radial saw for the heist. Job completed. A slight hoop. Cool. Alright, and then we got one more job to do. Well, we're going to do that one next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. How's it going? We're playing some Slide 2. So we're here in India. We finished a couple of the missions. Now we got one for Slide. Let's go ahead and uh, get it started up. Huh? Reminder. I'm still sick. Um, so I'm going to be snuffling. Might be, might be a little bit of coughing. You never know. But I love this game, and I just can't wait to play it, so I'm not waiting until I'm done being sick. Okay. I've heard through a reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So you want me to crawl under each till I find it? That's the idea. Alright. Alright. Ooh, actually, you kind of chilling in here. A little hot tub. Let's go ahead and uh, I don't see squat. any code. Try another table. It's here somewhere. It's probably this one. No code here. This table doesn't have the code. It's got to be this one then. This is it. Fantastic. Now Ooh. type the code. Into the vault's laser door entrance. I don't know if I can remember that whole code. I'm just gonna be honest. Let's hopefully they just do it for me. <laughs> I was actually supposed to read it, write it down, and be surprised. Yeah, there nice you go. Nice work. Make your way to the security lockdown switch and let it be in Murray. Hey yo, here's the vault, and luckily I'd love we got all the bottles. Look on Rajan's face when he finds this vault empty. The code should be eight five seven. Eight, five, seven. All right, what do we get? Sanity strike. So when we hit them, they just get confused. You've gotten the insanity strike move. So, let's go. What is this? Combat dodge. Hmm. Let's go and do this. So, if I hit someone, I'm guessing they just like can't fight back. Cool. I like it. Alright, Bentley, Murray. Come on in. The water's just fine. Thanks for breaking us so, in, pal. He, he, the he's Murray breathing, breathing. approves. Let's get down to brass tacks. I need to hack both the vault room computers to get control of the electronic winch above the ballroom. So what are me and Sly here for? The second I enter their servers, they'll be on to us. You guys need to work together to keep the thugs off my back. You right. and me, pal, side by side. The Murray knows <clears throat> no fear. Okay, so I'm guessing, is this going to be broken up into two parts? Hacking the hacking the and the defending. Six barrier. Level six? What? That's crazy. Right, yo, 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 yo. Oh, oh. Alright, Sly, you got him? I don't, think, I don't know which one slides in again. Don't do that. Ooh, we got coinage though. 
yummy coinage. Nope. Almost there. Got it. Moving on to the level five system. Yeah. <laughs> Flaming fists. <laughs> Because Murray's kind of overpowered. Okay, I'm close. Two hits is nuts. Changing back for level <laughs> four access. Bonk. Oh, he, he went back. I didn't realize he went back. <laughs> Don't touch my turtle. I love turtles. Also, I'm being really boring this one. I like fixing them Almost up. Got it. Okay, no. going for level three. Level three? Oh, he's over here again. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that. Hey. Hey. I want to like, pick him up to have some fun. Oh, my bad. I was just trying to have some fun. So close. Oh, shoot. Thanks, Slack. Yes. Okay, focus, two. focus. Uh, I'm just playing around. You good? Almost. Fire your fist. Going for level one access. Level one. He gone crazy, dude. You don't want ham on that man. Oh, my bad. Don't do that. This is tense. I yep. can taste it. Delicious. Let me grab that little piece of. Yum, yum. <laughs> I pick you up. Skirt. I'm unstoppable. I've got control of the winch. Thanks for the backup, guys. Yeah. No problem. Me and the big guy had it covered. Murray, let's hook up the direct feed and get out of here while the coast is clear. Can I do that? I was gonna hoping they would just like take me back and I could start the hack. All right, slideshow. What we got? Okay, synchronize your watches. This heist is going to take extreme precision. Here's the plan. I'll start things off by demolishing the palace's main bridge. That should cut off reinforcements from the guest house and hopefully distract the ballroom guard standing watch over the clockwork wings. Sly will then take Carmelita up on her offer for a dance, and while the crowd is transfixed by their tango, Murray will lower into the ballroom on the electronic winch. Once down, he'll cut the wings free and then winch back up for an exit. Murray should then make his way out of the palace. I'll cover his exit with the RC chopper. Once he's past the drawbridge, we're home free. Let's do it. Although, it seems a little nuts the fact that he's going to cut those off in the middle of a party. Like, there's no... <laughs> Absolutely no no better time to do it. We have to do it during the party. Where likely at least one person is bound to see it happening. But hey. I'm clearly not as smart as Bentley, so. My bet. What powers we got? Okay, we only got the two. Okay. It's turtle time. Okay, Bentley. Murray and I are moving into position. You still think you can demolish something that large? It doesn't take an engineer to figure out how to blow up a bridge. I'll start by placing charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleats should pop right off. That should enable me to bomb all of the upper cleats, which will bring it all crashing down. Just watch your head when that thing gets unstable. We need that brain of yours in one piece. Alright, let's do this. Do I have to bomb each one, like, one at a time? 
wait. Is low level or am I dumb? Last one. Uh oh, the bridge is starting to crumble. You better watch out for falling stones. Just two more fleets down here. the manpower you need and look into it. Murray, you in position? Check! Dude, you tell me no one sees that. It looks like Bentley's little distraction did the trick. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. All right, it's time to dance. Miss Fox, I believe you owe me a dance. About time. I thought you had left. Just waiting for the perfect moment. Alright. Let's not screw this up. Just another little rhythm game. I've played Dance Dance Revolution before. Actually, I haven't. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see how hard it's gonna get, though. Egg, but I, I was being truthful in that I've actually never really been good at rhythm games. <clears throat> Like, I'm, I'm terrible at things like Osu. Um, hold on, I'll just make sure I, I'm gonna fit this. Um, I think I'm trash at, like, Guitar Hero. I was not even able to get past, like, the easy songs, you usually. Familiar so. to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. Okay, and I, I've got to focus here, because I'm gonna, like... My little squirrel brain is definitely just gonna like Ooh. wander off ranting and just like forget what I'm supposed to press here. <clears throat> Woo! Here comes the sickness. Making me wanna cough. Too busy dancing. Though. Oh, and that's another thing. I actually um, really suck at dancing in real life too. So, yes. this is like definitely not a thing for me. Bonk. Bonk. I need to take those dancing lessons. Bentley's got one of them. Oh, he's got both of them? I wonder, could I have been looking in the back this whole time and, like, watch him do it? I'm gonna actually have to re-look at the video while I'm editing and see... Are you actually able to see Bentley in the back doing it? I'm pretty sure you can. I'll have to redo that. Nice. Yeah, see, you can kind of, like, see him pull it off. Also, this is much, much easier than the Nilo one. Why do they, like, stage this one to be, like... Carmelita's like an absolute nuts dancer. She's kind of weak right now. Ah. Three spins. Oh, actually, it's about to get hard here, I can tell. Once we start spinning, you don't know where we're going to go. Okay. A little easy one. Bonk, bonk, and bonk. That's it? Really? Tell me, stranger. What's your name? Why ruin the moment? Huh, I... I don't understand. The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have... What? Cooper! Not gonna lie, that's completely on her. Like, he's so wearing his face mask. Right? I, don't, I don't think like that's like... Whoop, clockwork wings. I don't think that was like a crazy thing to like... Oh. 
I only know one raccoon in my entire Murray, life. Who I'll else could it be? Your escape with the RC chopper. Let me worry about Ooh. the guards. You just keep oh, why is this so why is this so hard to aim? Now, where are the guards at? Hey yo, no, don't do that. These things are heavy. Bro, actually, I don't. How do I do that? Am I able to kind of hit him too? Though? Yo, stop hitting my boy. He didn't do nothing. This is Free my boy Murray. Free my boy Murray. No, nah, dude, leave him alone. Alright, he took a lot of damage. I need to be way better at this. The problem is, like, it seems like the helicopter keeps on moving in, in what direction I'm pointing at. Which is really frustrating. Nice flying, Bentley! See, like, I have to, like, fly in a circle just to make it stay still. Okay, yeah, see, don't do that. But at least the radius is really forgiving. Like, I don't even have to get near the person. And it kind of just like, yeah, you're, you're good. That's a good bomb. At least. See, like, I can just kind of drop one bomb there and... Except I'm in a bit of trouble here. You're almost home free. Nope, nope. Where the bag is coming from, huh? Oh, he's good. Alright. Punch it! Yeah, we did it. Nice. After the gang and I got away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough. I remember the <clears throat> Rajan fight being really hard when I was a kid for some reason. Let's see if it kind of stands up to that. Alright, so we're still fighting Rajan here, but we're just going into episode 3. And we're going to actually just do the classic. We're going to go and jump into the map. And actually... This episode's only at like 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and jump in here now. I'm gonna maybe try to find all the bottles this episode. It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the Clockwork Heart. My boy Rajan had two pieces? A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. He had the wings and the heart, the two coolest Hope he's pieces. not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. That was a cool picture. Alright, what, what's the title side looking like? The Predator awaken, Awakens? Awakes? Oh. I should be embarrassed. The, <laughs> the Predator Awakes? <laughs> Come on, man. Alright, let's go ahead and... um. Head over to the loot. Oh, gonna sell all the loot here. I don't think we have enough money. Get I think we bought Bentley's on accident. Mm. Roll through the level silently. Okay. All right. So we're not gonna have enough for Murray right now, but that's actually fine. Ooh, that's a cool little map. Let's go ahead and uh, what is this? Um. Let's see. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, definitely gonna be using that. But, um, like I said, so here's what we're gonna do. Because we've only got like, I think like, whatever, 17, 18, 19 minutes. 
I don't want to start too many missions. Let's go ahead and check on all the bottles right now. So I'm going to start running around. I straight up do not see any of them. There's our... Okay. Oh, okay. There's a couple of bottles. One... There's one on top of the truck here. So there's one here. There's one over here that I want to grab. Bro, leave me alone. I'm not trying to fight right now, broski. I'm, I've got things to do. You hit me off of here, I'm going to be actually real pissed. Don't hit me, don't hit me. There we go. Okay. So we got 3 out of 30. Let's double check that there aren't any back over here. Alright, I gotta be a little bit more sandy and I gotta like, kill these guys. Ooh, I'll take the help though. I need to gather 750 while I'm at it. Run with that. We're going up here. I'm definitely gonna take that from you. <clears throat> Gold pen. Okay. I'll take those all day. I hear a little thinking, playing of a bottle. The real question is, how do I get up there? Why did I just walk off that? Okay. Oh, and there's another bottle up there. Okay, I think I can do a little parkour here, right? I'll just do a little skirt. Yep. Let's grab that one. Two. Okay. I have to figure out how to do that. Ooh, and there's a shiny thing. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. No! <clears throat> there we go. Oh! Oh no, this one's a bomb. Okay, well then, uh, we'll come back. <laughs> On my way, cool. We'll come back for it. First things first, huh? I got a bomb on my back. And these, these things really aren't too hard. So, like, I'm not really tripping about being back in time. Mm, ooh, this guy's even got a little something for me. And I'm gonna take it. Thank you, buddy. Wow, that's trash, man. Really? I almost made a mistake there. I think this is the way back. Right? The little boy in here. Where's the safe house? Oh, it's up here, ain't it? Cool. Hey, and actually... Nope, did not mean to do that. Okay. There's the bottom. There's got to be something in this little temple, right? Got to be. Okay. <laughs> no. It actually doesn't got to be. But there's something next to it. They're kind of expected. Here. I knew I heard some the bottle around here. Hmm. Got a bottle over there. One more. There you go. Silver pen. Gimme, give gimme. Give I think over there's the mission again. Hmm. There's a bottle. He's definitely gonna try and shoot at me, but I think I'll be fine. Let's go ahead and just uh, do that. Shut up. Um, I don't know where we're at figure out real quick, I guess. Oh, it's a slide thing. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Can I just jump on that? I don't think there's anything down there. At least I don't think so. If we come to a conclude, if we come to a place and we just like can't find a bottle, maybe I'll recheck this area. I'm surprised there isn't a bottle up here either. 
this is definitely be like top 10 falls. I'll fall from here. Ooh, I can go up here though. Okay. Is that how I get up here? See, now why would you grab onto that? I'm like not even anywhere near it. Okay, can I? Oh, I can do that jump. Okay, you can go away. Right, there's a bottle from this one. I'll try to jump on this railing right here. I wonder. If there's a little bottle up here. Okay, there is not. What about on this line? There has to be, right? There has to be a bottle up here. All this jumping from no bottle would be... There it is. All that jumping would be a little sad to absolutely no bottle. <laughs> right, let's go ahead and jump on this. See where this takes us. Okay. A little tree stump. Let's continue. Woo! That thing leans. Hmm, we'll have to double check. There's any bottles on this one. Remember, I'm sick, I'm sorry. I'm trying to contain myself here. It takes me where I need to go. Let's go ahead and jump down here. There's a bottle right there, though, that I need. Okay, so I can do a pretty easy climb on this one. Okay, I wonder if there's, are there two bottles here or just the one? Probably just the one, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and move over here. Ooh. Does he see me? Oh, apparently they don't see ledged Sly. That's pretty interesting. The design on that's pretty stupid, but hey. Who am I to judge? I'm actually glad they don't because that would have sucked right there for me. Then I need to learn how to get up there. I guess we can start by taking this line over here. Yes, I can start by doing this. Don't throw stuff at me. Because that's good. This takes us to a little bit of a new area for potential for more bottles. There's a bottle there. I'm going to try to smack it on my way down. Yeah, because I don't actually want to be down there. I want to stay up here, so we'll just smack it on the way down. <clears throat> Jump up here. Okay. No bottle. Oops, I'm not supposed to be down there. Okay. There's a bottle right up front at the front gates. Give me, give me. Silver pen. You'd love to see it. I like. The only part is now I'm gonna have to climb all the way back up there now. Just. Oh, and there's a little one right there. You're gonna have to get off here. So. Okay, I gotta grab onto that somehow. I'll take what's in your pocket. Thank you. Going. Little silver ring. Oh, you have something in your pocket too. Hopefully that man doesn't run over here and ruin what I'm trying to do here. Another silver ring. These things are popular apparently. Give me a little bit of help. Nope, oh, nothing. Okay. Um. Ooh, that guy's gonna see me. I'm like kind of risking my life right here doing this. Uh, I my life. Thank you. Exactly what I needed. There's still. They oh, there it is. Yep. Okay, that's what I was looking for. I'm like, but this dude's packing here. Thank you. Oh, there's. 
that bottle. Okay. Got this one on the head. You call it satisfied for it. Just uh don't see me, right? You good? Cool. Hey, three bottle. So I put another bottle somewhere. Okay, so if I climb up here. Okay, see, this is where what I needed. So this will take me to actually quite a few bottles. One here. So we'll move our way back up. Okay, now where will this one take me? That one takes me to nowhere that I need right now. This one will take me over to this bottle. Really, this was the key thing that I was missing, this little tower here. So that will take me over there, which I don't need for now. This will take me over here. And this will take me up here. And that will lead to any of the other ones. Bonk. I need four more. Cool. Boing. Okay. Do that. I think he's dead off that one. I know for a fact that there's one down there. I'm gonna give it a moment. Let's see what's over here before we do anything crazy. Okay, so nothing important right here. Let's go ahead and head back then. Make our way over to those two. Okay, that also has a bomb on it. So when I grab that, I gotta go pretty quickly. Okay, and I'm pretty sure that's okay. That's how I get that bottle. Okay, so we have a minute. Okay, so we need two more bottles. Still. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring this one back, and then we can kind of finish off for a little bit more of that money. Easy silver pen. All right, there we go, and we got it nice and safe. All right, two more bottles. Two more bottles. Quick bronze ring. Gimme, give gimme. Give and you're dead. There you are, bud. I know you're on here somewhere. All right, we got one more bottle. Let's start looking. This is the fun part where there's a little, there's one bottle. We got a whole map. Something so gimme gimme bronze pen trash. Oh that makes sense. Yeah, I could I could just bonk 30 out of 30. You know who it is. Okay. What time is it? One hour? Yeah. <coughs> um normally I would probably just do a mission here, but um Alright. That's cool that he doesn't really. Right, I was gonna grab his loot, but never mind. We get out of here too. Thanks for the help, though. I needed also that mana. Okay, well, can I like save, save and quit. Yes, okay, but I do want to save before I do anything else because I feel like I haven't saved yet. It's been like a couple hours, so um. We're gonna do that mission next up, you guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing slide two again. Um, it is the next day, and once again, I am still sick, but I just want to play this game really, really bad, and I can't wait. So, here we are. We're playing slide two. We just got to this map. We did get all of the bottles. We're just kind of, we just waited to do this first mission here, so... Let's go ahead and uh, get us started. Make it to the temple. Now take some recon photos so I can assess the situation. Right. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is 106 miles from here. According to my map of bad. the area, there should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. Well, technically, if we get hurt, we can just go on 100 miles per hour, and we'll get there in an hour. So, that doesn't sound terrible. Um, <laughs> in other words, 
do that. Um, yeah, I'm still sick. I woke up at 5 in the morning because I felt like my lungs were collapsing. Um, and I didn't even bother to, like, do my hair. You know what, y'all are seeing Fresh David straight out of... Eh, not bad. Check next to the shower, but, you know. Bingo, you found a spice-growing facility! Hey, yo. Now, from what I know of photosynthesis, at, all the expensive equipment should be found at the top of this room. Photosynthesis? That access tube should get you up there. All right, I'll head for the top. Is he saying that plants need to have sun? Is that what he tried to say there? That was a very convoluted way of saying that, but fair enough. Okay, um... Like, ran into him on accident. Like Alright, boyos. That's not me. 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 Thanks, I recurred for the stealthy route, but nah. I don't really feel like it. Um, okay. um, I wonder if I could have just jumped up there right away. Probably I could have, but. Um. Oh, but it goes up there. Okay. Oh. Okay. That wasn't even close. see me? Maybe not, okay. Well, then we speak. Oh, man. They scare me like every single time. Some of the vines around here are really slippery. Jump and hit the circle button to go for a ride. Alright. Just gonna do that anyway, to be honest, but fair enough, Bentley. We're going backwards. Because we're just sick like that. Alright, here we go. I don't know why that was so hard for me, but it was. Ooh. Here we go. Time for a few recon photos. Alright. Ooh, the heart. Ooh, the heart be spewing out the spice. Looks like half of the heart is being used to super irrigate the spice plants. Alright. Mr. Rajon. Check it out. Rajon's carrying half the clockwork heart on that stick. Does he beat people with it? Mm, that crane is keeping half of the heart suspended. Okay. Entrance. There's the entrance to this level. Only I can't figure out how to get in here from the temple's exterior. Alright. Bring those photos back to the safe house. We'll really need to think about this one. Yeah. I mean, why don't we just snipe the little rope that holds the heart and then take it? Doesn't seem like there's high security. The clockwork heart is under some steep oh, security. Maybe it is. Okay, never Heck, mind. Rajat is carrying half of it at all times. To get at the goods, I'll need to gather some more information. Sly will plant a bug in Rajat's office while I lift the spice operation blueprints off the spice lord while he makes his rounds. Unfortunately, while we're collecting intelligence on him, He'll be collecting data on us with an elephant-driven satellite array. Take it out, or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications. All right. Let's do it. Uh, who we got? Uh, ooh, we got a mission for each of us, huh? All right, Bentley's first, then. Also, do I got new power? Ooh, we got the snooze bomb. R2 it is. What is this? Just like a oh, oh, and I just should have placed this on him and then run away. Okay, all right. Let's see where the missions at, huh? Oh, one for Bentley. Is there no other missions? Oh, there was one for Sly. Oh, there's two for Sly. Okay, I don't know why. Let me go, with Murray. But right, let's go ahead and do this. We managed to get over here. I had to kind of crawl a little bit, but we're doing it. As I expected, Rajan is out for his daily tour of the operation. My sources claim he always carries three blueprints on him, which, when read together, tell you everything about his spice operation. 
Too bad he doesn't have that section of the clockwork heart we saw during the recon. You could just pump him full of sleep darts and we could all go home. Unfortunately, my sleep darts aren't powerful enough to affect Rajan. What? How are you gonna get at those blueprints? Rajan has an insatiable appetite for Indian watermelons, which, if eaten whole, will force even him to nod off for a while. Once he's asleep, I'll creep in and lift the blueprints. Well, that's fine and all, but how do you plan on luring him over to the watermelons? I've equipped my sleep darts with a sonic disruptor. The strange sounds they make should be enough to lead the ever-curious Rajan from place to place. Okay, so... Do we gotta just, like, shoot at it? Wait, so we just gotta shoot near him. And it'll bring over... Bring him over to the watermelon. And he gulps him down. What a gluttonous little, little tiger. Is he a tiger? Something like that, right? Okay, here's now the problem. I'm gonna need... I'm also gonna need that guy to go to sleep, too. Yoink. Oh, I need to go away. And fast, apparently. Okay, so... Now I need to lead him over to. Okay, that's another watermelon there. Probably get to him without that guy over there noticing. Really good. Oh, oops! I did not mean to snap him while sleep, but that was almost real bad. You good? All right, keep moving. I'm gonna go over there though. him to come up to this watermelon though. Oh, there he goes. Okay, eat it. Oh, whoops. Haha, <laughs> just in time. If it would have been like a second later, he probably would have jumped at me instead. Alright, let's go uh, grab that watermelon, huh? I'm not going to even bother. He's going to throw some stuff over there. It's good. I almost smacked him again. I actually what? The blueprints! They have been stolen! Well, it's probably not a good idea Set to just... Set of blueprints. Great field work, Bentley. You're really getting the hang of this. What, what, that watermelon is basically just, like, drugs. Is it, like, really that smart to just, like, walk around and just take random drugs off the floor and then just, like, yeah, I'm just gonna take a nap. I don't think that's a particularly good idea. Go sleep later. Alright, we gotta go get Sly back. Sly has the next two missions, so... Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, let's get Sly. And we got two missions for him. First one is right over here. Let us swing right into it. And uh, let's go ahead and Rajan is able to monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. That's pretty grim. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Keep that stuff away from Murray. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto, the satellite's in pieces. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The I think trick that's, like, not crude at all. That was pretty simple. Plants. 
you'll have to do some serious climbing, as they only grow high up in the jungle canopy. <laughs> I think we've got... I think we've gotten the point before. Um, when we were... Get on top of here. That was a very long winded way of getting here. That's one. How many do I need? Six? Okay, where's the next one? Okay. So I now need to get over to that tree. Figure that out. Let's mosey on our way over there. There's nothing I meant to go to. Hmm. Does that one have a rope coming off anywhere? Let's take a look. I guess if we're here, we might as well go to the top, right? Do we get to that tree? Do we just get up climb it? Can I just bounce there? I think I can just bounce there, right? Okay. Well, let's do that. Bounce. Bounce. This one was a lot easier to get to. I assumed all of them would like require extensive. Um, climbing, but no, that one was just kind of, you just bounce up there, call it a day. Alright, where's the next one? Okay. Now that one I do think I know how to get to. I'm gonna do some sliding here. I'm gonna shove you into the water. Later. Okay. I'll just sneak around this guy unless he has something good for us. Just kidding. The wrong place at the wrong time, bud. That should take us, right? Yeah. Cool. Skirt. Hopefully, all of the rest are kind of just like stemming off of this one tree. This tree takes us to like five, six different places. Alright. There's a nice plant. There's some more of a drug. Yeah, see, it's just another extension of it, which is kind of cool. It was kind of climb back up. Man, boy. There we go. Easy peasy. Does this elephant really need this many spice plants, though? I feel like we're not gonna get them high. We're gonna get them, like, dead. Let's climb to the top and we can go ahead and use the binoculars again. Bonk. Where? Ooh, the whole. Okay. A little far away. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Well, we know how to get on top of there, so. Ooh, we might. Okay. The second I got scared, I just jumped straight into the water. I, I tend to do that an accident quite a bit. It's totally my fault. It's okay. We jump, we jump. Let's do a big old jump over here. And... I think we just go over here to this tree. And we're good. I wish they put all the maps all out at once. I would have been able to get this one while searching for the other one. I guess they just like those plants spontaneously pop up. Alright, where's the where's the last one? Hmm. We'll jump, skip, bounce, up. Now take all the spice plants you collected to the elephant feedback. Are you good? 
Oh, oh. Alright, get out of here. Let's head over to the elephant. Where's this guy? Sayonara, satellite array. I love how we're right, right mm -hmm. for it. A bug. Ew, it was. Ew. I don't Smart. That. The insect in that pool is a rare Indian water bug. If you can carry it into Rajan's office, its wings will transmit local sound waves at a frequency I can monitor. Let me get this straight. We're gonna bug Rajan's office with a bug? It is an elegant plan, I agree. Now pay attention. That water bug can only survive in stagnant pools. If kept out of water too long, it'll become unhappy and likely draw the attention of local guards. Hmm. Looks like there's a few pools right, along so the way keep to the Rajan's office. Gotcha. A short swim every now and then should keep our little friend quiet. Alright, so... Now, does it start when he's on me? Or is he like chill here? I see how it is. Let him get him, get him there one pool at a time. Alright. Um, where's the next pool? I wonder if you can go, can you go in that pool? Probably not, right? Okay, that's where we need to get him. I don't know where the next pool is at. I don't think I can place him in here, right? Oh, we're gonna have some trouble in a second. Shut up. Here we go. Okay, you're good, you're good. Alright, let me fight these guys while the bugs are flashing for a hot minute. That was a very cool bro. Oh, I'm dead. Psych. I'm out of here, though. Um, can y'all just leave? Thanks. Okay, with no help. Oh, that's a bug, and... I'm just gonna assume that we'll have... some form of water thing near. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe up there. Please. There we go. Alright, chill in here, buddy. Um, let's see. Now we gotta... Oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't do that. Let's try not to fall off this time. Okay, and if I do that, I can do a little jump here. Skirt. Get them in the water real quick, pick them up. There we go. How did we know that was the entrance to his office? I don't think it was ever mentioned beforehand, and that was it. Ooh. You poor. I've already tuned in to the bug's wing vibrations. I'm a genius. Alright, 
Rough done. Lit. Thanks, Bentley. Appreciate you, big dog. Alright. What do we do now? I've got some bad news. Rajan has gone into hiding somewhere in the temple. I guess the destruction of his satellite array and my invasion of his personal space to get the blueprint spooked him. To get his portion of the clockwork heart, we'll need to drive him out into the open. Given Rajan's spy-saddled temper, I'd recommend making him angry. First, we'll destroy the center of his operation, the Spice Grinder. Then we'll demolish the dam above the temple in an attempt to flood him out. If that doesn't work, I've made arrangements to exchange one of the temple's facade rubies for some high explosives, which, if necessary, we can use to flood the whole temple grotto. If my psychological profile is accurate, Rajan should pick up the other half of the clockwork heart before making his escape, effectively bringing it to us. All right, let's do it, Bentley. We gotta flood his home, steal his stuff. I like it. All right, who, who, who got missions? Sly, these all... Okay, what in the world is this mission? I should have cannot tell what that is. Okay. Sly, Sly, and we do get a Bentley. Okay. One more time. Okay, let's go to whatever this one is first. Let's go ahead and head over there. Skirt. Yeah, we can just drop right on it. Cooper, we meet again. Constable Neela, thanks for not ratting me out back at the ball. Oh, I should be thanking you. The look on Carmelita's face was priceless. She took it hard, huh? No one likes to have their affections played with. I know I certainly don't. Look, Neela, as soon as this India job is over, why don't you and I go out on the town? We'll dance through Bollywood and eat curry all night long. I'll keep in mind, but first the task at hand. I've learned of a secret entrance leading to half of the clockwork heart. Legally, I can't enter the premises without a warrant. But now a thief like you... A thief like me can go wherever he pleases. I read you. Don't fall behind while I lead you to the entrance. This place is thick with guards, and standing still can be lethal. I hear that, sister. My bad, my bad. Thank you. I like how she smacks everything on her way. She's very violent with it. If there's a stone in her way, she'll smack it. If there's like a bag of... Oh, I just failed the mission. If there's just like a bag of grain in her way, she'll smack it. She'll smack things even that aren't in her way just for fun. Just kind of sick. Right. Are we running? I do want to grab that barrel. Just like... I'm just going to use that move more often. I don't actually know if it's any quicker than just normal running. It's definitely pretty cool to use though. I gotta be careful when I'm to use all of it. Also, I can't tell if Sly does like you or not. I thought it was all about that farm leader. Now he's asking around dates. Come on, Sly. Sly is a player. He's trying to get around. Skate. Ooh, wrong way. So you get with that rush. You just Oh, just smack that rock for no reason. Or that rock. That monkey be more than smack, so I don't mind that one. Poor rocks. Oh, this is my favorite area here, because you can actually go pretty fast down this. Since it's a slight area line. Okay. No! You should push me into the water, dude. That's not even fair. She literally pushed me. Alright, I'm coming, Nila. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm not slow, I swear. Please. This is it. And remember, if push comes to shove, I never showed you this door. And... And? And we're on for that date in Bollywood. <laughs> I wanna know if she did that. She just did some Zed stuff, bro. She just, just looked into the shadow or something. 
There it is, just like Neela said. In order to lower the clockwork heart, you'll need access to that control box. But it's locked out tight. Oh, I'm sure these guards won't mind if I borrow their keys. Let's do that. Next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing Slide 2 again. Um, it is the next day, and once again, I am still sick, but I just want to play this game really, really bad, and I can't wait. So, here we are. Everybody, right, come back. Ooh, that was a bad idea. Let's go ahead and do a little pop on those bad boys. Can you still go check? How do you get around this, man? I don't really understand. Oh, I got an idea. How about we do this? We get smacked in the head, right? Let's go point. Point. That way, he'll turn around, right? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, turn around. And now we're sensibly behind him. Look at that. Alright. Big brain, big brain. I, and I almost just like walked right into his back, too. Alright, thanks for the keys, brother. You're gonna go that way. Um, gonna do a little, one of those bad boys. I'm gonna go that way. Smack him in the water, though. Wink. Wink. Do I just grab it? Is it just mine? Yoink. Right. Easy enough. We should just grab it. That's it. Half the clockwork heart. The spice won't be growing around here anytime soon. Alright, that would be just that easy. Just pick two keys, kill two people. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, mosey on out of here. I don't know particularly where I'm headed right now. I'm kinda just in the car, just... Oops. This actually right? It's probably the easiest way Alright. Another nice mission. Hmm, let's see. Well, actually, I'm not gonna be able to see him until I get out of here anyway. What you got in your pocket, bud? Silver? Gold? Hey, for the first time, I never have to you. To the jewel. Skirt. There we go. We've been contracted to acquire that huge ruby of Rajad's for a local crime ring. In exchange for the goods, they'll set us up with a Cherry Bomb 500 for the heist. A Cherry Bomb 500? That's a lot of kick. Trust me, we'll need it. To get that ruby free from its mooring, Smack you it. might have to whack it a few times with your cane. I'm on it. Okay, so do I just pop, 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 pop. Ooh, my bad. You're on. Slice knocked the ruby loose, and now we need your muscle to get it to the buyers. Muscle on the way. All right, let's make it there. Belly flop. Um, you gotta be smart where I go. Here. I'm guessing Bentley's gonna support us with air, right? Murray, you can pick up the ruby with your stop move. Despite its size, that rock is really fragile. Bentley will run ahead and inflate cushions that are safe to throw the ruby onto. Use them, or this operation's a bust. Now, head out to our rendezvous near the waterfall. I love how he says it's fragile, but it just fell off of a building on straight concrete. But it's fragile. And you smacked it, too. So, oh, and I need to like throw it. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we just smacked it, threw it, smashed on the concrete. But be careful, Murray. It's fresh. Alright, fair enough. Alright, so we go this way. I guess we have to throw it over the bridge, right? And I still got my flaming fist on accident, but. <coughs> Zoink. Zoink. Can I run? Okay, no, I can't run. 
Also, if this thing is really that heavy, is a little piece of plastic really gonna... Oh, who is you? Oh. This ruby is near flawless. I'll recommend to my superiors that we purchase it. Take it to our buyer and complete the contract. Alright. Creepy person. On our way. Yeet. Belly, bro. I can't be jumping like that, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Like, do I need a second? Cause I can't smack that guy while I'm, while I'm holding the jewel. Where did you even go, bud? Oh, he's over there. Okay. But where do I even get up there? Do I, please tell me there's a boing thing over here. Yeah, there's a point thing. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna definitely grab you. Bring it. Can I shut it all the way from here? Damn, sick. I must say, the Cooper Gang certainly lives up to its reputation. This is a true Indian treasure. We will honor the bargain and provide a cherry bomb 500 at the time the turtle requested. This is a really bad deal on our part. We probably gave him a jewel worth like millions of dollars and they're like yeah it's just like a bomb one bomb i mean okay i guess if it's like a nuclear bomb that costs millions of dollars to make maybe okay is there did we not get the vault what up or yes okay the vault is here <laughs> so, yeah i don't know how i just like forgot about the vault because we did get all the bottles Next episode or two ago. Oops. Okay. Good thing I flew it in Sanskrit, or this last code would have been impossible. Try three eight six. Three eight six. Those little boops kind of sound like uh, Miss Voodoo's little things. What is this? Did you attack that? Sounds like just a stronger. That actually sounds pretty good. Any attack that's straight up. To. Any attack that just makes things stronger is very useful. Yeah. Okay, so. Well, that's a one shot kill. I'll have to see how much stronger it is. If it's a one shot or even a two shot, that's actually extremely useful right now. Considering some of those guards have long range attacks, they kind of just smack me. Let's give it a whirl here. Okay, it is a one attack. That is actually extremely useful. Okay, let's see, where is Spice Grander Destruction? We're going to do that one first, and then we'll flood the place. Okay, let's see how it works on one of these big dudes. Wow, it's even a one shot for the big dudes. That's actually nuts. Okay, that is. Very strong, and that's gonna be very, very useful too. You're right here. Man, he's just dead. That's nuts. I guess we need to come over here, right? Alright, that's the mission. According to Rajan's blueprints, you're near the spice grinding facility. However, the passage is blocked by those laser fences. Hmm. Looks like they're using TNT to create these catacombs. Maybe I can borrow some to destroy the fences. You're the demolitions expert. How am I supposed to use that stuff? Oh, it's simple. Just jump in, lock the barrel to your target, jump out, and get clear of the blast radius. But be careful around floor lasers, Sly. The TNT barrels won't work on them. Attention, guards. 
Make sure all laser fences are operational to protect the spice grinder. I'll probably just like turn the set off when I get out of it. Kind of funny. I'm guessing we just can't go that way yet. Okay. Jump out. Whoopsies. My bad. Sorry, slide. Can I make my way through? Ooh, but what do we do here? Huh. Is interesting. Oh, I'm guessing there's just another TNT thing over here, right? Must be over here, right? I'm within visual oh. range of the spice What's grinder. What What's this? next? Rajan won't come out of hiding while spice is still being manufactured. If we destroy the grinder, he'll be out of business and have no reason to stick around the temple. Great. We do the world a favor and Rajan's forced out into the open. Start by getting a hold of that TNT down there. It's worth mentioning that guards won't be able to detect you if you stay still while in the TNT barrel. Nice. An explosive disguise. Place the explosive near that grinding wheel, and it'll be blown to bits. What? Um, I could just kill them all. Whoops. All right, let's just act like you never saw me, huh? Boink. Let's do a little 360. I'm tempted to just kill them all instead of, like, doing the, the sneak. Y'all go away. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill it. You heard it. I feel like getting just killing all of them is a bad or fat faster way to do it. Smack. I know where are the other ones? Oh, we might have to blow our. We have to. We might have to blow up a few more of those things. Okay. Well, do the dash. Get up in the barrel. Do a little tippy toe, tippy toe. Also, this thing should be dangerous. I wouldn't be surprised if the thing just like blew up next to me. There's no, no warning inside of it. Man, that would suck. Ooh, is that spice? Can I get a little taste. Yeah. Stuff must be. Is there anything inside of there? Suitcases? Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do with the suitcases. I try to bust them open from the outside, but. Now where are we going? So I can't go that way. So let me go up this way. Ooh, that one's a fast one. And then. Okay. Definitely gotta blow this one up. We blow this one up. What does that open me up to? Down either way. It is gonna be a little bit of a walk back. Those, those, why are those suitcases so tempting? I really just wanna smack them. Right, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of a dash, but I'm gonna take a little bit of a minute. Just keep on rolling. This fast was really the only dangerous one. So now, we did, now that we did that, we'll see on our way up here. Just gotta be careful with these lasers. Hand to toe over to the grinder. To toe over joints. Anyone remember that meme? I think it was an old fine meme. To toe over joints. That is fine. Although, I do like to talk about it. It looks like spice production has fallen behind. Wait, it's completely stopped. Sick. Yeah, honestly, I was always one of those people that hated TikTok. And then I got on TikTok and I'm like, huh. The memes are kind of spicy. Not a lot. Alright, let's grab good old Bentley. And, okay, so he only has a couple. Let's go ahead and do a little, little jump skirt. 
I guess we can just do the dash and we'll be fine here. Boing. Roshan's holed up in his temple. Got any ideas to force him out of hiding? My research indicates that tigers have an aversion to water. By destroying that dam, the temple will be filled with a runoff. Flooding him out, huh? Good plan. But I don't think your bombs are strong enough to do the job. You're correct. Fortunately, while monitoring the bug in Rajan's office, I overheard that a new autopilot attack helicopter had just arrived. It's sitting inside this truck. Stay sharp. That dam is sure to be well protected. All right, so we just casually steal a whole helicopter. With some kind of auto type stuff. in two spots at once. That was kind of trippy. We totally saw him like where the beginning of the mission was. Alright. I think this is the final assault, right? Let's do it. Partial flooding didn't work, so it's time to go the distance. Blowing up the temple's elephant mouth should turn this grotto into a swimming pool. I'll cover Murray from the chopper's gun turret while he pries the mouth open. Once that's done, Sly will need to walk the Cherry Bomb 500 into the throat. Then get to high ground as fast as you can. Rajan is sure to show up and be extra angry. Jump him, snag his half of the clockwork heart, and we're out of here. All right, let's do it. And is a Cherry Bomb 5000 a little barrel thing? It seems like, again, we paid a whole jewel for it. That's all we get. I think we got ripped off personally. I think we should ask for like a Gucci belt or something. Alright, we need Murray first. Let's go ahead and grab Murray. All his moves are. Oh. I'm forgetting, that is not one that we have to set. Not gonna flop. Oh, we can do something. Later. Where's your mission, Murray? Here we go. Let's pry whatever thing opens. Let's head out for the turret, Murray. All right, I'll set up shop here and provide covering fire while you try to pry open the elephant's mouth for Sly. Check. All right, so we go in. We have a helicopter. Or are we using like a little drone thingy? All right. Um, where are we going here, buddy? Where are we going? Nice work. Now put those 
muscles to the test and pry that thing open. Where are we gonna fill this guy? Alright, right. I think we got a stop on right? Oh shoot, okay. Rajan is raining down a bunch of hunter seeker bombs on Murray. He'll never be able to get that mouth open unless oh. I destroy all of them. Any more of those bad boys? We're not getting, we're not getting close. This is basically just not. Temple ruined. I will no longer hide while you villains destroy my hard won empire. This place is mine. Here I am king. Come face me, Cooper. With Clockwork's black heart, I will show you true power. You are nothing. Come face the might of Rajan, Lord of these hills. So remember this fight being when we pretty try to hard. tick someone off, we really do the job. Let's see if it's yes, as I remember. You do seem to have quite a talent for it. Constable Neela, slumming it with the thieves again? That man is an illegal spice trader. He should be brought to justice. All I'm after is the clockwork part. You help me take him down, and the bust is all yours. Just try to keep up. Alright. He's zapping. Was he Zeus? Alright. Also, I truly did not know that that heart can apparently conduct those That's pretty gnarly. Alright, can we tell where he's gonna shoot? Yeah, I don't know. Does he have like a giveaway? Okay, I can't really shoot. He's gonna hit me. He does not. He's gonna hit me now. Alright, we're good. Neela, now! Sorry. What? what are you doing? Oh, fly! I'm coming, buddy! This is it? This is the Cooper gang I've heard so much about and feared these long hours? The Murray will renew your fear. Who's the Murray? All I see is a fat, pathetic weakling. I might be big and not as smart as the other guys but one thing i'm not is weak i'm gonna come over here 
to run up to us. Uh, he was going to do it right away, which is very interesting. So now that he did that, see, I kind of just push him right into the middle. Just make sure we get pad here. Bring him over again. Come here. Come here, Tiger. There we go. I can go even the I kind of pushed him in the wrong direction. Fine. Come on, Tiger. Oh. In the right direction. No. Oh. Keep pushing him. Of course, for some reason, I think, I think I'm just getting the angle wrong. Right, which is fine. Slightly in the wrong Clockwork heart, safe and sound. That works. Oh, happy day. What? Neela? Throw down a ladder. Sly's hurt real bad. Can you hear me? I said Sly's hurt. There they are, Contessa, just as I promised. The Cooper Gang and Rajan all incapacitated. Excellent police work, Constable Neela. Carmelita's never been able to catch the Cooper Gang. Yet you capture them in just a few short weeks. 
Well, I never... Really, Kamalika. Accept your defeat gracefully. Actually, Contessa, there's a good reason Inspector Fox never caught the Cooper gang. She's been in league with them the whole time. Liar! Prove it! This is a photo of Carmelita dancing with Sly Cooper on the night the clockwork wings were stolen. But I didn't know I was dancing with Cooper. You two certainly seem very familiar in this picture. Men, place Inspector Fox under arrest. I'll get you, Neela. Don't think I won't. Such a pity when an officer falls from the light. Yes, indeed. I can't believe it! That double-crossing cockney liar! <laughs> statistically improbable, I had to face the facts. Neela had betrayed us, my teammates were captured, and I was all alone. While intellectually inferior, Sly and Murray had always been a rich source of sociological interest. The long walk out of the jungle gave me time to reflect, and with each passing step, my sense of isolation grew. Shockingly, my comrade's absence had a profound emotional effect on me. This was it. This was the true test of friendship. Upon reaching the van, my resolve was hardened. I had to save my friends. But first things first, I had to learn how to drive a stick shell. Bro, why do you even have a stick shell? I played the van there on the bottom, bro. Dude, that's actually kind of sad, though. I think that's definitely like one of the best episodes for sure. Because it just has like one of those like endings where it's like, what? What's going on here, bud? But. We're gonna do that next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. What up? We're playing slide two. I'm still sick. We're going to episode four. Definitely like my least favorite episode. Just because it's a little spooky. Um, and we're starting off with basically just battling. So it's gonna be a fun one. Let's get started. It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends. Locked away in the mysterious towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes. shoes. And I'll be out two best friends. Let's do it. <laughs> shoes. He really, he really ex accentuated on that one. Jailbreak. Let's do it. Luckily for me, Bentley's like my favorite character to play, so I don't mind in the slightest. He has some sick abilities. Now, he's not very mobile, which is annoying. Also, as you guys know, at the beginning... Ooh, those are expensive. How much can I sell? I'm gonna sell all of these. How much money do I got? Uh, run like a turtle's down number four. At look strength. That's useful. Okay, let's go ahead and buy this one. And let's buy... Alarm clock. We'll leave it at the strength. 
What I like to do at the beginning of every level is collect all the bottles, right? I should make I'm not gonna my do way that over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. Yeah, so right now I would really just go look for bottles with Sly. But until I get Sly, I'm not gonna bother. So, um, let's just go ahead and just like throw a few bombs here and there. Where do I actually have to go is a real question. Really, we cannot get bottles without Sly? That is interesting. Don't look. The, the map is coming back to me slowly. I'm just gonna sleep. Actually, I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, I'm pretty sure these gargoyles come after me, don't they? Uh, I know what, let's just do the dash, that's fine. Jump over those. Oh, okay. I see what we're doing. Okay. Going our way into where we need to be. Aha! The Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait, Wait what? Second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great! If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I, I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. Alright. So we just gotta smack her with a couple of darts, huh? Where you at, brother? There you are. Bop. The claw gang is falling apart. Spice shipments have almost stopped. Huh. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, they'll see it my way soon enough. Alright. Creepy eight-legged lady. Yeah, I don't like that. She's weird. Bop. Ooh, I almost tagged her in the eyeball with that one. Bop. Those fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. Okay, so she uses spice with him. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I missed that one. She's gonna go up here? Nah, she's back. Bop. That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. Okay. I don't think we actually have any. I know in the future games we're like a like Cooper Vault, but... Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in. And I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! <laughs> Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! Bro, she's just in the it back. It dishonors so both law enforcement and thieves at the same time! I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. That's probably a good idea. Good job, Bradley. Alright, where are we going next, huh? Let's see. Where are we going? Where are we going? The train hack. Okay, do we really have to mosey our way all the way back? Oh, that's a long trip. That's a long trip back. 
That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. All right. Now, how are we gonna aim the train at the wall? All right, you need to go to sleep instead. Ah, nothing hacking. like a good computer hack job. Now the left analog stick Dude. should control my cyber avatar. The things are inverted again. Okay, so it's gonna be a little hard to control are inverted, but I think we should be able to make this look fine. I'll have to hack through by using both analog sticks at the same time. I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. I don't even need to fight them. I just go straight up. That's to the one port. down. The train should be picking up speed. Okay. So, let's uh, sleep. Now, where is the next terminal? Keep walking along here. Let's go to sleep too. Did I? I actually went the wrong direction. I'm a genius. Okay. Oh, Bentley, stop pumping the thing. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. These things are actually really fun. The problem is the controls are inverted, and it kind of ruins what it is. Honestly, I don't even need to do. They're probably just dying to die. Now, here's what I'm wondering. Can I go to controls? No, no, no. I need to go to options. No problem. Oh, here it is. Actually, it wasn't even as far as I thought it would be. All right, let's see. Are the controls now inverted? The controls still are inverted. Not the cleanest performance, but uh, we'll take them. That should speed up the train no, by at us. least 50%. Okay, that train's going fast now. Where's the next one? Don't tell me I need to get to the other side. Well, maybe I can outrun it. Can I maybe outrun it? This is probably a terrible idea. But I'm gonna give it a whirl. There we go. Terribly done, but Just two with more these terminals. controls, man. Oh god, it's so hard. Our train, you good? Or yeah, but oh, yeah. the train is fast, not too. It's a little scary, actually. Oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna die there. Probably not. Okay. All right, that's computer. But it's not as hard. Let's try this again. Try to get through this red stuff to get the Yes, 
reverse the trains at full <laughs> speed. Now, on to reverse the fields. Of course, dude. I'm on my last one, and then I just, just get squished. Now, where is the last one at is a real question. Is it that way? Or is it this? Oh, it's literally right next to the thing. Let's wobble our way over here. <coughs> now, let's do this. Okay, so we got a red and orange. What happens if I go in here? That's probably real bad, ain't it? Let's go ahead and do a quick dash. Pretty sure I can just get on top of the building by jumping, right? Next mission. All the guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. Alright, let's go ahead and go to number one. Drop it. What? That did not break it. What? No way. Wait, is that not what I'm supposed to hit? Okay. Maybe I am supposed to hit the cards. I still hit him twice. Maybe I'm supposed to hit this. Okay. I am supposed to hit this. Why did I think I had to hit some little turret things? Ouch. Okay, maybe I am Actually the vehicle locker, will ya? Yeah, oh, package, wait, no, that I'm is not a very nice cry. joke in this instance. Miss that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing onto the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocu What about his hook? We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. <laughs> Alright, but <clears throat> why does he have his cane? I don't understand why he has his cane with him. And why did they let him out to the yard alone with no guards? I'm pretty sure a raccoon could... First of all, just scale this in the first place pretty easily. Not very giant brained of them, but um, okay. Who am I to say? Whoopsies! Alright, let's take this line over here. I think that can even see me on the front, so I'm not gonna be not just think into that. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Alright. Let's keep looking for bottles, huh? 
and we, I think we do need to a little bit more money for money. So, in the meanwhile, let's also look for all of the like art pieces we can steal and stuff like that too. Okay, there's one bottle up there. Huh? Let's grab that. Oh, so they right, right below us. So we'll keep the electricity wand on us just in case. Okay, and there's a bottle here. Let's get this bottle. Now, how in the world am I supposed to get that what? bottle? Is that gonna jump? Oh, I just double climb. Okay. Cool. Let's see. What does a bat like to have in his pocket? A little pocket watch. All right. I like that. Give me gold. Bop. There's that. Where else could some bottles be? Oh, oh they, so they do bust like that. Alright, you're about to get Let's just grab this bottle before we do any kind of fighting. I did see a bottle over there, so I'm probably going to jump for that one. There's a bottle there. There's a bottle there. Is there not a bottle up here somewhere? No. Okay. Okay, so bottle there. Bottle there. Bottle there. Okay, so I see four bottles just in this little area. Let's try to get this one first. No, no way. Okay. Um, let's give this another whirl here. <laughs> There we go. Alright, another bottle. Another day. Another day another bottle. We need to get up. <laughs> Just that one. Ooh. I thought I was gonna fall off. Good thing we didn't. Did mine. Did someone hear that? Okay, let's go this way. There's a couple more bottles up in the high areas that I want to make sure I can grab. Okay. Oh, be kidding me. Okay, so there's a bottle there. Which I'm guessing I actually probably can't access from right here. Might need a climb to. There's a one up here though. inside of the prison. Alright, so let's go ahead and just climb climb for this one. And then uh, we'll go ahead and go kind of inside of the prison itself. Get the other do the other a couple other ones. Okay, there is one up there that I need to get to through that rope right there. Oop, that's a tank. I'm guessing that tank is not something that I should be fighting. Probably. Okay. Oh. I'm just gonna run past that spotlight. Okay, now we can go ahead and let's go inside the gel itself. There should be a couple bottles in here somewhere. There's a piece of art. Does that have a bomb on it? I don't think that one has a bomb on it. No. There's, there's a bomb under me. I'm gonna get to that though. Oh, I can't because I'm I'm technically still in the middle of a mission. Okay. Is it up here? It is up here. Okay. I thought I heard one somewhere. Ouch. I do see another bottle right there. I'm just 
Another piece of art, but that one's on time. And I actually can't grab it even if I wanted to. Alright, let's see. One more. Ooh, there's a bottle right there. I could probably just jump and smack that one. Bonk. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing I could probably get a hold of that's not what I was trying to do, but fair enough. Okay. Oh, I could just jump here, right? Okay, there is one under here. Come to me, bottle. Smack. Okay. That's 16. Hey, I spot a little bottle. Start. Don't smack it. But actually, this is the way I wanted to head. Because there's a lot of bottles on the actual railway itself. This is exactly where I was meaning to run. Actually, one here. I can use this hug. Jump over to. No! <laughs> ah, that's okay. I think I can. Yeah, I can get back up this way. Bam, so yeah, there's that one. Let's make sure that he does his life. Okay, there's a bottle there, so I can grab that one too. Start. No! Okay, I'm gonna get back up. Let me just jump. Is there a bottle in the background? No. There you are, bud. You're on here somewhere. I heard the little beautiful ding, 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 ding. Make sure this dude doesn't live right there. That was a pretty obvious one that I definitely missed. Oh, there's another one that I missed. Okay, I think it was just this two. Hopefully not falling off. I was gonna say that. I think it dipped straight into the water. Okay, let's try to make it back up here. could just go to the hideout. I do hear a bottle. It's on top of the hideout. Alright, well, I guess let's just finish the job real quick. We can get that out of the way. And a little, little thingy. Okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. <laughs> First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, You'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. No, really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, we'll be ready to make a play for the big guy. All right, let's do it. Um, like I said, though, I... Why don't I just grab all the bottles, though? 
we had, I had we finished the mission real quick, but I do still need to grab those bottles, so um let's go into that right now. of our back in one piece before we do anything else. Just to make it a little easier, we'll go to throw it along the top over there. Just so we don't get tempted to get shot by a vulture. Right, let's bring this back in. We could probably sell that stuff right now. Yep. And probably just make it up just to buy a piece move real quick. There we go. And we have 500 left over for the next map. Okay. We got one more bottle to look for. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bop, 30 out of 30. That's it. I gotta go to a wedding, homeboys. So, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna save and quit. Yes, quit. Thanks guys for watching. We'll continue the game next time let's do this hey how's it going everyone we're playing some more sly it is like a week later and i'm kind of finally over my sickness i just have a little bit of congestion but i think i am over it and now we've got wow wow that is a lot of slide missions okay well then we better get started we've got a lot to do i've been wanting to play this game for quite a while um but after i recorded those last couple episodes and hearing how i sounded i'm like mm-mm as much as I want to play this game, I can't record like this. So I gave myself another week, and now I'm more in the condition to record a little bit. So hopefully, I can bring some actual entertaining gameplay here. Oop, I put myself in a bad spot, but it's good. Where is this thing again? In this house. This house kind of connects basically the whole map together. Alright, let's get started. To get at Murray, I'll need you to steal two tank keys and the tank patrol schedule off of the Contessa. No problem. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Since your escape, she never goes anywhere without bodyguards. You'll have to take them out one by one in order to get close to her. I should probably use noise to lure them away from the Contessa. Noise. Alright. Um... Let's see. I don't know what type of noise they're talking about. You can do one of those bad boys. Okay. Yeah, see, now this electricity power is going to come in handy. Now, question. If I just kill the bird with this. Okay, so she did get alerted. But <laughs> luckily there's just something... Also, did she just not notice that her bodyguards are now gone? Seems like not a... Bentley said she was smart. Doesn't really seem like it. Where, where are my guards? I mean, I, I mean, no, she didn't notice it the first time, but, uh... Alright. Alright, let's see. Where did she go? Also, I'm still very scared of being on this train track, but I gotta remember that we shut it off literally last episode. I don't know, apparently I just had like bad memories as a kid standing on these train tracks and dying over and over again. Alright, we go fast. Where did she go? 
Let's see. I can't look up in the sky. Oh, she's all the way over there. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to make this as hard as possible. I got up really high. Where did she go? Okay, cool. And I thought she went inside the prison. That would kind of make sense as the, as the next location. Okay. <gasps> oh, Ooh, had a little heart attack there. Okay, so can I... Okay, no, that's not something that makes noise. Well, I guess... Oop, that works. Alright. No, 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 no. Light, go away. Alright, turn around now, bud. And I'm gonna smack you in the side of the head with some electricity. But why are you still looking? Jeez, man. It's extra cautious. Nope. I couldn't give him a chance to catch up. Honestly, what could I even do? I could almost just... Oh, wait. Actually, no. This guy I do have something to hit, so it's fine. Maybe not. Okay. Well, then... No, we're gonna go for just, like, the easy strat here. And just run. And in that sense, actually... I can just hit both people. Okay, I just gotta get close. Bonk. Give me your key. Huh? Oh, they're gone again. <laughs> again, it's, it's so hard for Bentley to claim that she's like some super smart person and then... <laughs> oh! They're gone again. Darn it. I just... How does this keep happening? Oh, he has something in his pockets though. Gimme, gimme. You weird little bat thing. What do you got? Silver metal? Okay, not the worst thing on the planet. Oh, okay. That was... I uh, didn't, was scratching my ear. I didn't mean it. Where are you at? Okay, she's down there. Um, one thing I should add, in between episodes, while I was sick, I obviously couldn't record, but I did want to still... That was a mistake. Maybe not. I did want to keep playing, though. So I just ran around and stole a bunch of items. So when we go back to the the hideout there's a lot of things to sell because i literally just sit there and pickpocketed for an hour um my problem now is i don't have electricity Ooh, now i do actually can you see me in here probably not i'm gonna need to are they coming around oh crap broski they're coming bro, 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 bro. go 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 no I'm in trouble. Okay, to be fair, that was unlucky. The dude would not move from that position for some reason. Oops. I gotta go. Mistakes were made. No! Why is she so fast? Holy crap, she's fast! Bro, that's not even fair. That lady's freaky fast. She ate some Jimmy Johns before this, bro. Um, while you're sliding. I did not know that. I thought you could. Okay. Look at that little bit of life. Skirt. Zoink. You're mine. What? Huh? Where are those lazy bodyguards? They're all fired. Well, they're all dead too, Great sir. Work. All right. Love me some tanks. All right, next mission. Here we go. Like I said, we've got quite a few, so... Okay, there's one. I thought there was one down here. For some reason, it didn't show up earlier. Okay, Sly. In order to get Murray out, we'll need him to get thrown into solitary confinement. That pipe will lead you to a cell block. Try to locate him and relate the plan. After that, it's all up to Murray. All right, I'm headed inside. Let's do it. Wait, does that guy have some, uh... Oh, I thought there was a bird near me that had some loot. It's okay, though. Point. All right. All right, Murray. You gotta do something. You gotta beat someone up. Um... Psst, Murray. Hey, Murray. Huh? Sly? Where are you? Over here, in the back wall. Sly! 
I'm so glad to see you. They've been forcing me to eat meals covered in spice. And I'm feeling kind of strange. You gotta get me out of here. No problem. Bentley seems to have found a weakness in the solitary confinement cell. If you can get in a big enough fight, the guards will throw you in there. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Well, if you say so, I suppose a powerful force like the Murray could take down 50 foes. If I had to. Excellent. You beat the snot out of 50 of those guys, and Bentley and I will take care of the rest. All right, do we get to play as AO? All right, so do we just gotta start beating some people up? I mean, okay. Don't do that. Oh yeah, this is cool. Big terror strikes again. So like, I'm guessing we can kill them in like different ways. We can like throw them at like the spikes, right? Yeah, this isn't gonna be that hard. I just gotta be careful not to actually step in those myself. I am gonna be conservative here, just because I want to have a little bit of fun with these guys. Okay, see, I want to throw them at the spike. I don't want to throw them there. Oh yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> then I could even throw them. I could throw them at the lasers over there and burn them alive. What else can I throw them at? Is this a button? Okay, I don't know what that does. Oh, my bad. Thanks for the help, though. And yeah, this one isn't that... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can pick up the... Wait, that's pretty cool. Yeah, th these fights aren't particularly that hard just because Marie's OP and he's a two-hit kill. And these guys don't exactly have a very hard attack pattern. If they were long range, it would maybe be a little harder, but... These guys just kind of come at you and they don't really do much. Which makes it real easy. Not what powers I have. What are these? At oh, this is something new. Throne explode on impact. Press to hold and then press. Okay. Hold on. Oh, I got like a double jump. Okay. And then of course I always got the flame fists. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, beat up some more people. Boink. How many more? 32. Oh, okay, we still got a bunch to fight. Alright, maybe I'll actually just start speedrunning this now. Go ahead and just beat him up as quick as possible. Also, why are there only wolves in these jar cells? Is, is no other animal a criminal? Or are wolves the only things that get into jail nowadays? Where the bats at? Where the where the bad vultures at? All right, four more, three more. Can I throw them in the spotlights? Is that a thing? Oh, sick! <laughs> there we go. Bro. Is that anti-social enough for ya? What if some oh, of those people what? weren't even criminals? You gonna throw me in solitary? Bring it on! There you go. Like, what if some of those people were in there for, like, minor drug possession? You just beat the crap out of them. I don't know if they deserve that. Alright. Back to Sly. Also, let's go to the thief net. Oh, maybe I don't... Okay, no, no, no. Yeah, I was like, that's not as much as I thought it did. But yeah, there's two of them, five of them, five of them, three of them, so... Let's see how much... Okay, that was around a thousand. I didn't I didn't look at the number beforehand, but I think that was around a thousand. So, by the time we go to the next map, we should be... We should pretty easily be able to buy most things. Oop. I almost just ran right there on accident. Give me your thing. Thank you. I'm gonna dodge it. I don't dodge it. What in the world? Is this where the... Is this where the vault is? I don't think I'm supposed to be in here yet. Maybe I am supposed to be in here. Okay. 
Didn't they say the same thing in the other game? Two, four, eight. All right, let's see what special power we get. What is this? Long toss? Can we? No, we can't throw our cane. The long toss move. Okay, you can explain what it is. Where? What is the long toss move? Okay, let's go ahead and do that one. How do I keep missing it? Okay. Can I just jump? Okay, no, I can't. Stop talking. It's right in the middle of all these guys. Sly, those giant pipes under the bridge feed power to the prison security systems. I'll need to cut the connection to free Murray. Sounds like a plan. What do you need me for? As you know, the bridge is heavily guarded. I hear you. You'd like a little protection while you place the bombs. That's correct. Love to help out, but there's nowhere to hide on the bridge. We're totally exposed. That's true. To fool the guards, you'll need to break those statues and take their place. I pose like a statue, the guards walk on by, then pow! I hit them from behind. You're a genius. That's also correct. Okay, see, I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Ouch. I've got here. Okay. Follow me to the top of the bridge. So I quite literally just need to protect him. Okay. I love these types of missions. These ones are easy. Okay, so where is the first enemy coming from? Okay, the first enemy is gonna come from over there. Okay, so Bentley should be fine. Probably could have just came from behind and beat him, but... <gasps> he has something on him, though. I want to steal it before... Before... Please, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Before he goes anywhere. Thanks, bud. Um... Okay, you know what? No, I will just do the normal Heidi thing. It makes things a lot easier. Yo, where's the next enemy at? Is the next enemy? I wonder, can they see me behind this statue? Also, I'm totally just going to beat them all up at once because I could care less. Okay, they can't see me, it seems. Whoopsies. Nope. Yeah, it's almost like dumb to hide. Just, one in place. just fight them. The Alright, let's get a little closer to the end, huh? <gasps> he has something on him, too. I want it. Gimme, gimme. Gold watch. You'd love to see it. Is there no Ooh, there's a couple of those things. Boink. Okay, the one in the back has a little something shiny in his pocket. I might try to take that one, too. Is there any other peoples coming from that side, maybe? No? Alright, give me your stuff, bud. Ah, oh, I could actually see what was in his pocket. I saw his bronze. I'm like, oh, no, dude. Now this guy can just beat on my own. Woo. He'd be flying. The third bomb's in position. I'm on route to set the port. Okay. Only two. I'm making this a little too easy there, huh? Bonk. All right, Bentley, you good? Where are the bad people at? Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. Only one of them. I wonder when they're going to start sending them from both sides. Or even... 
Are they get, would they make it that hard for children the first time playing this game? Ooh, okay. Oh, they sent a they sent a couple. Whoopsies, they sent a couple in now. Okay, well, those bats are a lot easier to fight. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, maybe take out the wolves first, unless they just start like just chilling. But I need to be careful here. Whoopsies. All right, I guess I'm fighting them all. I mean, again, they're not very likely to hit me, so I'm really not worried about it. As long as they're not throwing stuff at me, I'm kind of cool. Alright, only one guy. This... Yeah. I'm even tempted to just... Let's just go hit him in the... Pop. The last charge is set. Let's get out of here. Ooh, we blowing it up right now. Okay. Thought we would like get off the before we do that. Cool. I totally thought we'd get off the bridge before we tried blowing it up, but fair enough. Alright, I think we're going inside of the prison now. We've got plenty of money. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Gonna do a little spire spire point here. And mission time. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Alright, that's fine. It's fire point. Can I start the mission now? Sly, I need your help getting a handle on the Contessa's encryption algorithm. I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright, I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off, then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. Alright. Oh, I almost just fell straight into that. You sleeping, bud? Also, he had only the key. Got no money. Where's nice your money, bruh? Alright, number one. Okay, now climb to a good spot where you'll be able to get a picture get up here. of the security code off a monitor. Lit. How do I zoom in again? Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright, bud, are you gonna go input the code? Come on, bud. Bonk. Wait, is that four or seven? Apparently the game doesn't care. It just says, yep, <laughs> that'll work. Okay, does it give me... Okay, it doesn't give me all three. I just need to go to the next one. All right. Okay. Um, do I really want to go out there first? Screw it, I don't care. Zoink. Okay. Now. <laughs> I get it. I need to get him to move away. If I kill him, what happens? Ouch. There we go. Let's nice do the check. Is it still? <gasps> there we go. That was that was like close, but we got it. Okay, next next guy. And I I almost want to go home to like replenish mana, but 
I think it ends the mission if I do that, so I'm not going to here. Okay. Run over to the next guy. I don't know why they're outside of the prison, but fair enough. Unless the whole town is just a giant prison. Come on, this guy, give me, give me a little bit of health, huh? Nothing. Zoink. Okay, where's your station? Oh, it's literally right here. Okay, now where? I guess I can just get up here. Let's quickly kill this guy. Where is... Oh. I know now where we need to go. The camera's hard, man. Like, you just... I just forget the buttons. Alright, but it's okay. Now we know. Now we know. We're here. There we go. Again, half the numbers are still hidden, but whatever. We're not going to talk about that. Okay, last guy is over here. Of course, I missed that. What up, guy? Bonk. Hey, dude. Bonk. Oh, we can just jazz next to this dude. Oh, that was close. I almost smacked him right. I almost smoked him in the back. All right, before we do anything, okay, we need to probably get up there, right? That's a pretty easy place to get to, all considering. I think I can just go up here. Then run up here. And then, that is not the place. What about right here? Yep. Easy. Okay, that should be enough coat. Nice work, partner. Thank you. Bonk. All right, what do we got left? Oh, okay, you know what we're gonna do actually? Let's go ahead and do one of the treasures and then we could probably end off the episode. Okay, oh, I thought that was something I can climb. Where can I go from here? Oh, okay, I can go in from here, right? Let's go ahead and do one of the treasures and when we get back to the hideout, we can end the episode and continue from there. All right, where, I know one one of them was in here, right? Yeah, right there. Okay. Oh, can I? I can make that, right? What if I just... Okay. I know I can do this. Come on. Really? There we go. Okay. So this one actually might be slightly difficult, because I don't know the fastest way to get out of here. But we'll give it a whirl, huh? Minute 30. And if we fail... Well, that's all right. I'm guessing, though, can we? We can spire point on this thing, right? Yeah. Now, where's the base again? Which direction? It's that way. Okay. Oh, yeah. This will be easy. Bonk. Oh, give me that health. I'll take that. And the slide move. That is... As far as speed goes, that's nuts. All right, where's our... Oh, it's right there, right? We've got 56 seconds to spare. Look at that. Alright, we can jump over here. Yeah, they really should have added the timer a little lower. Because they're a little too easy to do. As long as you've got half of a brain cell working. They're a little they're a little too, too easy. Okay, guys. We're going to continue next episode. Thanks for watching. What's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly. We finished a bunch of missions last episode. I think we got one more left. And I think there's still one more little treasure thing lying around somewhere that um, we'll end up having to get at some point this episode. Let's go ahead and make our way to the mission. We do a little boink, a little boink, and we're there. All right, what do we gotta do, Bentley? Okay, Sly, that's it. The Contessa's giant attack robot. That thing, yes. With all due respect. It looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. 
Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. And giant attack robots. Uh-huh, yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. Alright. First one's right here. Nice work. That lightning rod okay. is out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other Whoops. rods. I mean, they're pretty obvious where they're at. They're just on the highest places in the map. Let's go ahead and grab this. I need to get up there somehow. I can look around, that's fine. Ooh, almost totally fell off there. Okay. Again, I get... This is kind of like that water one where I have to redirect the electricity into... Somewhere. But... I'm still a little confused at where he wants me to redirect that electricity. I'm guessing not into that plate, right? Somewhere else. Can I go to this one? I redirect it somewhere else, and I go to this one. I redirect it into itself or something. Okay, that's two. So that one, that one, and there should be another. Okay, there's another one right there. I need to get on top of this somehow. Okay, I totally almost just fell off there. That's alright. Also, let me turn up my oh, mic thing a little. Okay, there we go. Turn up my mic a little bit. I can't tell if the sound is a little too loud. Okay, one thing by one. Turn that. Alright, so now there should be one more here, and then one outside, if I remember correctly. Come on, strike strike the one over here. Where's the one that's inside of here? Or maybe that was it. No, wait, okay, so there's one... There's one there. And there was one over there somewhere, right? Okay. Well, to that one we go then. Um, whoop! I almost just totally fell to my death there. What's the easiest way to do this? Okay, there- I freaking knew there was one right over here. It, the lightning wouldn't ever hit it, but I knew there was one over here. Oh, <laughs> some guy died here apparently too. But anyway, we can turn both of these. If we do that when we turn this, we should be good. Yeah. So all of them just need to be turned once. That was a lot more simple than I thought it would be. Okay, the last one is over there. Okay, we gotta do a little bit of walking, but walking is what we do. Got something on you? No. Climb up here. Okay, okay no, I can't just get up there. Oh, where's it at? Oh, that's literally on top of the train station. Okay. Turn this one. Turn this one. And oh! Oh, my bad. Shot Bentley. The goat. Is it time? Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. 
I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. Well, Murray isn't known to be the strongest as far as mental goes, but hey, maybe. Wait, oh, okay, I was going to check his powers before. What is this? Long toss. Okay, so that's just the, the ability that he has. Okay. Heading out for the tank. All right. Let's go ahead and do our little waddle over to the tank and go to sleep. Later. Okay, I got to remember which one is which. So boosters are R2. Okay, so really we just need R2 and L1. Those are the important ones. Whoopsies. Okay, I totally hit that guy, but whatever. Oh, get out of the... Alright, let's just start the mission. Oh, I can't because I'm... Alright, bro, really... Okay. Broski. Get inside that tank. I'm inside the tank. Increasing the ride height on the treads. There, that should give you enough room. Alright, it's slide time. Crawl underneath this thing and let's get moving. Screw. Trying to do it the fanciest way possible. Alrighty. As long as he doesn't start going speed racer on it, we should be fine. Also, I technically don't need to be under here. He could go in by himself, and I could just be, like, sneaking in over the wall. But, hey. I love I love the creativity. Let's see if they fall for it. Here we go. Alright. I think this is World of Tanks. Pull that crap up. Never played World of Tanks, so it's kind of fun, though. Not really, but. You'd better get out from underneath the tank before I let loose with a turret. Okay, you're all clear. Head inside, and I'll be right. Okie dokie. Let's see what prison's like. I have watched a few prison shows. Trouble sabotaging the tank. Go on ahead, I'll catch up. See those spiders. These are all one hits, right? Okay. No security or anything, they just let me play with the elevator, huh? Okay. I have a slight memory of this map okay, from when I was younger. That should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. I guess you just have to figure it out. I mean, there's a bunch of hooks everywhere for... I don't know why they have Most hooks the in prison, but... Went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful. It's definitely on me. All right. I was about to say, let's retry this, and I instantly get hit by a laser. That's my pure tactical genius right there in action. All right, we're just going to go ahead and up. <laughs> Sucker. Let's go ahead and move past these guys. I really don't feel like fighting them, to be honest. I think they'll be fine without me. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. All I know, there's, m there's just money flying everywhere. Can I hide in your toilet? Okay, no. 
Also, why does this dude have spikes right outside of his cell door? It doesn't seem like the safest thing to do. He's like the one lucky guy every time he wants to exit, he has to risk his own life. Alright, you know what? I'm tired of you. When I say that and I get smashed in the head. Oh, oh no. Later. I'm probably gonna get shot, but it's fine. I can just take the hooks. Um, I almost just tried to jump to there. I don't think that, yeah, that was the right place to go. Oh, I need the health. You butt cheek. Okay. Okay, now... Go into here. Got any money? This guy has no money on him. How are you in the guard tower? You don't have any money on you. That makes no sense. Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. Y you see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. Let's do it. Oh, is there someone trying to fight me? Um, where is... Oh, it's these guys. Whoopsies. Why don't those guys get shot by lasers? Why is it only me? Or, okay, I say that and the dude behind me just got shot, so... Oh, that looks bad. I've never seen Murray like this. Oh, he looks scared. He's all or psychotic. Or bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded it out, all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice. And he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. Let's go get our boy back. First one should be... Oh, okay, no, I literally... I don't deal with them here I need to get up to those terminals okay I know Bentley just said that but I think you guys have noticed I'm I don't pay the most attention all right how do yo Murray you good he's tweaking bro I'm guessing that is where we need to head up to okay number one skirt I right, turn it off Bentley in the laser barrier. Or do we gotta do a little mini game? Yeah, we do. And again, um, controls are inverted, guys. You're gonna have to forgive my horrible, horrible shooting. I'm just not used to going. I'm not used to this being inverted for some reason. I should be able to do it pretty easily, still though. Not like these games are super, super challenging in the first place. So, okay, unlock one of them. Ouch! Ouch! Okay, and I just gotta go around. I am not shooting in the place that I want to be shooting right now. There we go. Ah, uh, yeah, that's close enough. It's almost easier to dodge these guys than to shoot at them. There we go. Going to unlock this one. Ouch. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're good. Oh, okay. I think there was more. I'm like, what? Switch to turn on the hypno box. Spooky. What's that sound? Angry. Get <laughs> gone. Get gone. Quarter of the century for Murray. Get gone. Um, okay. I think we can just hop our way onto this one. Right, go ahead, Murray. I'll take care of the laser wall.
Can't tell if those are outside or inside the game. That's creepy. I don't like those noises. I have to shoot that thing. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is... Ow. There we go. I just need to not get hit much more because I'm already like down to half health. I say that and I get hit instantly. Alright. I'm gonna unlock this one. Try to get our thing in a place where we can shoot this thing. Bonk. Okay. There we go. Just gotta do a little quick dodge here. Yeah, these things don't have the greatest AI. They have almost like a one second delay in any movement, so you can just juke them out. That's Furious style. Oop, I'm trapped. They didn't go for me. Alright. That was a little weird. Fair enough. Also, what happens to our little guy after we leave? Does he just, like, stay there and just die and we just leave him? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and I'll smash up everything. Ah! Threatening. Very threatening, Murray. You'll smash up everything. It's very, very vulgar of you, Murray. All right, last level. Oh, there's two of these turrets now. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Get rid of that guy. Get rid of that guy. Ooh, now there's three whole walls of these little red things. Little candies. Ouch. That did not hurt as much as I thought it would. I will have to stand here and shoot it for a hot minute, but I'm actually even tempted to. I might do. Let's shoot that one out and let's go ahead and head over here. Let's just do both of them and then we can hit both of them at once. I don't know if this makes it easier or harder, but we're doing it, so. Okay, boink, boink, boink. Yeah, with just a little bit of time on the controller, it gets a little easier, even with it being inverted. Alright, there we go. Now both are open, so we just do one. We'll get kind of kamikaze by a few of them, but that's alright. Just juke them. And there we go. There you go. Okay. That's actually like slightly terrifying. Like seeing like your I guess best friend in that type of state, it's probably not the greatest thing on the planet. That actually jump scared me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like, um, I can't see him and I didn't know when he was coming, so I just stood there because I got scared. Alright. See? Okay, oh yeah, this one will get him. There we go. Okay, I kind of get the shot here. I don't have to just, like, have him... Yeah, why was I standing in front of it? I could very easily stand behind it. I... Can he not get past that table? Oh no, he just has to hit every single thing along the way. I don't know why I was standing in front of it. I could just stand behind it, too. Not very giant-brained of me, but it happens. That was actually kind of clutch. 
sick. Uh, my head. Who? What? Is this heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free. And he's got friends. Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con... Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Hurry! Lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. Alright, let's do it. I'm on it. Hopefully Mori gets a little less cringy from here on out. After that brainwashing, maybe he'll stop referring to himself as the Murray. Okay, number one. Yo, stop with those like the weird dog noise in the background. That's actually kind of creepy. I mean, I guess that's the point of the level, but still. But I'm pretty sure the next part doesn't get any less creepy, so. Let's go. Now I forget. Do we get the? Do we fight this now? I don't think so. You lousy, no good head shrinker. Oh come now, Mari. We were making such progress during our sessions. The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists. Sorry, but our time is up. Do we actually get the fight? Okay, I was like, can I just run away from that? I'm guessing it won't actually let me. Can't pick it up, right? I don't like these things. I sly. Hit that crap. Are we gonna literally chase her around the entire wall? Oh, can I do the flaming fist? Will that get rid of the spider a little quicker? I'm gonna fall off. Another flaming fist going here. Go. I'm so close to falling off. Oh, we didn't get that last um treasure. All right, we'll have to come back for that. Ah, she's getting away. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. All right. We're gonna have to run back to the map real quick, but. was great. The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me. Even the van ride out of town was like a party. Furry had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray let me drive. Not gonna lie, that's probably like the most wholesome part of the game right there. Because I think one thing that's definitely missing... Ooh, episode 5, okay. Let's quickly go back to episode 4. Just because I want to go grab that um, piece of treasure. One thing that's missing in the game is like the camaraderie before between the three. In, in moments like those, um, you kind of like see it where it's like, yeah, they they truly are like best friends, you know. Because other than that, we're kind of just stealing stuff, and it doesn't really show them being like really good friends, you know. Here's the treasure that we needed. Um. I think it's the only one left, right? Because we got the other one. Is there, I forgot if there was three or four per map. I think it's three. Either way, we technically went 100% of the map. 
Go ahead and just grab like disappear. We can just kind of grab it again. That was unfortunate. Okay, hideout's over there, right? Oh, oh, it's literally right there. Why did they give us a minute 40 for this? We literally just, like, jump one roof and we're basically at the hideout. Honestly, they should have given us, like, maybe, like, 30 seconds max for that one. This is weird because the first game, with the timing challenges, they made those extremely hard. Like, those timing challenges, they took me, like, a little while per each one. I'm guessing these treasures are, are like, the replacement for the timed challenges, but they're super easy. They're, like, nothing compared to what they were in the first game. Okay. Well, anyway. See, we even had time to just leisure around, grab a couple more trinkets on the way there. Okay, and we can go ahead and sell all this for almost 4k in the loot. Um, let's go to exit to episode menu. Yes, exit. I guess we should also double check. Did we 100% all the rest? Well, I'm guessing we did. And if we don't, we'll come back. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start this, but next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly. We're going to go ahead and start episode 5. I think, once again, we're going to be kind of fighting against Contessa, which is gross because I hate spiders, but Time hey, let's do this. Payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. So that's weird, right? Because Neela... Well, okay, so we're presuming that Neela and Contessa are both in the Claw Gang, considering Neela betrayed us to give her to the Contessa. I'm just assuming Neela's also in the Claw Gang. I would assume, right? But I don't. I guess I don't know, considering now they're fighting. All right, let's um jump over to the thief net. We can buy all these moves because we've just got that money on us. Self extractor, capture, oh, and extract medicine from them. Okay. Use while jumping to create a wall of flames on impact. Okay. Ooh, okay. Paraglide. Now that one is a good move to have right about now. Let's go ahead and definitely stick that up. So, oh, let's see, but a lot of these are... All of these moves are so useful now. Oh, we don't... While jumping. Okay, we actually don't need to set that to a button. We just do this, and we have the paraglider. Dude, that's... Okay, I'm so happy we finally got the paraglider. And, funny enough, as a kid, th I think this is the level that I despised the most. I remember this specific level as the one that I did not like because there's just like tanks everywhere oh and now we have to find all the bottles too so I think I'm gonna do this one a little differently let's do a couple one or two missions and then we'll go find the bottles let's go ahead and do it okay here's the plan first take some recon photos around the area then make your way up to the re-education tower looks Pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. You say stinky or sticky? I mean, I guess neither one is particularly good, but... Alright, so I'm gonna do exactly what he did not say, and I'm gonna go ahead and head up in here. How do you get up on there? So I'm just taking a picture of it. Okay, the there's the boat. Okay. Oop, that's a tank. My bad. 
See, this level has just stuff everywhere. Oh, am I supposed to just take a pick? Okay, there's the door, Bentley. Wow, yeah, that door looks... That door looks crazy for sure. Alright, what other stupid things do I have to take a picture of? Okay. Yes, okay, that's how we get over here. Alright. Oh, I'm going to get blasted. Psych. No! No! There's so many lasers everywhere, dude. I'm trash at this. Alright, where's the picks? That I gotta take. Okay, they're over here. Let me kill this guy. Oh, no. Stop following. Alright, how do I take a pick of you, huh? Camera, please! Okay. There we go. That's a solid picture, by the way. I should become a photographer. Alright, let's get out of its way! Let's jump on the van here. Oh, this was probably where I was, uh, where I was supposed to take the picture from. But I took the harder route of staying on the ground and doing it. Alright, where's the last pick, huh? Over there? Oh, the blimp. I could probably take a blip picture of the blimp from anywhere. Whoops, did not take a picture there. Blimp. There's not many blimps in real life. I saw like a Reddit post where it was like, how many blimps are there in total? And there's not many left in the world. Okay. Like, I, th I think there are... There's a difference between a Zeppelin and a blimp. They're different. <clears throat> and I forgot which one there's a couple of and which one there's not. A or which one has less. Which one's rarer, a blimp? Or a Zeppelin? Okay. Let's try to get up somewhere high. And then we can kind of use our binoculars to see where we're even supposed to be heading off to here. We we'll might as well grab a few bottles while we're at it, huh? <gasps> why did you not grab? I pressed zero. I don't know why you didn't grab. Alright, let's try this one more time. Hopefully without falling off the edge of a... Okay, you ready? There you go, Sly. Nope, I do not feel like falling off this building right now. Yo, how high does this thing go? Jeez. Dude, we could fly far with from here. Okay. Well, maybe we can fly all the way up to our mission. Oh. Is this the way we're supposed to go? Okay. Yes, yeah, fly behind this dude. Hopefully he just won't see us. You can't see me. I'm behind a barrel. Let's go to sleep. I definitely want his loot, so... Thank you, bud. Appreciate it. Really? A bronze medal? That's all you have on you? Alright, well, you deserve to die for that one. <clears throat> Did I hear a bottle? I... I'm gonna go grab it. There's no reason for me not to just go grab it really quickly. Whoopsies! Sorry about that, bud. I didn't mean to wake you. Okay, so I need to get up. Get up here. Alright. Is there a bottle all the way at the top? Ah, oh, this, this would have been a really good place to put a bottle right there. But there is another one. I'm just trying not to... No! Oh, 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 I guess, oh, I got so lucky that I didn't just, like, fall all the way to the bottom. You know what? I'll, I'll take that as a little bit of mercy for me. I definitely should have just fell off the whole building right there for being dumb. 
You'll love, absolutely love to see it. Don't do that, that's weird. Bentley, there's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela, she set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the claw gang and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward, you're a disgrace to Interpol. I'll make it my life's work to destroy you. Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No. I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear, we'll find a way to help her. Alright. First thing, eyes. The clockwork eyes. They seem to be routed through that control board. Get a shot of the console so I can decipher its make. Also, just putting it out there, dude. The developers definitely use some creativity with Carmelita. That's all I'm gonna say. It was free for them not to do that. All right, what are we taking up next? Shadow Guard. Those are the Contessa's elite Shadow Guard. They look very elite. Tough is too sissy a word to describe those guys. Kind of look the same as anyone else, but sure. That's that's a mind shuffler. I didn't think they were real. It's made what? of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible to conventional weapons. Come on, bro. Man's geeking out over a mind shuffler. Right, we're in the world is old terminal. Old terminal? Oh, this thing, right? Yeah. That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. All right, head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. All right, sorry, Carmelita. We'll come back. Hopefully your mind doesn't goo by the time we get to you, but hey. The war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the Mind Shuffler. Slot, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. We just gotta go get ghosts. I mean, of course. What else would we do? We just go get some ghosts. Okay, let's see. So, do we got a mission for each of us? Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do ghost capture first. Just because that one intrigues me the most. We just gotta go get ghosts. I'm gonna get shot. Psych. Oh, I, I actually almost slipped on that one. Get out of my way, please. Okay, and once again, let's make sure to grab as many bottles as we can while running around. See, can I, can I jump to that one from here? 
right? Yeah, let's go and grab that bottle and then we'll head to the mission. Alright, let's try to get everything the hard way. Like, jumping from a weird ledge and trying to smack it instead of just... How do I have eight already? What? Okay. Gotta go crippin'. Sounds pretty harsh. Does the old girl really deserve that sort of treatment? Weren't you listening? She was an evil wolf priestess. Once you smash the coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. Yeah, I know about this one, Bentley. Sounds like he's doing a little too much here. But, I can steal some things, so I will definitely do that first before I release any spooks out. Silver metal? Alright. I will, I will only kill you by sending you into the water instead of beating up with my cane. Alright, be free! Oh, I actually gotta go in? I don't wanna go in. Yeah. Bro, for real? Oh, we you cripping? Okay, well, this is fine. We're fine. Zoom, 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 zoom. There we go. Got some money in you. Okay. Can I hit you into the fire? <laughs> Alright, we'll do that then. Yeah, he's got money in his pocket. I kind of want it. I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to get what's in his pocket. This is like a little too much. Oh. Is he gonna just jump back in his coffin? Oh, he's just gonna go to sleep. Okay. Well, I want what's in Oh, I did all that for a bronze medal. Oh, I feel ashamed. You're gonna die now. Alright, ghosts. Be free. You've been spooked. Now we got to catch him. Do some Ghostbusters. I modified the imager in your binocular to capture ghosts. Didn't I just set these guys free? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry. It's only a short-term confinement. Gather all the ghosts then set them free down the chimney of Thela's headquarters. I get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Thela should respond to the assault by purchasing more firepower. Anything bad for the Contessa is good for us. And we get to really freak out Neela. Okay. I capture them with my... With my... With a photo? Okay, that is super weird way to capture a ghost. I don't know how they're... Do I have like a special hard drive or something? How How is it stored? What kind of... <laughs> what kind of daddy data are we running here, huh? Alright, let's go grab this bottle while we're at it. It's actually kind of a good mission because it, it lets me roam a little bit more than usual. I made a mistake. Just kidding. See another bottle over there that I want to go grab after I steal whatever is in this dude's pocket. Zoink. Zoink. Gimme, gimme. Oh, for real? Gold pocket watch. Okay. I'm gonna kill him just because I don't feel like dealing with him in a minute. Oh, and he gets me a little bit more mana. Okay. And there's another bottle down there which I'll for sure... Grab. Is there another bottle? No. Let's keep going up. Let's make sure there's no other bottles in this vicinity. Okay, I think this is... Yeah, this is how we got up here. I think we got the bottle that was over here. Let's go ahead and... um Jump on here to grab this bottle. I'm gonna get this ghost. Trap him in our spooky hard drive I hear another bottle 
But how do I get up there? That's the real question. Alright, I'm just gonna throw you off the roof because that makes... Oh, there's another bottle. Okay, we gotta make, make sure to go get that one too. Man, um, okay, I guess we'll wait for him. Or if he wants to turn around, that would be real nice of him too. Thanks, bud. There we go. Let's grab that. Really? Let's grab that. Let's make our way over here. Can I capture this ghost? In this area? You good? Where you at, bud? Ah, there you are. You've been caught. Okay. Where are we going now? The one thing that I do like about this map is you can go really high, and I'm a sucker for going to high places. I think I'm still... 12 year old at heart. The higher I go, the happier I am. Right, where was that ghost? Oh, there was one. Let's go ahead and try to get around a little bit here. Just want to make sure I don't fall off on accident either. I should probably kill this guy in case he runs around. There's there's our um treasure. I don't think I can get that right now cuz I can't run back to the headquarters. There you are, bud. Okay, are you going to go around? If you go around, can I snap a pic of you real quick? Thank you. Okay, there's another one over there. I don't know why he fell off there, but did a bat push me? I think a bat pushed me there. That was actually kind of funny. Wait, there's a bottle there. I want to grab that. Can I jump over this? I can't jump over. Okay, good. Get out of me way. Okay, what up? Dang it. Don't go inside of the building. Someone's in there. Very rude of you, ghost. Also, I don't- I can't tell what animal that is. I don't know if it's some, like, weird... ...turtle bird? Can't really tell. Oh, you have some in your pocket. Also, I almost just ran into him. Like an absolute genius. Gold medal. Alright, you love to see it. I love gold medals. I haven't- I've only gotten, a. I haven't gotten a lot of bronze, which makes me real happy. Right, another bottle up there. Let's go ahead and zoink that one. Oh, show. Oh, what up? You're in a prime spot for a pick. Oh, I only caught like his legs there, but the game seems to be satisfied. Also, there are nine. We should really grab those guys because we're gonna have to come back here anyway. That is what I'm looking for. Come here, bottle. Alright, let's keep ghost hunting here. Did this guy really chase me all the way down here? Chase me all the way down here just to get smacked. Whoopsies. Oh, hey, thanks for leading me to a bottle. Do I hear another bottle? No, I don't think that's another bottle. That'd be nuts. There's another timer thing. Okay, so we know where two of them are now. You have something special for me? Looks like you do. Another gold medal. See, we haven't been hitting the bronze stuff very often. Which is nice. Okay. Where'd you go, bud? There you are. Alright, I got you, you flying turtle. Alright, two more. Ooh, I can snap this one right out of the air. I just need him to go back high again. Okay, we can grab the pick from up here real easily. Clean. Alright, last one. And we could probably even paraglide all the way there, which is kind of sick. 
Maybe. Maybe it'll let us paraglide all the way. Is there... No, I can't get any higher. Um... I want to get somewhere, like, super high. Can I get anywhere... Okay, okay. I'll be happy with what I got. Let's go ahead and paraglide over here. Now, where is this last ghost? <gasps> no! That is not what I meant to grab. Where's this last ghost? It's over here, there, right? Okay. Let's see if we can paraglide all the way there. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, we. <gasps> There's. This is the other. You know what? I can... Let me. Really? All right. Let's say let's grab it, and then when we finish the mission, we can just kind of bring it back. But never mind. The game does not want me to do that. Don't get shot. Don't get shot. I think I hear a bottle. He really shot me out of the air. Okay, right here. No. Ah. Okay, Sly. You have all the ghosts. Now just make your way to Neela's HQ and drop them down her chimney. Okay. Somehow we got them from the camera into a lamp post or a lantern. Okay. So the Contessa wants war, eh? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. Love me some planes. As long as they don't, like, try to snipe me out of the air. Alright, how do we get there? So we go from... Oh, okay. That's easy. So we go from here. Just do a little, a little paraglide there. We jump and grab that one. 20 out of 30 with just a couple of missions. Okay. Well, let's definitely keep looking. I have a feeling there's going to be one in here. Yeah, the only bad part about looking for bottles this way compared to how I usually do it is what how I usually do it is I go section by section of the map and I kind of know which places I cleared. The way I'm doing it now, I'm just running around and finding them and I'm finding them. But this way, there's no really way for me to judge which places I've looked at extensively and which ones I haven't. So, now I kind of have to run, rerun around and kind of check everywhere because I'm not really sure where I have and haven't looked. And I say that, which I technically do know where I have and haven't looked, but not as detailed as I usually do it. Because if you guys... Well... I guess I edit it. I edit a lot of it out, but I tend to find all 30 fairly quickly with the method that I usually use. So definitely now it's going to take me slightly longer to find them all, but it shouldn't take that long still. But I think we're at 31. Let me try to find the rest of the bottles here. I, I think I can kind of devote the rest of this episode to bottles, and then next episode we'll go ahead and continue with the missions. Okay, so there's a lot of places, like, up high that I need to check. Hello? But I will be grabbing whatever's in your pocket, sir. Silver metal. Okay. Not bronze. We take those. There's one bottle. Okay, that's 23. I hear... Okay, never mind. 24. Check, I should definitely check this area. Yes, see, this place I haven't checked much. So likely I was going to find a few bottles. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if there was also a bottle on the floor around here. Yeah. I mean, again, the game doesn't particularly make it hard, but if you use your brain a little bit, you can kind of guess where a lot of things are. Like, there's obviously going to be one, at least one bottle... In this small little area, you know, and it's like, well, there's nowhere really you can go. It has to be on the floor, and sure, lo and behold, there's one on the floor. There's, it's the only place it could be. So, but now that that logic gets a little harder and harder as you get less bottles, because now all of a sudden the bottle could be just about anywhere. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Let's get ooh, 50 seconds. Okay, they're making it a little harder now. You absolutely love to see it. Although it's still not very hard, because you just fly right on over. 
Man, if I could grab this one while I was at it and just like double fist treasure, I would definitely do that. I also have to make sure I don't get sniped by a tank right here. Also, I hear a bottle. I don't know how I missed one so close to the base, but I did. Okay. Let's return this one. Let's find the bottle that's right here. How could I have missed it? Is it on the ledge? I bet you that's right on the other edge of this, right? Oh, it's not. Is it on top? No? Yo. This place got me flabbergasted. Flabbergasted? Is that the right word? Oh, it's in the sewer. Okay. Now... I have no idea how to get into the sewer, so that's a little bit of a problem. Did they actually make one that's actually harder to find? How do I... I wonder, can I only... No, I was gonna say, can I get to that at a later point in the game, but... that's They've never done that before. They've never hid a bottles out of sight using the story, so... Now, this makes me wonder... How many more bottles are in these, like, caverns? Clearly not too many. But where is this supposed to take me? Oh. I see what the deal is. That's not where I wanted to go, but alright. Ew. I think I might just hit it. Okay. But we're actually going to continue. We're going to grab this, last two bottles, and then do a mission next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly. Let's go ahead and grab this piece of treasure. We've got two more bottles to find, and then once we find the other two bottles, we'll go ahead and kind of continue with the, the missions that we have in front of us here. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to find these last couple ones. And I think there's one more piece of treasure that we need to grab. So while I run around to look for it, We'll also grab that last piece of treasure. Yeah, I've kind of... I've looked a little bit of everywhere, so I'm not sure what we have left. Unless, is there like a bottle on the boat? No, I didn't think so. That would be kind of a mean place to put it. Well, anyway. Once I find the treasure or the bottles, I will talk. Okay, so here is another thing, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this. We've got like a whole minute to get there, so I'm not really worried about that. Honestly, I'm worried about actually getting hit. Um, yeah, we can take this wire, why not? As long as I don't fall and die, that is. Alright, so as long as we don't accidentally step on one of these electricity thingies, I think we should be solid. Okay, there we go. Get it all the way to the top. Let's go ahead and take the safe way. We, we've got 41 seconds. Well, I almost fell there and crapped myself. Go ahead and kind of take the safer way. There we go. Yo. Easy peasy. And I think that's the last treasure. So now, there's just the two bottles. Oh my god, there's literally a bottle just in the middle of nowhere. I, sh I should have, don't even know how I missed that. Okay, one more. A single bottle to find. Oh lord, okay, there's the last bottle right there, we found it. That took an odd long amount of time, to be honest. 30 out of 30. Bing bong. Here we go. Now. Can we grab the vault? 
Or I think we might need a. We probably need to wait a little while before grabbing the vault, huh? Alright, well, we can go ahead and, um, let's grab Bentley. Actually, which one's closer? Yeah, I think Bentley is the easier one. Let's go ahead and do Bentley. There, there's only three buttons, and I clicked the two that, that I didn't need. <laughs> Great luck. Okay. I'll just speed run past these guys. I just need to get to the graveyard, por favor. Thank you. Right, and I totally forgot what I was actually gonna do in here. That's it. I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow. Huh? It's oh. a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo. I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts. Wow. Sounds easy. Not really. Bad Mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for. Wow. Sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, that should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. Okay, so I grab this. So that's the crusher. Oh. Okay, so I have to I have to be kind of resourceful with these, right? This one's still out. Okay, that makes sense. Wait, I don't think this is that hard actually, as long as we're kind of we just wait for them to get a little close and then we can hit them. Yeah, no problem. Also, I thought they were gonna give us like a couple traps. This is just one. Come on, bro. Where are the other traps at? As long as we follow the pattern of letting one get close, the other one kind of gets near the back. This isn't that hard. Unless this is just like the easy portion. Looks like the spouts run out of bad mojo. No matter, I'm one fourth of the way to a full tank. Okay. So, wait, was that just the one? Do we need to go to a couple other places to gather more of the bad mojo? I'm not really sure how to use your computer, but a new crypt should be up in your binocular. Okay. I can't climb or hook, so. Alright, hopefully they give me a couple more traps to play with here. I think that could be a lot of fun. So they had the Smasher. Ooh. What is this? Oh, okay, what is this? Okay, so those are the boings. Okay. Okay, so I remember, that one's a close one. Whoopsies. Oh, wait, no, no. There we go. Get that one. We'll, we can let this guy get close. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. This actually isn't as hard as I thought it would be. Okay, I need this one. To, okay, I guess we'll just use this one. Get both of those. Zoink. This is actually a pretty fun one. This is a fun mission. I'll let both of them get on there. I'll let this guy get up close. There we go. Oh, 
I thought I could maybe get both of them there. <gasps> it didn't kill that guy. Oh. Oh, okay. We'll have to back up to this one for that guy. Here we go. Maybe we can... Um, okay, now we'll just hit this guy with that. Hit that guy with that. Gotta get over to... Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to hit this guy with this. Ooh, I made a mistake. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Easy enough. That last guy was a little weird, but... Moving on to the third crypt. Let's crypt all the way over to the third. There should be a new waypoint in your binoculum. Oh. Go ahead and put that guy to sleep. Later, skater. Oh, that's a little far away. Alright, well, let's run all the way over there then. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully this is a way that'll get me there. I don't think there's fall damage in this game, right? For like Bentley and Murray? Yeah, so I can just kind of jump all the way down. Alright, let's see what machines they have for us this time. Ooh, okay. Okay. Come on, dude. That thing was red for way too long. Alright, let's so try this. I still think it was it was red for a little too long. Okay, so I can't even get hit once. Noted. Let's see. Ooh, um You could probably use this one first to get him close to us. There we go. We'll use this one when they get close. I wonder how many of them I can get in one area. I think it's three the max here. Then put everyone to sleep, huh? <gasps> I almost got hit by that guy. Why is this one not ready? Okay, we can use this one. Ooh, that was a juicy one right there. <laughs> Ooh, that was actually kind of... That was a juicer for sure. I get it a little closer. Which one is... Which one is... Okay. I'm gonna put everyone to sleep here. This bomb will get both. Alright, we can let him get a little closer here. Okay. Oh, I almost got hit there. That would have been unfortunate if I got hit right there because I was really close. Looks like I've only got one more crypt to go. All right, let's go ahead and get the last crypt here. Yeah, th this was—I don't remember this mission. This is a fun one. It's one of the longer ones, but it's definitely a fun one. Buried in the well. Alright, let's go ahead and get the last one done here. This one should theoretically be the hardest. But, as long as it's fun, that's all that matters to me. What kind of ch Ooh. I'm guessing this... Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I, I, I kind of see. Okay, I see how this works. And then if any of them get close enough, I have to hit that button, but that button's not currently alive. Okay, I see why this one's a little bit more challenging, because I have I'm gonna have to hit the buttons pretty quick. See, like right there. There we go. There we go. There we go. I wonder if I can just do that pattern here. Okay, well actually, this one might be the easiest one. If this is the pattern, literally just one, two, three. Yeah, never mind. I take it back. This one's definitely like the easiest one. I did miss one there. That was annoying because I was really close to being done there. They didn't even hit me. I literally just fell in the water like a doofus. Alright. Let's do it one more time. Okay, I guess we'll have to just quickly go back to this button over here. Crap, 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 crap. I'm in a little bit of trouble here. It's okay, though. I think we just have to kill, like, one or two and we're kind of good. There we go. I think that should be enough there. Lit. All right, now we just got a Bentley mission, right? Or, oh, sorry, Murray mission. Ooh, I'm gonna have to run all the way back. Actually, if I die now, it'll just send me back to the location of the crypt, right? Oh, hey, thanks, boat. Like, almost jumped on it on accident. And it knows exactly where I need to go. I'm guessing they literally put this on here for Bentley and Murray, the ones who can't climb all the fancy ropes to get here. I'm forgetting which one the fast button is. Okay. Let's go ahead and do one more mission with Murray. Oh, we haven't looked at his power. Oh, we actually did look at his powers. We can go ahead and put that one on L2. So now, we should have the fire. And with Murray, we're just going to go ahead and just whoop, go and run on it. No way that hit me, dude. No way. These lasers are very hard to dodge with Murray. Because he's not fast, and he's also gigantic, too. Where is this mission again? It's like over here. I don't know where to get, how to get on top of where I need to go. 
maybe we can run this way. This sounds about right. Lit. Hey, Murray, can you see the general from there? Nope. Just an old man coming up the ramp. Don't let his appearance fool you. That's General Clawfoot. And he's one of the toughest old soldiers you'll ever see. Not to mention head of castle security. What if he doesn't want to come? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, uh, don't worry about that. Bro, he Murray just got done beating like things. 50 wolves in the Fire prison. Other than that, you couldn't hurt him if you wanted to. He might even come in handy along the way as a projectile. Wow, that is handy. Oh, I don't want to hurt him, dude. Murray, you have hurt a lot of people. So. Okay. This shouldn't be a very hard mission. Unless he, like, somehow gets off of my shoulders. I could even throw him at people, right? Alright, is that German? Yeah, this is definitely not a very hard one. Ah, uh, okay. I s Can I just throw him? There we go. I just don't have... I don't want to deal with him and the lasers. Alright, I'm literally going to die here from the lasers. Lord. I say it's easy, and then I die to lasers. Okay, to be fair, those lasers are pretty, like... I'm not even in, like, the space, and they just, like, fire off. Alright, come on, bud. Let's try this again. Oh. I so totally forgot that I can run while holding people now. Oopsies. Bro. No shot. They quick scoped me down to the boats. Alright, where'd he go? Okay, stop. Okay, can I put... Where are my fiery fists? Alright, come on. Me and you need to go. I just need to get past that stupid bridge and we're fine. Again, I think I'm just gonna end up... Ooh, we got past that one. Oh, never mind. We're fine. I don't know why at some points it's like super hard and at some points I can just like walk through it. Obviously skill-based. All right, come on, you old, you old wiener, get up in here. Well, well, General Clawfoot, we've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates, hmm? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? <laughs> Jack! <laughs> Talk, you scoundrel! <laughs> nice. All right, what are we doing next? All right, fellas, let's get down to business. The first steps to escalating the war between Neela and the Contessa have gone well. We are down to the final setups before we spring our trap. Sly, I need you to steal a voice modulator from the castle and install it under Neela's headquarters. If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and go to town on the mercenaries. We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypts to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Okay, let's move out. Yeah, we bought, like, one of those the first second we could. Now, if we go over here... 
probably sell a couple of things, right? Oh, yeah. Almost 4K. All right, um, let's go ahead and slide. I think this video is going to end a little early, but we're going to go ahead and do it because I got dinner to eat. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly. I think we've got a few Bentley and Murray missions. So, um, let's go ahead and do those. I It's actually been a hot minute since the last time I've... Okay, I'm just going to try to juke this. It's been a hot minute since the last time I've played. But, um, I think we can just get right into it. I say get right into it, and I get right into getting smacked in the head. All right, you guys can follow me if you want. I'm not really doing anything so exciting, but let's do it. All right, Bentley, what do we got to do? Like I said, it has been um, a week or two. I started school and I got real busy very, very quickly. How are you gonna hack the computers down there when they've got no power? According to General Clawfoot, a mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes. Well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, in fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the clockwork eyes or free Carmelita. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? Turtle soup. Also, I don't understand a lot of these villains. They, like, make areas where they live, and then they just, like, cover it with, like, random spikes. Like, it's not that hard to not get hit by these. I don't know, I guess I'm questioning the villainous capacity of some of our villains here. Like, th this is their idea of, like, some crazy... Um, woo, I say that and I'm about to get hit. I probably should have got hit right there. Um, alright, we're just gonna jump right into it. I'm not the type of dude who likes to wait. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Ooh, a little water. Oh, actually, Jenny did not expect those. Alright, we on to another. Oh, we just gotta ah, grab it, okay. This acid battery should do the trick. Just walk close to the electrode and voila! Aren't... Prepare to be hacked, you name. So I'm not like a battery aficionado, but don't batteries like aren't they composed of like a positively and a negative charge negatively charged side? I wonder what an acid would have to do with that. I mean it's probably just mumbo jumbo, right? But I know like acids are negatively charged as far as like chemistry goes but how would that increase the battery capacity of it who knows maybe i'm probably thinking way too deep into it all right come on and uh, just another reminder the controls for this hacking portion are inverted so if i look a little dumb it's because you, i have a hard time oh, with the inverse controls say that it's not going to happen I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. <laughs> I mean it. I'll get you. Yes, yes, so I've heard. All right. So we got to get three, of, three of those things up and running. Go. Uh, I had better not take any damage while carrying this battery to the other terminals. It is, after all, filled with acid. Once again, okay. what's with the acid? Ready for another session of hacking okay, so I, I, I gotta somehow not get hit the whole way out, which actually, I was making fun of how easy this place is, but getting hit at one place is actually pretty easy to do. So we're gonna go ahead and try our best here. I don't know if I can hit it the first try. I probably will be able to, right? Bonk. Bonk. There we go. Next oh, the terminals are still inside the crypt. All right, so we cripping inside the crypt. I got you. So these things just get harder and harder slowly. 
It's not gonna even change the map up on me. I got you. Well, I'm just gonna face my little shooter thing in the forward direction. And we should be fine. Come on, come on. All right, I'll do one more, one more wrap around. Ooh, my audio is bugging. Apparently the game doesn't like it when I destroy like 10 of those things a second. Okay, let's try to get our aim going a little more. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, you're, you're, uh, you're, you're trash. Maybe I should approach this through your id instead of your conscious mind. It might help to get around your super ego. One more right. computer and I can get out of here. Next crypt. See, this one's the one that's a little weirder. Actually, no, it's not. This one's the one that's a little weirder. Nah, actually, I'm just playing. I say that and I almost get smacked by that. Alright, what do we... Dude, I'm about to just, like... I'm gonna get hit. Nope. Here. I think I just over... Yeah, I just simply overthought it in that instance. I was trying to do a little too... I was doing doing too much. Putting too much sauce on the, on the chicken wing. Alright, I say that. Nope. I don't know how I didn't die, but hey, fair enough. I'm glad they didn't kill me. Oh, those things are fast. God. Who's a fast person? I don't know. I was about to say, like, some athlete, but I'm not going to even pretend to know about sports. I like the UFC. And I like NFL logos. That's about it. Alright. Come on. <laughs> All these things are... These pizza slices are fast. Alright, pizza. I love pizza. Alright. Oh, we got a mega boss. Say less. Alright. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, I'm also not pretty cool because I'm about to die. So can I just hit the whole thing, or... Okay, that's pretty cool. Little mini boss at the end there. Well, it wasn't particularly hard. They made the target nice and big for me. Fox. Why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow. No. Dang. With that old computer powered up, my work here is done. All right. Again, why her computers are in the crypt with a bunch of like spikes and like random axe blades? We'll never know. I don't think it was the brightest um, defensive strategy, but. Alright, Murray. We need you, bud. Ooh, let me also check his moves like once again. I haven't done this in a little bit. These are these are both passives, right? Okay, so L1 Alright, I'm not gonna even bother to fight those guys All right. Sounds like a plan to me. Here we go. So it's gotta go back farther than this. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm in attack. All right. Remember, World of Tanks time. Oh, I think I have them like slightly inverted. Oh, okay, it's gonna be a little rough. Once again, my controls are slightly inverted, so I actually have to press up and down in different directions for the for those to work. Okay. 
At least he's gonna attack too. Bro, get out of my way. Yeah, this is gonna be a little rough. We got it though. We got it. Actually, maybe it's not as rough. The, the controls are inverted. But actually, they work in a sense that I can actually get used to this pretty easily. Yeah, I'm fine. See, so I want to go this way. Yep, there we go. Very weird controls, but... So I need to go that way. Yep. Bonk. See, ooh, I need to go the other way. There we go. No, 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 shoot. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not, like, an absolute god at this, but... Fair enough, right? Maybe I can snipe that dude. Can I, can I snipe that dude all the way over there? No, apparently not. Alright, well, I've got about half health, and I've, I'm only about half done, so I really need to be careful with these next ones. Turn, 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 please. Please turn. Okay. Indeed. Let's see if I can snipe him. No. Alright, where's the other guys at? Oh, he's gonna be coming around the corner here. Let's see if I can just... Oh! No! Alright, good, good, good. I'm greedy, so let's go ahead and collect these coins. Where's the last tank at? Hello? Ah, uh, there you are, buddy. All right, we're gonna actually gonna chase him down. We're coming. Gotta go this way. Maybe I'm really bad at this. Can I fall off of here? Nope. I want to go the other direction. There we go. Um, what? He's not gonna like chase me? Dude, what a coward, Roski. I'm trying to fight, dude. Where are you going? No, dude. This dude just running. Come back. One more. Nice work, You're trash. That should cool down those mercenaries for a while. Good job completed. All right. I think. Oh, I thought we were gonna get um the slideshow PowerPoint. Oh, I was about to get thrown into the water. Also, didn't I just destroy you guys? What's your deal? Why are you still here? Go oh, away. Also, Murdy is the size of the tank. I don't know why he can't just, like, pick him up and just throw him into the ocean or into the river. Just just push it push it away from where we need to be here. Alright, what's the dealio here? Who, who, what mission am I forgetting? Oh, I didn't even realize that we had a slime mission. Alright, well, that's where we're headed to then. Oh, not into the water, though. The Contessa plans on taking control of Neela's army by fooling them with a prototype voice modulation device. To get the thing working, she'll have to jack it into the satellite connection beneath Neela's headquarters. So, I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and hook it up for our side, giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. You'll have to steal a few keys here or there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. If there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Zila's headquarters. I'm on it. I've actually already gone down there once for the bottle. Alright, let's let these guys split apart and then we can do our thing. Also, what is this again? This is R1. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's, um... I think they, like, walked in front of each other. That's weird. My bad. Let's go ahead and just do, uh... L2? Bonk. I'm not anywhere. You don't see me. Let's try that again, huh? The man just had to, like, turn to the right. <gasps> no! <laughs> I'm trash! I'm trash at this, I'm trash at this. Boink. Alright, I'm about up. One of you is about to die if you do that again. Okay, turn and you, you're dead. 
it's not a threat because I can't tell you where you see me, but you know, you guys know what I'm trying to say here. Later. Oh, yeah, my bad. I didn't realize y'all were chilling like that. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, the sewers. Okay, 20 bucks I can make that. Where in the... What? Why am I supposed to go there? Oh, I'm supposed to go steal something before I go to the sewers. I got you, I got you. Right, let's climb up whatever this thing is. Okay. Let's try not to fall off, though. That would be kind of embarrassing. Okay, so those two keys... Open that. Coolio, where are we going? Oh. The wiretap is at the far end of the room. Easy does it in here, huh, pal? Yo, how did... Um... Yeah, if y'all want to just, like... I was gonna say, if y'all just want to, like, hit each other, that'd be lit, but... What up? Can y'all even hit me up here? Alright. Oh, what? That was oddly synchronous. Oh. Really? Are you guys not gonna leave me alone? Alright. Well, then you're all about to get smacked. Not like this is much of a challenge. Ah! What, you? A couple of you would be nice. Hey, none of them gave me a single heart. Oh, hey, we collected all the bottles last episode, did we not? That means we could zoink this. Security around the Contessa's castle is tight. She must have something really good in here. Sure hope Punch so. In nine, six, nine. No. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, okay, here we go. Nine, six, nine. I don't know what I was doing there. Is that a Bentley thing? Rage bomb. Oh, they attack each other. That's pretty sick. You've gotten the rage bomb move. It's not for me, though. Yeah. Wait, it is for me? What? Are all the powers for me? Does Bentley get none? Sorry, to the what? Okay. Let's set it to... Is this a throwable? Oh, it is a throwable. And I can't blow it up. Okay. Interesting. Zoink, give me the wire tap. Oh, yeah, that wire tap is perfect. Sick. I'm glad you think it's perfect, Bentley. I, I got it just for you. Uh, Another ooh. set of guards are up in your binoculars. Whoopsies! I didn't mean to do that. Oh. No, dude, I'm so bad at this game. Come on, come on, come on! Before he turns around. One more. Let's go, dude. You're trash. Get out of here. All right. Um, on a plane. That'd be kind of cool. What's that game that you can do that? Um, the one with like the rope thingy. I think Just Cause. That game is pretty cool. Let's do a quick slide. Don't embarrass me again, or I'll murder your family. Zoink. Nice job. Thank you. The room with the voice modulator is marked in your binocu cop. Okay. Why am I going to the front of the church? Go. Boom, boom. <gasps> Another they little. Posted a lot of security around the voice modulator. Mm. This could be tricky. I mean, if I just do that. Ah! <laughs> I could also probably use it for the rage bomb. Yeah, that probably could have been done smoother, but. Ooh, you got something in your pocket, and I want it. 
Hey yo, silver medal. Whoopsies. Are you kidding me? No, he didn't get hit by the spikes! Now he did. Get strike. Alright. Here we go. Stealing another thing. Thank you. I've everything we're stealing is conveniently on the wall. Alright, Bentley. Again, everything is conveniently just like on the walls. Which I feel like is a bad strategy. And also the swinging axes, again, aren't ideal. I'll talk to Contessa. I'll, I'll I'll show her how to do real security. Contessa's guards have locked down the entrance to the sewer. Are you sure about that? Find the guys in charge and steal their keys. All right. Why do I gotta steal everything? Why can't we just ask nicely? I don't think we've ever just asked. Maybe they'll just yeah, sure, man. You look like a cool guy. We can go play poker or something on Tuesday nights. Like, what's the problem? I think let's just get up high. I don't feel like looking for them. It's the ground I see. Okay, well, I want to make sure that other one isn't somewhere high when they're right next to each other. So yeah, I didn't need to get high, but it's okay. We'll just land right behind this. Mm, yeah, cash. I've done harder. In Dimitri's like thingy, I did the exact same thing. Oh, never mind. I'm good. My bad. I didn't mean to do that. Later. Maybe I'll zap one of them. I wonder, are they gonna stop looking for me, or are they just gonna like forever? Okay, so that that's the guy I need stuff from. But like, maybe I'll walk out when he just like. There we go. Gotta be kidding me, man. Doink. There we go. Easy peasy. That's some quality thieving, Sly. Thanks. Now head for the runoff drains near the riverside. They should lead to the sewer. Okie dokie, bud. Let's go ahead and just do a little climb. Try not to get executed here. Okay, try to get as high as we can, then we can do a little bonk. Do a little flight. I think it's right here, right? Yeah. Money? Money and lives. I will take both. Thank you very much. And we slide. You'll need to crawl through one of the runoff drains to get to the sewer entrance. I think it's, it's to the left. I could have just picked the closer one, but it's alright. I'm really curious about that rage bomb. Oh, I picked... Wait. Did I pick? Yeah, yeah, I picked the right one. I'm curious about that rage bomb. We'll have to use it in a second here. Hmm. Okay. According to my blueprint, this sewer should take you underneath Nila's headquarters. Is it These guys gonna see me? Alright, I'm curious about that rage bomb, so let's go ahead and use that and see what it does. Or see if it makes the other dude go Coco for Coco Puffs against the other one. Are they not gonna attack each other? Do they both have to be enraged? Is that the thing? Yeah, I guess they both have to be enraged at each other. Except these two are terrible at doing their job here. Yo, are they fighting a squid? Okay, they were fighting the squid instead of each other. Okay, they're being annoying, so I'm just gonna kill them. Looks like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wire tap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. Is it slideshow time? Not yet. Okay. Uh, hello, mercenary tank forces. Come on, spinning your turrets for me. Guys, this is cool. Uh, I mean, you are all really cool. Carry on. 
bonk. 55. Sancho time. It's time to wage war on the castle, and in the confusion, pull off a heist I've named Operation High Road. First, Murray will take down the spotlights on the main gate with the codes provided by General Clawfoot. Then, with the help of the voice modulator, I'll order Neela's forces to attack. Sly will then paraglide the two of us over to the Contessa's getaway blimp, and we'll use it to get inside her re-education tower. The assault on the castle will undoubtedly draw the Shadow Guards off their post, and if we free Inspector Fox, she's sure to clear out the Contessa. With the Mind Shuffler exposed, I'll plant the Bad Mojo Bob, and presto, the clockwork eyes are ours. So if the two of you are ready, let's take our positions and get this thing started. Alright, <clears throat> good plan, Bentley. We're gonna do that next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. How's it going? We're playing some more Sly. I think we're nearing the end of this level. Head for the castle's main gate and power down those searchlights. While you do that, Bentley and I will climb our way up to the top of the castle. Good luck. Dude, these searchlights have been the bane of my existence on this map. Those things shoot way too good. They got aim lock. Most things in this game have aim lock. I hope that general guy told the truth, or this is gonna get ugly. Oh yeah! The lights are down, Bentley. Time to call in the cavalry. I'll see if I can find some extra firepower to help out. Attention, bloodthirsty mercenary forces! The castle defense, defense is on down. down. Seize this opportunity for aggressive military action by pressing an attack on the castle. Charge for victory, for glory. That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I got I don't you, want baby. To drown. Hop on my back, baby. Here we go. I love his little legs that are just hanging off. Skirt. We could probably just hit the thing right away. We don't even have to grab the rope. Hold on, pal. This could get rough. Oh, do I have? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go ahead and get that going here. This will help quite a bit. There we go. All right. Let's head for the re-education tower. Let's do it. Let's go get ourselves an education. Again. Spooky. What? The mercenaries have breached the castle defenses? All of you go! Defend this tower to the last man! I'm never gonna get over that. Don't worry, oh, my Her dear. legs. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Let's do some hacking with the weird inverted controls like usual, but here we go. I'm sure we'll figure it out as we go. Alright, ooh, okay, this one's a little harder because they don't give me much space to play with. So this one's definitely going to be a little harder. Because really, the movement is not what my issue is. My issue is, is the shooting is very inverted. So it's a little harder to do so, but... Honestly, not that big of a deal. If we lure them into a corner here, get rid of them, I have quite a few seconds just to kind of sit here and blast away at the red bits. And I guess we can just repeat that process here. And try not to get hit too many times. Alright, I say that and I get whopped like four times in a row. Alright, I'm tr clearly trashed at this. No, dude! Okay, okay, you know what? Screw all of you. I'm just going straight for the red wall. I feel like this is doable if I just stop sucking. Alright, we're almost there. Once again, you can't make fun of me. I have inverted controls. I have immunity. 
All right, there we go. Almost failed it, but we made it. That should do it. Ooh. Bro, grab your gun, start firing. Aha. I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should. <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! Bro, she's a foreigner, but she shoots 90 degrees the other direction. That Carmelita. Always trying to resolve her problems with the shock pistol. She's trash. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. <laughs> that didn't, that didn't sound okay? very good. This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. Dude, if you only have one eye... It, this wasn't in the plan! <laughs> if you have one eye, your depth perception is going to be horrible. You're gonna be flying your bird, and you're just gonna like be hitting things. Attention, all bombers! Focus your attack on the Contessa's blimp. Heads up, Bentley. Can I hit her? About to come under fire. Get to the blimp's turret and stay sharp. I'm also gonna totally fail this because I, I failed to. Yeah, I totally failed to realize that I was supposed to um, glide there. All right, try number two. This time I'm gonna Attention, not be dumb. Focus your attack on the Contessa's blimp. Heads up, Bentley. You're about to come under fire. And to honestly, and do I even have shot. to land? I could just straight up. Maybe this was a mistake. Is she good? Okay, I can probably. Yeah, we're still good. As long as I don't get sniped by one of those barrels, I think we're gonna be fine here. And she's not. Oh! Oh, you're going in the. I did, should have did not realize that is something that I could do. I didn't know I could go inside that. Can I smack her? Let me smack you. Woo! Okay. But I wasn't able to smack her, so noted. I can't just like snatch it off of her back. That was a pretty cool little jump, though. Oh, are you already here? What's your deal, Neela? You're kind of trash at this. If we were playing tag, you would loot. Alright, I mean, she actually got me there. <laughs> Alright, that's embarrassing. Oh! Where are you going, bud? I don't want to lose you. Watch the barrels. <laughs> You're bad. You really should watch where you're going. This place is dangerous. It's like a giant tangerine. Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! <sighs> Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. Nah, it's kind of cool, though. It looks like an orange. I want it. You're about to come under fire. Okay, I can do this. Ooh, I we better start fighting some planes. All right. Although, okay, I'm clearly terrible at this. Hello. Okay. Oh, okay, this is gonna be a hard mission because I'm already terrible at this. All right, here we go. All right, we're getting the hang of it. Here we go. Again, the vertical controls. Just a reminder. No. I need to stop laying on the sauce so heavy. I need to let my gun not not get so hot. Also, why is this blimp equipped with a giant turret? It's 
seems a little aggressive, doesn't it? Imagine the Goodyear blimp coming up in your town and start shooting everything. Alright, a couple more. Did they just crash into each other? Did they knock out like comms or something? They're just like each doing their, doing their own thing? No! <laughs> I was trying to go slightly down and I just went slightly up. Once again, I was trying to go down and I went up. Genius. Clearly I'm cracked with this. Alright. How many more? Oh, one more. Let's try to... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, let's try to, like, do something cool with this last one, but... Okay, guys, I'm heading out for our rendezvous. Come back here, Contessa. That getaway blimp won't save you. Can you read me? A carbolita shot out the guidance system, and the blimp's descending at a decidedly unsafe rate. I'm going down! 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 Sorry, Bentley. That eye belongs to me, and I want it back. No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! I've no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. Is she wearing pants? Is that a thing? Does she have pants? Is, is there... Okay. Is there spider pants? Okay, I just gotta learn her little movement pattern here. Okay. Alright. So she does her little fury swipes. Fury swipes. Oh, I don't want to see that. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education, and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof. I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye. That's not gonna get any grosser. She's got the eye. Or any less gross. How's this thing work? What's this do? And this? Guys, help! Carmelita took the eye, and she's trying to get away in one of the Contessa's tanks. Don't worry about it, little buddy. I won't let her get away. So we gotta. Ch Whoop! So, I'm guessing we can't let her... Oh, this is gonna be a rough mission. Uh, oh, I don't got this control thing, like, super down yet. Alright, here we go. Okay, noted. Don't hit the barrels. Guess that's probably something I should have guessed, but... Yeah, this, this actually might take a few attempts, because... Yeah. I already heard this. Come on, bro. I wonder how many times I have to shoot her, though. Maybe I can, like, quick scope her a few times, like, right away. Alright, here we go. Doing a little better this time around. Okay, okay, here we go. No, no! I was doing so good! 
I'm doing so good and I started messing up. Come back. Keep going straight. Do a little turn. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Oh, yeah. There we I'll go. I'll grab the eye while Carmelita's still stuck in her tank. Then come around to pick up Bentley for a quick exit. Let's do it. It's a sick jump. There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. This is a pretty cool fight, not gonna lie. She does her swipes. And then she does her weird little stair thingy. I'm almost tempted to get hit by it just so you guys can see the animation because it's pretty cool. But I also don't feel like getting hit on purpose. Alright. Whoa! Okay, there we go. I got hit. And I, act and I can't actually hit back either during this, so. I hit again. Jeez. Alright, just do a little. No, she's gonna hit me with it. Okay, she that was actually pretty good on her part. AI definitely got me there. Can I hit you while you're climbing? Okay, yes, but no. <laughs> she does that, I can smack her a few times. Oh, what am I doing? Why, why aren't I using my electric cane? I keep forgetting that that's like a really good move. Oh, you're trash. Try to get in a few. Okay. Oop, that was a little. Go ahead and get that going. Darn it, man. Yeah, Cooper's on some, some, some of the good, good. You've got a strong mind, Cooper. I never would have guessed. Things hadn't gone exactly to plan, but the Contessa was beaten and the clockwork eyes were finally mine. The Contessa was arrested and brought to trial for the crime she committed while working for Interpol. Their PR damage control went one step further by promoting Neela, the hero of Prague, to the rank of captain. Carmelita, still on the outs with Interpol, had to run with the rest of us. To my surprise and eternal delight, I got to help my favorite policewoman escape from the cops. I tried to put it all out of my mind. This claw business was spiraling out of control and I knew that my gang was at the center of it. We'd be back in action soon enough, but for now, well, we just laid low for a while. Now, please tell me we're going to my fa- Let's go. So, um, this is, like, my favorite level in Sly. Now, I can't say of all time because I, I need to replay 3 and then make that judgment. But, the reason we're even playing Sly right now is because one day while I was studying, I thought of, uh, this level and the trains and how much fun I had as a little kid. Just, like, jumping on the trains. So, really, the whole reason I started playing this again was this level. And I, now I'm finally here, so this is actually, like, exciting for me personally. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike it rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. Miraculously, the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. A product of his time, 
he dreams of taming the wild north, damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Shipping spice for the Claw Gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero, but today, he's a villain. Either way, that man's got more than his fair share of the clockwork parts. What a low-tech guy like Jean Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. Alright. <clears throat> the best level in Sly Cooper. And honestly, when I was like looking at a lot of reviews before the game, people actually didn't like the level. Overall, a lot of people are saying like it's too spread out and there's not like enough going on. We'll see. Maybe I changed my mind. Again, this is really nostalgia. Maybe it's not as cool as I remember. All right, let's see what we got. Hover pack. Extend your jumps by hovering. Okay, that's very useful. Berserk charge. Okay, I'm pretty sure it wasn't this what we did when uh, Murray was like on the drugs. And the silent alert. Silent. Finish off juggled enemies without attracting attention. Oh, and that's perfect because we have three coins left. Okay. We're almost out of money, so we're gonna have to collect more for sure. Let's grab Sly. Okay, well, first time on the level, y'all know what we gotta do. First things first, it's bottle time. So let's grab as many bottles as we can see. Is that a bottle? Okay, that's a bottle, but... Actually, yeah, let's go get that one next. Whoop. Okay. Can I? Oh, okay. I was like, how do I get up there? I can just use this. Again, I just, I love the vibe, the music. Just about everything that this map is, I just remember loving so much. Especially, like, again, the moving trains. Something about moving trains as a kid just... I just loved it. So, and again, it's not about the trains. I I wasn't a train kid. I didn't... I was definitely not one of those weirdos, but... I say weirdos. I mean, I just let people like their trains, I guess. But, yeah, I definitely wasn't like a train kid. But I just... For some reason, I just... The trains on this map fascinated me. And I just loved jumping all over them. Really, I think as a kid, I was fascinated by open world maps that had moving things on them. Okay. But, funny enough... So I was telling you guys about how, hey, maybe we'll see when I see the level. Most things so far actually look exactly like I remember them. Which is actually kind of nuts. Usually, when I remember things, they're, I don't remember them as clearly as I do. But this map, I very much remember like it being the way that it, I see it right now, which is surprising. It, I think it that that that's it kind of shows how much I liked this level is that out of all of the other levels on this map, this one is the one that's still like the freshest in my brain. Just get him out of the way. Is there a bottle up here? Yes. There's usually a bottle anywhere that is high. All right. What else are we looking at? There's not a bottle under here, right? No, but there's a barrel. Barrels have money. And again, we, well, technically now, I'm not going to need any more cash for a hot minute. Um, because I just bought everything on this map instantly. But I should, while being here, gather enough money so when we go to the next map, I have, once again, money to buy it. Okay, I know there's probably a different way to climb up there, but I'm just going to go ahead and just glide. Make it easy. Don't make any noise. There we go. Oh, people actually heard? Okay. Did I hear one to my left, too? I thought I heard one to my left. And I'm also very tempted to hop on that train. There is one here. There we go. No! Yeah, I think I can. Alright. Um... 
That works. I know there's a whole mechanic with that that we'll actually have to use for like ice climbing later. But we're not going to use that right now. Alright, there's probably a few bottles up on these railways. How do I manage to always miss them? There's one down there, which we'll grab that and then we could probably head back up onto the track over here. What, you good, bro? I just had like a stroke. Are you good? I almost fell because I just wasn't paying attention. And another thing I loved about this map, and you guys will see this later, but this is like one of the few maps... Well, I say that, but one of the few maps where you like actually go inside like houses and stuff. I don't think I can go in yet. But I remember a lot of missions being in houses, and they were just like a lot of fun. Let's see, is there... This would be a good place to hide a bottle, is up here. Wow, missed opportunity on a bottle right here. They, they kept sticking them on easy places like the railways, and that would have been a good spot, because I feel like not a lot of kids would have checked there for sure. All right, let's continue down the railway. But yeah, so I remember, like... Let's go ahead and grab... First time on the train! And nostalgia's pouring in. I remember the houses being, like, really fun missions, so we'll, we'll see if those also... Um, stay how I remember. Oh, okay. This silent obliteration, that is a passive. Okay, another rush of nostalgia is these bears. These things aren't killable, right? They just, like, smack you. Okay, I'm not gonna even bother. I know that thing's gonna obliterate my head. So I'd rather not mess with it. I think it'll just kill me. Let's go ahead and sneak past it. We'll undoubt undoubtedly have a mission with them later, and I'll you guys can watch me get smacked by a bear at that. You know what? Maybe we can just like There's a piece of art with a time on it, so we're not gonna grab that now. Alright, you made a mistake, bud. Okay. I do remember I remember this part of the map too. I don't remember that part, though. I definitely thought I could outrun it. Apparently, I can't. Okay, fair enough. I, I know we've gone past that little cave. Ooh, Sly 1. Haven't had this since, since Sly 1. Please fall so I don't die. Thank you. Okay, we just do a nice little walk. Uh, ooh. It's going to be a quick one. I think I can make it past this one. Okay, that, see, this was a slightly harder bottle to get to. I almost just fell off, too. Where does this lead us, is my question. Another bottle, okay. And that got us all the way up here. Is there, like, is there going to be a mission here later? Hmm, okay. I know, and the last thing that I know impressed me about this map at the time, at, please don't let me miss that. Um, around the map, you'll see just, like, little things that clearly, they, they, they almost look out of place. Like, things like the rocks there. Which, you know, I think in our spoiled modern-day gaming, things like environment things are, like, expected. Like, yeah, you have to fill your environment. But I just remember thinking of, like, these logs and, like, the rocks. And especially, I think there's, like, a couple of, like, glass bottles lying around near, like, the homes and stuff. Things like that really impressed me as a kid, and I just, like, the, just, the fact that there was a map, and I could hit things on the map, and, like, interact with it, I just found extremely cool. Right, let's get up here. Is this where the bottle sound was? Right? Alright, that's a piece of art that, without a timer, so I'm definitely stealing that. But, whoa! Okay, we gotta be careful of the birds. Never mind. Okay, let me go. Bro, yo, you, I'm just trying to find the bottle, man. Where did I leave that bottle? It's okay, I can keep getting smacked by them. They don't do that much help. Okay, whatever. Let's grab this. Where 
Where was the bottle? Or did I get the bottle and I just like straight up wasn't paying attention? I might have just not been paying attention, but I feel like I definitely missed it. Let's go over here. Okay. All of a sudden... Okay, this is where we came out of here, though. So we can probably continue our search uh, into this direction. Was there a bottle on the side of the thingy? Maybe not. There's... I remember these bear traps. Just little details like that. I don't know why I remember them so fondly. Okay, there's a bottle over there. That reminds me of the first level of Sly 1 where we had to... Ooh, okay, that's a bottle. Uh, in, uh... The Frogman. These little, like, lily pads and stuff. This doesn't actually take me anywhere, does it? Is that a bottle or am I tripping? I think that's not a bottle. I think I'm just hearing things. Okay. Again, I have a piece of art on me, so I, I want to be careful because I might as well take this back in one piece, you know? There's a bottle. Yes, I do gotta remember that there are... I, I think I missed one bottle on the railway earlier. So... At some point, I should re rerun the entire railway and double check that I didn't miss any. Okay, that was. You know what? That's fine. We'll come and grab the art in a second because I think right now what's important is to be thorough with the bottles. The art is secondary. We can grab the art anytime and we can do it fairly quickly too. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this bottle over here. Did I hear another bottle? No, there wasn't another bottle there. So let's go ahead and, uh... I think I already checked all these railings. This is where... Woo! We go fast with that. Do I need to go up there? No, I think I got the ones up there. But if I don't find one on the railing, then I will go up there. Again, to double check. Okay, so now we're going back into the town here. Okay, that's the end of the railroad here. Oh, what up, bear? Oh, jumping on the train there would have been used focus! Alright, noted. Like I thought, the bear doesn't really play around. Here we go. Alright, now we can just ride the train. Let's see... If we missed any bottles at some point, Ooh. camera's not. <gasps> no! You gotta be kidding me. Wait, I can grab the back. I'm a genius. Again, man, these trains are so fun. I freaking love trains. Someone died, but I also hear a bottle. There is the one that I was missing. I, I was like, I knew I, I, I was doing some climbing. There's a bottle in here that we missed while hunting and that is all of the bottles okay well that makes it easy then let's go ahead and let's try to get that timed art piece while we're at it just because we're right next to it might as well grab it right how much time 45 all right these things are getting harder and harder and I actually love to see that because earlier in the series, I told you guys how much I hated that they made these, um, like, time skills a little too easy. And I see, I say that, and it's technically still really, really easy. As long as I know the general direction of where home is, I can finish this with not a lot of issue. Well, while we're at it, let's go ahead and grab the rest of the... I know where one other piece of art is. I know there's one on the super, super high ledge, but didn't remember in my head. Well, let's go ahead and grab this one, because this one's another timed one. We just get it out of the way. How much time we got? 45, okay. But again, that difficult, because really, it's just a straight shot from here. We're home in about three seconds. As long as we don't get blasted by the 
walking terror ambulance. Even this guy. If he hits me out of the air, it could potentially be bad. But... There we go. Alright, I think... If I'm correct, it is three per map, right? So, we know where the last one is. Figured it out. Okay, so I need to go in that direction. So if we grab this... Woo! Here we go. And this one's not timed. Honestly, even if they would have put like a 15 second timer, I think that would have been like a pretty cool little challenge to do. Alright, now as long as I don't get hit from here until the house. See, like that guy probably could have sniped me, but I'm bitter. Alright, there's the three art pieces. I'm not going to even sell them now. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode. Next episode, we'll start doing the map. But today we got all the bottles and the treasure, so there we go. Hey, how's it going everyone? We're playing some more Sly. We're finally on the Canada level, which I mentioned last episode was like one of my favorites as a kid. For some reason, something about the trains. I just, I love the trains, the bears, the little bear traps. Something about it just appeals to my little brain. But, last episode we got, see, that's a sick bear. Last episode we got all the bottles, we got the three pieces of art. For this episode, we're finally going to start with the missions. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Alright. Can the bear go on water? Apparently not. Real question, is he going to follow me all the way around? Whoopsies. Where am I even supposed to go? Alright, this is not good. Let me away. Let me away. I don't want to do this anymore. This is no more fun. Yo, can you fight each other or something? Why do you gotta fight me right now? I forgot about the moles. This level is oddly spaced with a lot of chaos. Alright, I almost jumped on top of the train somehow. Alright, and I still don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Is it this thing? It is this thing. Okay. I'm not dumb. Leave me alone, mole thing. I don't want to talk to you. You're mean. You look like Rossetti and he made me cry as a kid. Not really, but... Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. Alright, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Um... Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, Chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better How while do I my legs turn my camera. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Yes, we're well underway. How do I get up? I want to get out of his sight. Bullseye. For a second, when are you going to give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. This song you cover this troglodyte. You already hmm. got the lion's share of parts. <gasps> Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those mm. robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course. Sly, did you hear that? Besides hidden the iron horse blueprints in his trophy bats. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plants. 
Sounds like you're making capital use of your share of the robotic loot. But for now, the clockwork brain stays with me on the... Excellent! Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted! Alright. do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes! The blimps here just wave lights. I don't even know how he didn't, like, spot me. After analyzing Bizarre's decorating techniques, I think we'll find the other trophy mass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. Alright. Other cabins. Here we go. You know what? I'm just gonna get up real high. These death traps. Heart, maybe? Nope. Okay. We don't have a lot of life with us right now, so we gotta be... We definitely gotta be a little bit yep, Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Question. Can we do this? I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin there's someone been in my head blueprints. Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no soap kid. I don't pay you boys to volley gang while there's a beef in these parts. Okay. So he was talking to Arpeggio. And we know that he now has the brain, and Mr. Bison here has... Oh, these guys are rich, rich. They got rubies and sapphires? Oh, they actually saw me? No, dude. Yeah, these guys are loaded. They all got rubies and sapphires? They got, they got some good stuff on them, so... Yeah, this guy has nothing. Bro, you butt cheek. That dude's already cleaned. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, we can go ahead and get out of here. See, here's what I wonder. If I die will, and I respawn, will those guys have more more money in their pockets? Because that could be busted. Basically, four rubies in one room and just farm them over and over again. But it almost like wouldn't make sense. It seems a little too busted. There's not a... No, that's not a cabin up here. I will grab onto you. That'll take me to. So we went to that cabin. We went to that cabin. So we're looking for. What cabin then? Oh no, we 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 haven't been over to this cabin. Yeah. Okay. Woo! That dude tried. He definitely tried to snipe us. Did he give me any... Oh, no. I was going to say, did he give me any life? I could definitely use a little bit of mana, considering... I do also want to steal the precious the gems off these guys. Above the fireplace. Be careful. <gasps> and there's also... The... Safe. Which is very useful. Because we already collected all the bottles. Are you gonna turn around? I'm gonna steal your money and then I'm gonna kill it. Again, with that should be silent, right? Yeah. Ooh. I guess I'll have to kill each and every one of them anyway. Well, let's go ahead and grab the last one then. I didn't realize this guy was facing this way. They're gonna throw rocks at me, aren't they? Going to the fire. I guess I'll just send each of them into the fire. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Alright, let's collect this map's thing. One, two, nine. What? Don't we already have the clock? Music box? You've gotten the music box move! Okay. So, what is the difference between the, like, alarm clock and the music box? 
should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. Trains are also right in front of us, but um, we're not ready to talk about that, are we? Alright. Oh, actually, I was going to say, let's find out what the music box does. But this guy, I want to steal his treasure. Although, maybe the music box is exactly that. Maybe I could steal his treasure easier if he's distracted by a box. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Oh, this puts people to sleep. So, like, I actually would be able to steal his stuff easier because he's asleep. Okay, so we're up here to do this thing. Twain's. All right, Bentley, give me the slideshow. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. All right, so we'll, we'll be going after each part kind of individually, it seems. Real quick, I don't have... Okay, and I'm actually not going to sell these things. I want to, like, just get an absolute juicy sell, probably at the start of the next map. Okay. We got Sly first, right? Yeah, spice this guy. We got two, actually. We got a friend in need. Alright, well, i rather do... I'm actually a genius. I'd rather do a friend in need. Also, let's go ahead and change this to that, because that move will forever be broken as a one-hit insta-kill. That's just... It's busted. It's nuts. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Alright. All right, give me the mission. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack and got captured by Inspector Fox. Carmelita? She's here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up, Murray. I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay. That's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. It's actually like that. Like slightly breaks my heart. Actually, like it. I like felt then Bentley's voice. Like, bro, don't leave me alone again. Okay, so am I supposed to just chill up here until she's done with her deal? Where are you going? Is she gonna, like... Oh, she just, like, blasts people. Okay. See, I love how Sly just got done, like, oh, yeah, Carmelita's, Carmelita's like, not cruel or anything. And then she sees an animal, she just blasts away. Just no remorse. She's probably gonna turn around here, right? Yeah. You see anyone? Um, I think we're safe to come up here, probably. And I love how she's walking right by her safe house, and she just 
You're not curious? You don't want to look in that window, Carmelita? Or Bentley's literally in there. I wonder if she'll hear me if I break this barrel. <laughs> Whoops! She can hear if I break that barrel. Alright, that was on me. <gasps> I didn't get the coin! No! Alright, Carmelita Dio thing. Right behind you, boo. Where are you going? Oh, we gotta be careful here. I gotta keep. What can I pickpocket her? Does she? I don't think she has anything in her pockets. Although, if the game was really like hardcore in this mission, they would put something like stupid valuable in her pocket. But those people who like just play dangerously, I think that would have been kind of cool. Zap him. Bop bop. What a savage, dude. She just emoted on him. Fortnite. I think she's gonna turn around in a second here. I gotta be careful. Can I get the money? Oh, no, the money's already gone. Skirt. Where in the world are you going? Oh, she's coming up here. Wow, oh, so I wonder where Murray is. <laughs> Jump, jump, please. I wonder where Murray is. Zap. Emote on him. Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. I wonder how she got Murray, though. Murray's kind of a, like a beef chunk, dude. How do you Murray, get him? I've come to break you out. Bad chance. This thing is triple padlocked, and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. All right, where did she go? Oh, she, she didn't walk far. Yeah, duck, I need you to be quiet, broski. Okay, let's do a little flying right behind her. Do you have money on you? Oh, I gotta run. What? My keys! Dude, that was actually slick. I say that and then I jump in the water. Oh! Okay, can we do that? So how far would she chase me? Oh, she's chasing, chasing. Okay. All right, I gotta get out of here. Did you call me a sissy? I'm not a sissy. You're a sissy. Also, what are you gonna do about your key, bud? I got your key. My... That was like a little too close. Zoink. Okay. Later. What was that? Uh, nothing. Dude, also this thing is busted here. If we slide on this railing, you go fast, fast. Look at that. Look at that. Dude, Cooper's absolutely flying. Where is she? Not really. We'll just go ahead and do a little, little floaty floaty right behind you. Thanks for the key, bud. Appreciate you. I felt that thing. Did you? Did you? All right. So now, do we just like run up to Bentley? Oh, everyone's shooting at me. Yo, can y'all chill? So I totally just like did like a weird grind on the floor there. Bro, leave me alone. Why are you also chasing me? 
You're no match for me. Well, I don't know about that. What up, Murray? Thanks. Step me up. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. My pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah. That's weird. See you back at the safe house. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay. Well, that was one mission. Let's, um... Is there a train coming? Where's the other mission at? Okay. Train, do you mind taking me over to the spice in the sky? That would be kind of cool. Where is it again? Oh, it's up there. Oh, do we gotta get up like to that really high place? No, okay. Well then what we can do is just do a little jump from here. Whoop, I almost just like failed that hard. Let me just fly for No, no, no. Oh, that's... Kinda sad. Alright, we'll go, we'll go the right way this time. Off of a slightly higher balcony. Okay, Sly. We need to break into the Iron Horse trades, but the only way in through the caboose is locked. To blow the locks off, you'll need to collect the ultra unstable denatured spice gas from those balloons floating above town. How am I supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas? Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut, and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you pop the balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected Actually, it does sound really gas, sick. You'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So, you're saying I either land on the caboose, or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. Sick. Honestly, any map that takes me high, I'm, I'm down. I'm there. That's part of the reason why um, the Contessa second map is pretty cool, because there's a lot of like high locations. Ooh. Okay. Oh this dude i'm insane dude in what world that was there dude that was there no way all right you guys that that doesn't count like it didn't work but you guys know you guys know that that worked also i need to turn around a little quicker there we go Is that enough? One more. Okay, we'll catch that train right below us. That did it. You got a full tank of gas. Time to land on a caboose. Alrighty. Here we go. Well, maybe we'll take this one nice and slow. No, actually, we won't. We'll take. Uh, we'll take it like half slow, half fast. That should do it. Wonk. Okie dokie, where's that heist plane? It's over in that corner, right? Yeah. Alright, we, we could probably just glide there pretty quickly. Yeah, because it should be right below us here. Alright, Ben, or Murray, I'm coming. Yeah, this mission is definitely one of the cooler ones. Any mission that I can fly is a good mission in my book. Yeah, I think it's definitely like one of the things that was definitely missing out of like Dimitri's map was there was absolutely no height. Dimitri's map was just flat. But maps like this and the Contessas where they you get a little bit of height, I'm ashamed of what just happened. I like those maps. Right, let's try to hit this one. Why did I just hear a bottle noise? There should not be bottles up here. Maybe we can... Ooh, maybe we can hit this train right here. And this is all I need, right? Yep. 
and try for a landing. I will definitely try for a landing. Make this one nice and easy. I think I can hit this one. There we go. And it's even right next to the plane here. So quick turnaround on it. Meet Murray at the ice plane. You guys are yep. doing great. I am There's literally there. That was a nice little spire point right there. Alright, this one's going to be a little harder because I think there's only one more train to actually target. So, we're going to have to be a little bit more careful about how, like, at what location on the map we're at. Where? Oh, and there's Carmelita just still chilling at some... Okay, so there's that train. So, it's that's in a decent spot for us. We really shouldn't have any issues. Um, okay, I almost didn't have enough, though. Is this it? No, one more. Can we hit it? Alright, there we go. Target the last caboose. We could probably fall for a little while. <gasps> wait. Oh, we're gonna have to wait until it comes out. Oh, but we're fine, we're fine. Alright, should be good. Boink. Very cool. 63%. Feels like we've done much more than just 63%. But I guess it's also just weird because this um, game is longer than the first one. The first one took me just a couple days. This one's taking me quite a bit longer. But I guess that's natural for a sequel, right? Alright, what missions do we got now? We got a Bentley Ride of the Iron Horse. Okay. Do I? What was that new move? Oh, yes, the thruster packs. Okay, so. I don't need L2. Let's go ahead and put. Let's go do the fast at L1. This at L2. We got the size destabilizer, health extractor, snooze bomb, and then trigger bomb is this. So we got that on this one. We got the fast run, and then we've got the bomb. I think that's a good little kit for Bentley here. Oh, of course, we also got a sleep bombs. Uh, 99 Budski. I'm out of here. <gasps> I can't put that to sleep. Let's do our little dash here. Alright. Oh, I'm supposed to get all the way up there. What? How in the world am I supposed to get up there? Is there a little bouncy bouncy thing I can... Yes, there is. Okay. Um... Alright. Okay, let's go ahead and do this level then. According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. Okay, is it this one? Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't be that bad, Bentley. Come on, you're just jumping on a live train. Okay, it's got to be careful with my jump here. If I jump wrong, I'm kind of done for. Alright. We're in the Can I get money? Okay. Alright, Bentley's doing the thieving now. Alright, I think I'm good to go right here. Um, right here is probably good. Alright, so this is just a simple jumping one. Lit. We going up. Is there enemies? No enemies up. Alright, um, let's go ahead and jump here. These guys gotta be put to sleep. Go to sleep. Thank you. Bomb. Put another bomb here. <gasps> let's put you to sleep. Did that bomb get you? No. <gasps> give me the money, give me the money! This money goes away way too quickly. I want to collect it. They keep taking. Um, you don't wonder. This could be a little fun. Wait, no, that's miss. No, you moved. Don't do that. 
All right, fine. You guys will go to sleep. I wanted to like explode them off of the train, but that's fine. You guys can just go to sleep. That works too. Ooh, I don't got a snooze bomb. Let's do the snooze bomb, huh? Oopsies. I thought that one was the one that I throw. There's a lot of money in here, isn't there? This might be a good place. While they keep searching for me, let's definitely smack these. Collect a little coin. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's rethink our strategy here. Health. Hmm, I've never really played with that either. Is this... Okay, no, that is not a bomb. Okay, okay, I guess we'll just play with the normal bombs then. That's fine. A little less fun. I think we're going to get some cooler gadgets later. Boink. <gasps> oh, no, you butt cheek. You're small now. Oh, let's so just get that out of our way. All right, I tried to have fun with it. I couldn't make any magic happen there, but close enough, close enough. Oh, wait a minute. I got the, no, no, okay, wait, wait. Yeah, I can do this, can I? I'm sick, actually. Okay, see, now this is where this bomb could be fun. If we place the bomb, hold on. If we place the bomb right between them, we could maybe throw both of them off of the train. What? They didn't fall off? Alright, well, we'll try it again. Let's throw another bomb right in the middle. Oh, what? Let's try it maybe over here. No, that's still not close enough, actually. Alright, I'm gonna run out of mana, my guy. Oh, that one's close enough. Zoink. Actually, you know what I could do? Can I just, like, ledge drop it? I don't think that's close enough. <gasps> that was close enough. Alright, cool. Alright, well, we did that in a little fun way. That's all I wanted. We got a lung. I wonder if the, the bison vapes. Is it is damaged lung? Strange robot organ for us. One less iron horse train for John yes, sir. <laughs> boink, boink. Nice. We already got one lung. We're crazy. Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Bassan's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby hand car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number 3. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. And we're going to do all of that coming in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing a little bit more slide today. So it's been another actual couple of weeks since the last time I played. I'm currently in the middle of the first round of exams. So, um, yeah, I haven't had too much time to play, but... I've just got done with one of them, and I've got like an hour or two, so I thought, what's the best way to spend my time? Of course, it's catching up on a little bit of Sly. So we got a Murray mission, and we got a Bentley mission, and I like Bentley, so let's go ahead and let's refresh ourselves. Okay, so R2, okay, so, oh yeah, yeah, okay. What are we doing? Heads up, Bentley. Here comes Iron Horse number two. You and that RC chopper of yours ready? We'll get the job done, provided I can catch up with that trade. Um, I'm sure we can make something work. I'm gonna put him to sleep. Okay, so I might have to do. Oh, I'm not gonna get there in time, am I? 
No, but I fell too. All right, let's go. Oink. Easy. Let's make sure we don't go a little too far. I'm guessing that's the button, right? I totally forgot. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to bomb it. I was supposed to go inside, which I would have known that if I didn't if I didn't play last time weeks ago. So. Work. Sly won't stand a chance making it through this train unless I neutralize the aerial defenses. Good thing I outfitted the RC chopper with a new cannon. All right. Let's see. The X button drops bombs and the square button shoots forward. All right. I'm guessing a thing is going to start coming at me here. Oh, I'm supposed to like. I got you. Okay. This is a fun mission. I always love these aerial missions. They're always super fun. And the music is really good on this one, specifically. Hey, oh. So we got a Murray mission, and then um, I'll finally get caught up and know what I'm doing. I wish he would have stayed on the train so he could give us a ride back. Now we gotta walk all the way back. You go to sleep. Um. Woo I forgot about the bears. Um. Do I outrun the thing? I think I do outrun the thing. I think. Yeah, there you go, bear. Just uh, go ahead and uh, maul the duck for me. You don't want turtles. Ducks taste... Wait. I prefer duck soup over turtle soup, so... Just saying. Although I say that, I've never had uh, turtle soup. I have had duck, though. Okay, those are all the things we're going to sell. We're not going to sell them now. We're going to sell them later because I like it when we can juice it and just go bink, 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 bink and get a lot of money. I'm going to hold off. Okay, let's see. Where are we going with Murray? Ooh! And they say Murray isn't sneaky. Let's see what moves you got on him again? Okay, so not a lot so far. Alright, we got 
Oh, we gotta get on top of there. Probably just gonna like kamikaze on top of one of the trains, huh? Okay. Here we go. We'll need this hand car to chase down Iron Horse number three. But for the time being, it's all fenced in. No problem. I'll tear that fence apart. The metal's too resilient for my bombs or your muscles. So for this job, we're going to have to rely on a stronger force. The love of a mother for her child. Uh, you got something to tell me? <laughs> yes. It's a good line. One of the better ones. If you put them together inside that fence, they'd surely start fighting. Bears at that age are particularly antisocial. Noise from the squabbles should bring their mother around to free the angry youths. I get ya. That big mama bear will be able to smash the fence no problem to free her cubs. That's correct. Beware, cubs. For you are hunted by the Murray. The Murray. Oh, where y'all at? Hello? Am I gonna get hit by a train? Where are they? Oh, I like totally missed it. Here we go. Oh, also, did we ever get that rage move? Oh yeah, Berserker Rage. Um What is this? Jump to heroic heights. Okay. Well, let's let's go ahead and uh, replace that. Cause I think is this the one where we go like, yeah, we go kind of stupid on it. Yeet. That the only reason that's good right now is. Are you kidding me, Rossetti? Get out of here. We can kind of move forward a little faster with that. I could. Oh, it's Carmelita. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Bro, there's a fox with a pistol behind you, bro. Get your priorities straight. Said he got me twice in a row. What disgusting creature. Can I just, like, throw you? I am never gonna get used to those. Um... Wink. Alright. Number one. Where's number two? Oh, there's just three bear cubs? Alright, bro. Dude. Kinda blow, dude. Alright. Y'all wanna squabble? I'm just doing this for the money. Free money. Yoink. Okay, where is it at? Okay, under here. Whoop! Um... Oh, it's inside. Okay, I'm like... Sorry to say it, but the other cub is somewhere in this bear cave. Be careful, Burry. Yup. I don't think... Yep, I'm out of here. Later. Wonder if I can absolutely like Kobe this bear into that thing. That would be kind of lit. Here, I'm gonna try it. Oh, or maybe I just. Whoops! I didn't mean to chuck the bear at the. Ah! Don't do that. There we go. Yeah. Don't. Ah. Yeah, I'm not particularly showing my skills at slide right now, but um Again, first episode to egg, so I'm gonna be trash, but uh, hey, we'll get used to it. Alright, what's up now? We got Sly. Alright. Alright, let's get to that rooftop. So, can we get up there this way? Yeah, we can, okay. Sly, the second iron horse train is coming too fast. You 
you might not have time to jump on top. Well, if you don't and shut up, yeah. Family. There's more than one way to get on top of that caboose. Um, just grab onto it? Roski. Yeah, you just grab on. Easy peasy. I don't know why Sly didn't do that for just all three trains, but... Okay. Um, I forgot what moves I got. Okay, those are passives. We got the music box. The rage bomb. Ooh, this one could be fun. Alright, how about we do... The rage bomb on this. I think the rage... The rage bomb is a lot of fun. Because, like, you just watch them kill them, kill each other. Which is pretty lit, actually. Yeah, keep fighting, keep fighting. Keep fighting them, keep fighting them. How many shots does it take to kill that guy? Oh, he's after me. Alright. There we go. Ah. I always forget that those guys are slightly stronger. Alright, here we go. Zoink. Whoopsies. Okay. We're making our way horribly and painfully. Whoops. I wanted to steal his treasure, not gonna lie, but it's okay. Um. Let's go ahead and just take care of these guys. Later. Alright, give me your money. See, again, what moves do I have? Um. Hmm. Let's go back to that. Actually, no. I want to do the rage bomb again. I like the rage bombs. I know they're like kind of terrible, but I just like using them. Partly because these guys don't seem to do a lot of damage to each other. Which is kind of annoying, but. So another rage bomb right there. Maybe they'll both get hit. We can just kind of watch them fight. Oh, is there anything in here? Yeah. While, while they just like do their own thing. You guys done already? Come on, bro. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Wait, he has he has something in his pocket. I want it. Nope. I forgot that I didn't have my super slide on there. Alright, whatever's in your pocket. Ooh, a ruby. We take those. We take those any day. Alright, bud. Oh, he's not dead. No! I thought all that fighting, he'd be close to dead. Oh, that's on me for assuming. Now this is fun. <laughs> oh! Oh, that dude's after me. No! <laughs> Yo, get back in your lane. Is he stuck? Nope, he's not stuck. I'm just dumb. Let's try to keep fighting each other. Oh, you, got, you gotta try to stop fighting me, bro. You have a couple people behind you to take care of first. They all dead? No! Why do you shoot so fast? He shoots so fast, bro. All right, that's fine. You know what am I doing? Let's go ahead and do. It. We want to. Oh, dang it! You can't see me, even though I'm right behind some glass. Just turn around. You can also probably see my tail, but it's okay. We won't mention that. I want whatever in your pocket. And thank you for glitching on, by the way. That 
large necklace. Glitching out definitely helps me. Alright, we had a little bit of fun with that. You, you should really give health. Gimme, gimme. Okay, guys, this is it. Time to break into Iron Horse number three and carry away the clockwork stomach. Now, the train's moving too fast to jump onto here in town, so we'll have to catch up with it on Murray's new hand car. Once we're in position, Sly will hop aboard and make his way up to the engine. While he travels through the interior, I'll provide air support with my RC chopper. I've planned this as a textbook train robbery. If we all do our jobs right, what could possibly go wrong? Alright. Let's do it. Alright, I'm just gonna assume Murray's the first mission, right? Because he's... Yeah, because he has to grab the train cart. Woo! That was close. Um... I'm gonna throw you into the ocean. Well, I tried to throw him into the ocean, but that didn't work very well. Hop aboard, guys! We've got a train to catch. Let's do it. I am speed. Speed and violence. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. <laughs> the Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, I feel Sky. like that's like just Break cardio at that, that point. And steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw game divides up the clockwork parts, and he walks away with the stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique hand car at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Cue Western music. Alright, here we go. Train time. Um, what do we got? We'll keep the same things. We'll have some fun with it. Let's go ahead and uh, rage bomb this guy. There we go. Uh, what is this knockout dive? Ooh, that that one's always fun. Go ahead and make sure to rage both of them at once, huh? I could technically just get out of here. Hello. Oh, I gotta go under. I got you. Bro, who just leaves their luggage on the floor? The floor is dirty. Just a dead end? Nope. And who secures their luggage with lasers? <gasps> There's the Bisson. Ain't nobody getting past me. That there clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the varmint that's been looting my iron horse dream. By Jiminy, I get hot neath the collar just thinking about how I cut that boy down. I kill him like a spawn of them. Don't. Sure. Don't look out the window, I guess. I, I know it's a lot of hard work right there to turn your head to the left a little bit, but. Yum. Hey, Cooper. Thought I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? Oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on? Have to call up your little friends for help? Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Cooper. Let's play. What in blazes? All right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. Let's do it. I thought I could just honestly brute force it. Apparently, that's not the case. I actually got to try a little bit. All right, here we go.
That was some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Murray's going at it. Alright, let's go. Let's get that last piece, huh? I totally thought I had my slide on there. Whoopsies. Alright, uh, please stay in the vicinity. I want both of you to get bombed. Thank you. Later. Uh, later to me, actually. No! <laughs> Alright, bro. Really? Bro, can you not chill for... Alright. I think... This has got to be the, like, record for the most times I've died, probably in a single video. Okay, here we go. Uh, hopefully this time they don't fall off and they actually fight each other. Yeah, because when they fight each other is when I can run past them. One of them took a shot at me, though, so that was a little scary. Oh, okay, I remember this, like, a little nostalgia right here. This was, like, one of my favorite shots in the game. I love it how they did that. Zoink! I did not make it. Woo! Why'd they bring me back all the way there just to get shot? Alright, here we go. Try this again. Maybe this time not fall like an absolute doofus, huh? That might work. Okay, that that jump is not alright. I don't I don't particularly know what I'm doing wrong actually. It's just not throwing me far enough. Unless I'm just trash, which is likely the case. Alright, we're gonna try one more time, and if this doesn't work this time then I am lost. Okay, here we go. It worked that time. Alright, let's just do the normal killing route this time around. Go and get rid of him. Let him do the figure eight. There we go. I'm not gonna deal with all the the rage bombs and stuff. See anything in your pocket, bud? No. Whoops. How about you two rage at each other? That would be wonderful. Woo! No. I'm in the middle. Why am I in the middle? Later. Never thought I'd see the day when his stomach got turned into a tool of evil. Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Then that's just what we'll do. A well placed bomb down the train's smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. All right. V two. All right. I actually didn't expect this. Oh. Guessing I gotta bomb it, bomb it from below, right? Hate it when she goes down there. You won't stop me. Not the Cooper gang. Not Interpol. Not anyone. Sounds like a personal problem. gonna drop a bomb down not his whole RC I've got an upset stomach on my hands but other than that I feel great
sake. The gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bassan's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three, count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops, which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name, some way other than turning myself in. All right. I'm sad we're moving on from that level just because I love that level so much, but it's okay. Episode seven, right? Let's do it. Menace in the North. Things just weren't right up in Canada. Random acts of violence were popping up like weeds, and the northern lights, well, they just weren't right. One night they'd be brighter than ever, and the next, gone. In Nunavut Bay, I overheard talk between Jean Bassan and his mysterious partner, Arpeggio. Somehow, those two are behind it all. Tracking the source of the disturbance was easy. By simply following the lights, we were led north to an immense lumber camp. The sheer number of fallen trees advertised Jean Bassan's presence and that he was in possession of the clockwork talons. The Thievius Raccoonus makes numerous references to the talons slicing through plates of steel. A skilled lumberjack like Bassan could clear a forest in hours while wielding the artifacts. Those talons have got to go both to finally do away with clockwork and to save the environment from his twisted sense of progress. The world just doesn't need to make space for another strip mall. Yeah, honestly, that's actually like a scary part. Like, I was never really scared of the lungs or the stomach, but I think the wings and the talons specifically, I think that could actually be dangerous, you know, because those are, they can be used as actual weapons. I don't know about a stomach, I mean. Um, but... We're going to go ahead and continue this next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. So, we're playing some more slide. Let's go ahead and go to the thief net. We just got here to this map. Let's sell everything we got. Ooh, we're not going to have enough money. Okay. Well, let's try to buy something. Um, slow time. That could be cool. Oh, that one's also pretty cool. Reduction bomb. Okay. Honestly, let's go ahead and buy these two and then we'll need a little bit of money for Bentley but that's okay all right let's head out there okay so here's what we know one arpeggio's blimp is on its way to pick up a battery from Jean Bisson and two the only way we'll get a crack at arpeggio's clockwork brain is by finding a way to sneak aboard his blimp but before we do that we'll need to snag the clockwork talons off John Bisson time is short we've got a lot to accomplish true True, but first things first, this lumber camp isn't on any of my maps. I need you to poke around and take some recon photos. They'll help to get my sensors oriented. No problem. Recon photos, I got covered. In anticipation of the icy climate, I took the liberty of modifying your cane. It can now separate into two smaller canes. Useful for ice climbing. Try ascending to the top of that sheet of ice. Just jump and hit the circle button to dig in. Okay. So, since we are on a new map, we also have to look for bottles. But yes, we, we can now climb these. It's good to see my cane upgrade performed so well in the field. Now scout the area. I could really use the reconnaissance. Okay. So, what does he need pictures of? Okay, he just needs pictures of a lot of random things. Okay, well then, let's focus on the pictures now, and we'll focus on the bottles in a little bit. Um, yeah. The bottles can come in a second. Unless they're, like, right in front of me, and then I will take them. Like, I think there's one right here. I will grab that. 
Whoop. Bro, seriously? Alright, where are we at? Mm. Oh, bear? No, are you kidding me? Bear, come back. I just want to take a pic. There we go. This place is bear country, all right. Interesting. He's putting out a slight radio signature. That's weird. It's probably tagged. All right. Let. I hear. Oh, it's up there. Okay, we'll get that in a little bit. Mm, all right. I'll just fight this guy head on. Later. Um. Oh, can I just take a picture of that? Those saw blades look particularly old. I guess this logging camp has been around for a while. All right, let's go ahead and uh, parachute our way over here. Let's just try to get a little higher, huh? What up, goose? Man, these things are gonna annoy me forever, aren't they? Are they gonna fight? Okay. I love how the money comes towards me, like I deserved that. I definitely did not deserve that money. Apparently that's not what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Um, oh. What is this? Oh. Alright, <laughs> Bentley. I'm getting nerdy with it, huh? Alright, where's the last picture, huh? Over there. Okay. That's where we go. Maybe we can even get up here and zoink that bottle while we're at it. Boing. Are we supposed to find over here? Don't do that. Also, don't do that. Alright. Am I taking a picture of the boat? A little tugboat? Fascinating. My sensors detect a Wi-Fi link to that boat. It must be piloted by computer. Okay, that should do it. Now for the real point of interest. Head for that lighthouse and try to find a way to sneak in. Which lighthouse are we talking about? I'm a little dumb. Hello? Must not be in view. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I was like, I was just looking in the wrong direction. I'm not blind. Let's grab this bottle over here. Um, oh, I can just tippy toe across these. Okay. Whoops. Bottle up here I can just snag. Nope. Um, what do? I guess we can go this way. Okay. Um, and I know we can climb on top of it later, but I think for now, we're just taking picks. Not close enough here. That's the battery charger, but where's the battery arpeggios coming to pick up? Okay, I need to grab it while it's going. Just looking at that spinner makes me dizzy. Alright, what do we got? Front door? <laughs> That's not very tight security. The entrance is barred from the inside. Might as well get a shot of old John B. Say cheese. Oh, Sly, listen in. He's mumbling to himself. Come on, John. You got it in you. Those lumberjack games need some more competition, eh? 
What would attract the participants? Bullseye! I'll post the clockwork talons as a trophy. That should bring in the competition. Although, who am I kidding, eh? I'm gonna win just like every other year. <laughs> oh, it's tough being this tough. It sure is, yeah. Head back to the safe house. We need to talk about these lumberjack games. <laughs> or we could just hit him in the head and take the talons, but hey, you know, who am I to say? Well, guys, Jean Bisson has unknowingly thrown down the gauntlet. With the Clockwork Talons as a trophy, we'd be fools not to participate in his Lumberjack games. Fortunately, due to frequent avalanches, a log chopping guide was frozen in a wall of ice not far from our position. Sly, you're in charge of acquiring the book. I'm sure it will prove invaluable. Now, we're all aware that Arpeggio's blimp is coming to pick up another battery. To sneak aboard without incident, I'd recommend we pull a Trojan horse and stow away inside the battery. However, the location of the device is still a mystery. We need some inside information. So working together, you two will infiltrate the Moose Guard's secret RC combat club. Those guys all work in the lighthouse. If you win the battle, I'm sure they'll talk. Despite his antique mind, Jean Bisson's no fool. To keep tabs on him, we'll need to bug his house, steal the radio tags off local bears, and then jerry-rig them into a sensor array. It's a challenging set of tasks, and that blimp's on its way. Let's get to work. All right, let's do it. Yeah, he did give us a lot of missions very, very quickly in succession there. Succession? Succession? I don't know. Words are hard. English is hard. Okay. Um, so we can do a couple of things. We could either start looking for bottles or we can do a mission. I think I kind of want to find a few more bottles. Ooh, medium nugget. Thank you. Kind of want to find a few more bottles. Actually, oh, did you see me? Let's make sure we have the electricity on the cane, because that comes very useful. I don't... Okay, I just wanted to double check there weren't any bottles in there. I don't think there was any way for a bottle to be in there, because I didn't hear the dink dink dink, but... Better be safe than sorry. Okay. Oop, looks like I gotta make sure to avoid those. Oh, and the mission is right here, too. Okay, where? Oh, yes. So I remember hearing this one earlier. We'll definitely do the mission in a minute, but let's try to look for a few more bottles while we're here. Usually these bottles aren't super hard to find, so we could... I mean, we haven't even looked yet, and we found 11 of them. Is there a bottle on top of the battery thingy? Nope. There is one over here, though. Is there one? I feel like there's got to be a bottle around here somewhere, but... Oh, well. Whoopsies. That is not what I meant to do. Oh, I forgot we can just climb on this, too. There we go. Are we hear any more bottles? Yes. Ooh, and there's a timed art piece. We will definitely need that so we can get some... Or a move for Bentley. Right, actually, this one isn't timed, so let's just go ahead and... That's not where I wanted to go. Let's grab it, and let's hold on to it. My plan here is to not get hit. Oh, that literally just brings us up here. Uh, my plan is to not get hit, so hopefully we just won't lose it. Okay. There's another slime mission, but I don't want to go to that. There's one up there. Let's see. How do I fly down from there, right? And there's another bottle. Alright, let's see. Let's go. Okay, that is probably what we got to do. And then we just do a little boink. 
There we go. Alright, 14 more bottles. There's a bottle there, though. Now, is that something I want to fly towards? Okay, that was a little close. By chance, is there another... Oof! I almost just got sniped out of the air. That would have made me very sad. Alright, we just gotta wait for him to go away. There we go. Let's try this one. Let's try not to get hit by one of those bear traps. And just for the sake of the art, let's go ahead and return back. And, um... Now let's go, because I just don't feel like losing that art. If I did and have to run all the way back, I'd be actually kind of peeved about that. Alright, we got ten more. Are these are... Oh. Woo. <laughs> Bless me, and excuse me. Where am I looking at here? That's a bear. Hello. I don't like fighting. I'm going to get on top of here. Okay. I totally did not mean to fall off of that, and my voice cracked a little bit. Bro, leave me alone. I'm just trying to get some bottles, all right? Let's get that one. Right, what's on this other end over here? Zonk. Topaz. All right. Thanks for the money. Ooh, there's definitely going to be some form of a bottle up on these little ice claws. No way there isn't. But now, which side? Okay, so one side goes to on top of his house. Where does the... Let's make sure there's not another bottle over here. This is a nice little vantage point. Okay, let's go to the other side. Anything? Really? Nothing. Alright. Slight disappointment. But, I think I've officially checked most areas. So, now it's going to be like the pure look where I'm going to have to just run around for a while and um, hope I can find it. But w what I probably will end up doing here is, I know where another art piece is. So, let's go get that piece of art and we can take a look around as we do so. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't know how I missed that the first time, but... I know there's a piece of art... ...down here. Now, that one is a timed piece of art. Um, oh, do I not, Do I got no mana? Let's try to hit him into the water. That's right, come on. <laughs> I'm a little closer. Ah. There we go. Juice. Alright. This one's a timed one, so... Um... I can... Yeah, I can Spire Point on this. 38 seconds. It doesn't seem... That doesn't seem too bad. Oop. I hear a bottle. Right, there is a bottle in the middle of absolute nowhere, so we do got to note that down. And did I just fail the mission? Because my way up was... No, okay, we're fine. I was like, my way up was that tree right there, so... Woo! Almost got me. Alright, there we go. Um, Let's see, how much is that? Just a little under what... Just a little under what we need um, with... For uh, Bentley's move here. Now... Did we check here? Get that out of your pocket. Small nugget. Give me a big nugget. Alright, let's see. How many bottles are we at? 25. So we got five more. That's doesn't sound like a lot, but I've pretty much checked everywhere, so... I'm a... And that's me gone. I'm a little stoned. While I was doing that, 
I spotted a little bottle. Whew. Any more bottles? Nope. Okay. We are back on the hunt. There's one. Okay, so there is one. Oh, there's another one over here. Yeah, so I might have just, just neglected to check this entire area. Alright, Sapphire. And I do hear a little clink clink in my little headset here. I think it's over here somewhere. Is it in the trees? I think it might be below. Oh, yeah. Please don't get seen. I got seen, but just in time. Woo! Can I just say goodbye for now? That was a terrifying noise. Alright, we got one more bottle to search for now. And this one's definitely going to be the hardest, because... We got one bottle in the entirety of the map, so... Um, yeah, it's that time where it's gonna be a minute. You know, it's the one place I didn't check. And I don't know how I forgot to check it, but is around the lighthouse itself. I did not check the back, and I did not check on top. So I definitely think we probably have the location of our bottle here. I'm guessing it's going to be on top here. If it's not, once again, I, I'm willing to bet my shorts. Please, for the love of God, tell me there's a bottle up there, because if there's not, I'm going to be one sad boy. Oh, okay. Alright, so n noted slide is not like getting hit in the head with an icicle. Noted. And I also need to look up while I do this, apparently. Bink bonk, bink bonk. Um, ooh, I'm a little bit of a rough place here. And yes, I do hear that bottle. So, that should be our A and. Okay, so it's the last art piece and our 30 out of 30 bottle. Look at that. Highest point of the map. 30 out of 30. Along with that. So we can grab the art. We got 40 seconds to get back to where we need. We're going to go ahead and try to do it in style here. And fly all the way there. What a perfect ending. With art and with bottles. My two favorite things in the entirety of the world. All right, now we're gonna do it right. We're gonna go over here, and we're gonna do a little boing up here. And with 10 seconds to spare, there is our art. And we'll go ahead and sell a few things here. Okay, so can officially buy everyone's moves with 800 coins to spare. And um, yeah, from here on out, any other coins are profit that we will bring in to our next map, which I I think the next map is the last map, It, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then we got this map, another map, and I think we go into the final part of the game. All right, I think we can maybe get one mission done today. I think we can do that. So let's head over to... I don't know what mission is what, but why don't we just do this one first? This one looks like fun. Sly, I've detected what appears to be an ancient guide to log chopping that might be useful for the lumberjack games. Unfortunately, it's frozen deep in an ice wall. How are we supposed to get to it? Wait for more global warming? That industrial laser is used to cut through petrified logs. 
If it could be bounced out that window, with your help, I should be able to harness its energy to melt the ice wall and free the book. How do I redirect that thing? There should be a switch on the other side of this wall. Throw it and then head outside. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and edit there. Thanks for watching. What's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly. Um, let's see, what am I doing? I gotta get this laser somewhere, right? So I'm just gonna assume I got a mosey on over here, and then uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. And we'll figure it out as we go, huh? I'm probably dead here, right? I'm not supposed to be in that fire. Uh, probably not the best idea. It's alright, though. A little fire won't hurt me. Also, I totally thought that was a hook. Alright, where are we going? Am I supposed to? Ooh. Alright. A little bit of open world here. This guy has some in his pocket. Um, well, first I'll take whatever's in this guy's. I don't think he has anything. Yeah, I can't see the shine on that, but, yo, I'll take your stuff. What up? You got, you got some gems for me? You got a ruby? Got a nugget? It is a nugget, but it's a medium nugget. Okay, question. If I do this, does the dude wake up? Nah, the dude doesn't wake up. Also, this is where we have our thingy. All right, Bentley. Then the combination has got to be five, eight, three. Five, eight, three. And we collected all of the bottles last episode. So we got whatever this is. What is that? A spiral? Lightning? Ooh. Oh, this could be broken. Zooks, that's a nice one. Is it a passive? It's not a passive. Okay. See, this is... Isn't this just basically the advanced version of that? Lightning spin. So instead of charging up my cane, oh, that's busted. Oh, I'm gonna kill a lot of people with that, which is probably not a thing I should say out loud in case someone's listening or something, but. Alright, that's pretty lit. Um. Alright, let's hop up here and see what we got. Okay, we got some lasers. Thank you, Mr. Bison. You've done it! The laser's been redirected out the window! Okay. So now, I'm guessing we gotta, like, bink, bink, bink. We gotta, like, make it go across a bunch of things, right? We gotta shine it in someone's eyes or on an airplane and then the FBI gets called and then go to jail or something. Now to get that laser pointed at the ice wall, you'll need to alter its direction with the crystals I put in your pouch. I see. I just walk to where the laser stops, place a crystal, and it'll bounce the beam to a new position. That log chopping book is as good as ours. The only thing I have doubts about this plan is lasers tend to be hot in a very precise area. They don't tend to spread out heat very easily. I feel like melting a whole thingy of ice is not going to work with a laser. You'd literally be better and better off grabbing like a hair dryer and just going to the hair dryer and just going going to town. Unless you like break apart the ice into small chunks using a laser. I feel like we are definitely not on that pay rate right now. Alright, I gotta go up there. Shut up. Alright. Finally get to go up here for a mission. I'm like, when in the world are we gonna go to these little ice claw things? Alright, let's go ahead and, uh... Hello. Woo! Oh, I didn't even have to place anything. It just broke on its own. Pulling out my para parachute. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, land up here. <laughs> oh, say it ain't so. I guess I could like parachute from here over to. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Maybe I'm just not using him in the right way. A boink. Oh, that's a really far away place to go to. 
Okay, well, I guess let's just go ahead and uh, paraglide. I guess it's not a parachute. It's a, or is it? Is it a shoot? Is it a glide? Is it a zoink? Thanks for your money. I just took a little bit. He has children at home. I don't. I don't want to take all of his money. His, his kids need dinner too. And he looks like a big chunky boy. He'll probably need it. Okay. Yo, my bad. Oh, let's try our lightning thing. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Sorry, duck. You were the guinea pig on that one. Boom. Bro, for real? I gotta go all the way over there. Duck. If you wanna chase me, broski, I got the bear right there. It's probably not a good idea. I'm just putting it out there. Uh, oh, I can, I can go over here. What's up? Don't mind me. Is there a rock in me? Alright, that should be it. Boonk. Nope, just kidding. We're back up to the... Back up to the claw. Man. I feel like instead of randomly placing the crystal, you could probably aim it. But... Alright, make it... Okay... And now we... Oh, what up, duck? Just talking about you. Ah. Thanks for your money. Sorry about your kids. That clear slide. Something else is coming out of the deep freeze. Yeah, you mean the I've never thing? seen such a majestic creature. So full of life, so ready to live. So much for that. He's back in the deep freeze. Yeah, I was gonna say like Also, there's a bear running Cheer around. Up, pal. We got the log chopping guide. I think having a mammoth and a bear fight is not the greatest idea on the planet. I feel like that's going to get really, really messy. And then, like, what are, what are we responsible? Because we tech... Ooh, thanks for your nugget. Or your bar. Yeah, this guy is balling on a budget. He's got a whole, whole bar of gold. I don't know why you don't make that into, like, jewelry or something. Why you got a whole bar in your back pocket? Oh, my bad. I didn't see you there. I didn't know you owned this territory. Alright, let's go ahead and grab uh, our boy Murray here. I think his mission is like... Yeah, it's literally right there. Boing. What's the easiest way to get up there? Can I... Nope. It can't answer my own question. Dude, Murray jumps pretty high for his weight, not gonna lie. This man's Michael Jordan. Rumor has it that several off-duty guards meet in that cabin for an RC combat club. Oh, this mission's fun, this I is think. Going to be great. I haven't been in any RC combat since that job with holding Istanbul. Also, let it me pull awesome. my mic closer. You guys are gonna hear it. I'm gonna just pull my mic closer to me here. Okay, here we go, bud. Let's see if I can make it onto this ice platform. Um, should I punch you for fun? I'm gonna punch you because it's fun. Later! Please do not follow me. Well, those guards will never let you into the combat club without a disguise. That old moose head should do the trick. Only there's no way for you to get up there. Hide out in this barrel while I send in Sly to steal the head. Okay. That's a moose head, and they're moose. Do they just have, like, their own heads just lying around? I just, I don't understand how that's not disturbing. That's like me putting a human head on my counter. Like a stuffed human head. Like, I guess that's the one weird part about the whole game being animals, because, yeah, how do you explain animal heads? Like, there's no way to get around it. You stuff a person's head, and you're just displaying it for basically fun and giggles. Also, all these people have some delicious things in their back pocket, so I'm definitely going to be just quickly stealing all of those for my own pleasure here. Thanks for your jewels and gems, buds. 
It's all mine now. Yoink. This guy. I'm gonna definitely kill this guy. I can't believe he only has a medium nugget. What do you do for a living? Um. Okay, now we actually have to figure out the sneaky part. Where do I go? Um, I think I can climb that, right? Yeah. Skirt. I want, a, I want his job. I did not miss that jump. I, on my... Bro, on my cousin, I didn't miss that jump. And the items there, because I think I got enough. Okay, now I'm not gonna... You know what? Maybe we can try this a different angle. Let me try to speed run this. I was kind of going slow earlier, like, for the... For giggles, I'm gonna die. But let me see if I can just like speed run this. I'm gonna let that go. Try to get through this. Okay, I was totally not on that. Try to get through this quickly. Now, what are we at? 17 minutes? More cash. Alright, and then I forgot where we fell. Ooh, wait, I can't be detected. I forgot that. I can't just go and kill him. I'm not actually supposed to be seen. Alright, hopefully they won't just, like, send me tumbling into a random location this time. Zoink. Um... Oh, there's... Okay, it sent me in the wrong direction, so that was cool, I guess. Um, I really want to just kill that guy. I don't see why I can't do that. But it's okay. I guess we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Murray, heads up. Here you go. Here's your very disturbing hum uh, animal head. Which <sighs> who d who did that? Like who hey, fellas, made that? Any of you guys think you can beat the Mur? The, the moose maybe put a bet on it oh i'm in eh i ain't got a lot of money for this wager but there's no way i'd lose to a new guy like you huh i love canada combat drone takes some skill to control near with the left analog stick and hold down the x button for gas okay after you collect the ball and ammo press the square button to fire its turret here's a pro tip Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and retry that. I, I know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Okay. So, I'm almost dead, so I'm kind of still trash. Okay, so apparently I can also hit myself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Boink. Alright. A millionth time the charm? Bro, that spawned right in front of him. That wasn't even fair. That spawned in front of him again. Absolute god gamer. Clearly. See, if I stop, he's just gonna bomb me. See, right there. Bro, leave me alone! Why are you being a bully? Ah, uh, you thought. Ooh! Okay, I got lucky with that drop, though. See, how do I make them stop chasing me? I'm scared. Leave me alone. I mean, did I? I grabbed all that ammo. And you're telling me I'm out of ammo? I don't believe that. Okay, here we go. You won, eh? But I ain't got no money. That might be okay. It all depends. Depends on what? On whether or not you know the location of the Northern Light Battery. Oh, well, I guess I owe ya. Alright. I did that in a mm, very not convincing fashion, but we got it done. That's all that matters in my head. Yeah, how do you not see me? Literally. Oh, yo, my bad. Later. I'm going. I'm getting out of here. What are the moves he got? Mm, oh, oh yes, the rage thing. What does this do? Oh, okay. They literally just get scared and run. That's kind of funny, actually. What did I take off? Okay. 
All right, let's go back in. I think we have a couple more slime missions, right? Yeah, there's a slime mission over there. Okay, that's where we head to next. I don't remember what the mission does, but we'll figure it out real quick. How do I? Oh, let me just hop up here, right? The wild bears in the area have been tagged with radio tracking devices. If you can snag enough of them, we should be able to set up a receiver array around Jean Bisson's house. I'm always up for bugging someone's home. The first step is crawling into that bear cave and stealing the goods. I'm on it. Okay. Any here? Yo, this is probably not a good place to go to. There's bears in there. Also, the animals in this game. What's the difference between me and that bear? Oh. You'll have to sneak up and pickpocket it while they're yawning. Sounds safe. Like, why can I talk? Why can't they? Walking on it is sure to wake the bears. I'll keep that in mind. Like, is there, like, some form of, like, classism in this game where talking animals are, like, better? Who, like, how, how does it get determined if you're, like, just, like, an actual animal or, like, a human-like animal that can actually talk? These are the questions that keep me up at night. Meanwhile, I'm grabbing radio transmitters out of bears' mouths? These things look gigantic. That has to be uncomfortable. All right, come on, broski. Yawn for me. Oh, man. How are yawns contagious? That's another thing. I know I don't I don't think we actually have an explanation for it. Cause like I should have yawned from a cartoon character yawning, so it's clearly not like a um like a hormone or fair My puny little brain did not think of that. Oh. Okay. Where am I going? Also, isn't this making noise? Maybe under I un I don't understand like sound. Oh, what up? Thanks for your transmitter, bud. Okay. Got something in your mouth? No. Oh, I'm back at the beginning. Oops. I need to get homeboy over there. Okay, I think I see what I'm missing here. I gotta go in this direction, down yonder. Open your mouth, please. Like I'm at the dentist. Thank you. Your molars look spectacular, by the way. I know. Thanks, Bentley. Alright, Bentley. I appreciate you and your constant positive attitude appreciate you big dog okay so let's try not to die here because that would be mega embarrassing nice yawn all right bentley what do Transmitters in precise locations around Jean Bisson's base of operations. Seems easy enough. Once you're in position, hit the circle button to place the transmitter. Okay, bud. Alright, let's go ahead and um do that. Maybe we can get the easy ones out of the way first. Um oh up there. Okay. Blink. That's <laughs> not what I was trying to do there. All right, let me like scope out all the points right now before I go. So there's one there, there, there. Oh, okay. Well then, let me go ahead and get this one done because the all the other ones are on the other side of the map. Let's put one here. Boys chop down 
Okay. Only got a few more spots here. Zoink. Yeah, I think we got one. Oh, no, we got two more. Where's the other? Uh, the other two are in higher locations, right? Okay, well, I know where I need to go. I just gotta find my way up there. There's a couple of different ways to get up there. This is one of the more annoying ones, but let's do it this way. Woo! Grab this pipe over yonder, do a little, do two gold backflips. Get on that hook, go up here, shut up, don't talk to me. Oh, I was gonna buy to steal your stuff. I don't want it anymore. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, wait, one of them's right below me, right? Okay, well, let's do the higher up one first. Because I'm already up here and getting, getting back up is harder than getting down so let's place this one first where is it okay it's at the top of the did i just fall cool okay we got one more but we are actually gonna do that next episode guys thanks for watching hey everybody how's it going we're playing some more sly we're in the middle of sly's mission but we're actually just about to finish it and then we'll move on but job completed. I think we finally get a little, yeah, we get a little PowerPoint presentation by Bentley. After reading through the log chopping guide, it's become painfully clear that to win in the lumberjack games, we'll have to cheat. Now I've constructed a plan that hinges around us acquiring an eagle's egg, which is more difficult than you'd think. First, Murray needs to lure a bear into taking out the local oil mains. Once destroyed, the pressurized oil should ignite and create updrafts, which Sly will then use to paraglide over to the eagle's nest, grab an egg, and then head back to the safe house. Thanks to Murray's undercover work in the RC Combat Club, we've learned that the Northern Light Battery is hidden in a silo nearby. The battery needs some serious modification if we're going to hide inside it to sneak onto Arpeggio's blimp. First, we'll short the battery with grapple lines on local boats. Then, we'll all break into the lighthouse and sever the power flow to the battery. That way it won't recharge. Given my electrical engineering background, this plan has a 97% chance of success. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, I wouldn't take that. I, I mean, I guess is it life or death, but... Also... I was just about to ask a question. Oh yeah, the eagle, the eagle's egg thing. Why can't we just grab it with an RC plane? Bentley loves his RC planes. But um, does he have treasure? You have treasure. Who am I to question Bentley here? He's clearly much much smarter than I am. He's a certified genius. So, all right, let's do Sly first, just because we have Sly already like using him where's your mission at oh am i going the wrong way slightly okay let's grab onto this let's grab onto that actually it doesn't matter where i go i kind of have to slide over here anyway Ooh, do you have something in your pocket i'll take that no problemo i'll i'll take whatever's are you kidding me i'll take what's in your pocket Large necklace. I don't know if it's any good or not, actually. Is that worth more or less than the jewels? That lighthouse is the conduit for collecting the northern lights. We need to shut it down, or the silo battery will continue to fill with energy, making it impossible for us to stow away inside. So, you want me to go in there and bust the thing up? Sounds like work for Murray. Actually, this job will require all three of our skills. The front door is locked, and you're the only one capable of climbing up to the hatch on top. Once inside, sneak down to the ground floor and let us in. We'll help you finish the job. All right, see you on the ground floor. All right, so we just... All they want me is for the climbing, huh? I see how it is. I'm just a climber to you. Hello? Okay, I was like, what in the world? I am... Here's another thing. Can I, like... Okay, no. I was like, can I jump and reclimb 
Is that like a speed strat that I can do? But no, that I, I can't. If I jump, it won't let me reattach, I think, for a couple of seconds. Something along those... Also, I can't see upwards, so I'm just gonna hope that an icicle doesn't spear me in the forehead. Yeah, I can't really look up that well. Okay. Ooh, those things take forever. Am I good? Or am I getting it? No, I feel like I'm good. If I kill someone, does that end this mission? I have to hit this guy off, right? That's something that I, like, I need to do legally. It's just, it was too juicy of a fall to not take. Um. Okay. Whoops! Hey, I'm assuming I'm not supposed to be down there. At least not yet. Anything... Can I like... Okay, so I can break these. Oh, what's up? Let's see. Do they get killed by this thing? I know, I'm playing with the ducks, Bentley. Okay, so that circle thing doesn't kill them. Wait, but it does? I don't know. Alright, I'll get the chair out of your way. This super high security system here. Oh, I literally gotta hit it. I got you. Thanks, pal. Just let me at that northern line of tractor. It'll be slag in minutes. Not quite that simple, Murray. I'll reverse the energy flow from the control computer while you lift the main circuit breaker. That should give Sly a short window of opportunity to climb up the power lines and overload the system from the top. Up, down, up, down. They should put an elevator in this place. Okay, so I'm supposed to climb? Am I supposed to be... Oh, getting... I see what I gotta do here. Okay. Is this from supposed to be? Oh, I'm oh, I gotta hit this bad boy. Okay, I got you. I got you. Boink, you've been overloaded. Is that it? Is that the whole mission? Okay. All right, let's head back. We got a Murray and a Bentley mission. And since we're up here, might as well utilize this moment to get a super sick little flight in. So we got to make it over there. See, I know we did this one time before when we were doing the... Also, can the hawk hit me? No. I'm sad that we can't fly all the way over there. That'd be so cool. Also, I love these little houses. I have no idea what they're supposed to be. Let's see. Whoops. The shenanigans. If we can trust Murray's informant, that's the silo with the battery hidden inside. To prepare it for travel, we'll have to drain off its northern light energy. By attaching a boat's grappling hook to the top of the silo, we should be able to deplete power from the battery. Murray's in position to help throw you out onto the boat. Once on board, I'll hack into its steering controls and move the vessel close enough to fire its grappling hook. Okay, 
I'll climb on top of the silo and attach the hooks. How many grappling lines will it take to drain the battery? Three should suffice. Once the first line's attached, Murray and I will commandeer another boat. You should stay in position. Finally, I get the easy gig. Okay. So I jump I'm in your set arms. To throw you to that boat. These days, my aim is impeccable. If only I could see where I'm aiming. Now to hack the <laughs> control. That was actually kind of cash. That was like totally not aiming. Oh, it's one of these things where it's inverted. Okay, here we go. I really need to figure out a way to uninvert. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna even fight any of you. Let's just go ahead and uh. Ooh, maybe I will have to fight a couple of you. Okay. Here we go. Just gotta blast a couple of these red things. Oh, these guys leave mines now. That's fancy. When when did you guys get that code? Here we go. Woo! I'm in a I'm in a bad spot. Let's try not to do that, huh? Um Please break. I'm no longer having fun. Here we go. Nice work hacking the autopilot. The boat's heading into position. I'm already on top of the silo. Shoot the grappling hook up to me and I'll make sure it gets attached to the battery. I'm in the water. All right. Now I just got to do a little uh It's not it in the slightest. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. Even... Okay, I wasn't even close. Okay, how about this? Wait, that velocity is way too high, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and bring it down a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah, that's money right there. The hook's in place. You guys should head out for another boat before anyone picks up on what we're doing. Yeah, probably, uh, probably a good idea. Totally not suspicious at all. Where's the next boat? little speed running Boing. I think we gotta we gotta wait up for Murray here but it's okay all right we that should be good right there all right honestly I think these hacking missions are usually the most fun thing I just have such a hard time with them See, now I'm in a little bit of a rough position because these things are not going to let me through. Okay. Slowly but surely. I don't know. I know a lot of people probably just go for the route of destroying those things. I'm, I, I just want a kamikaze and just get these red things out of the way and then... I don't know. I feel like ignoring the problem is probably easier. Yeah, just ignore the... Just ignore problems and... That's not good advice. Don't do that. But you still can. But don't. Alright, Bentley. Here we go. Um, alright, this is money right here. Eh, maybe not. Maybe a little more to the a little more to the left here. What? Come on, Sly. Be a terrible the second hook's running deck? I don't know, I don't know football. Who's the dude that runs runs far away and then is like, hey, throw the ball to me, poor favor, whatever that guy is. Sly would be a terrible one. Again, an absolute genius. Um, okay. I almost just gave that hawk high five. Alright, here we go. Last boat. Quick scope. I was wondering what happened to that guy. I guess he just prefers to be frozen. Oh, <laughs> nice. Alright, last one. Let's just go ahead and rush it here. 
Yeah, they didn't particularly make this opening portion much, much harder. And those guys, I realize if I just go fast enough, I can almost just juke entirely. Which is kind of funny. Also, to make this harder, do they just give them speed? Is that their deal? I'm also definitely going to lose this one because I'm getting blasted. And I can't seem to aim in the right direction. Here we go. Yeah, I'm definitely losing this. Unless I quickly develop some form of maneuvering skills. I put myself in a bad spot. Alright, let's try to redirect ourselves here. Just not shooting in the right directions! A lot of mines lying around, which doesn't make this any easier. Okay, I think I'm safe here, actually. I'm very close to getting this done. Just a few more. Just a few more. Alright, if I play this smart here, just for a couple more seconds, I can actually get this done here. Two more, two more. Here we go. I actually clutched that up pretty well with just a little bit of health right there. One more. It's weird how the boat moves, but it also moves my character, which is kind of... That's funny. I don't know how the physics of the game works, or how, like, the entities are... Mar like, hitboxes, but... Yo, we're... we're well, that's a long trip. We're going on a whole sailing ride. Can I shoot? I want to shoot. Alright, this one's going to be definitely a, a bit of a toss. Uh, right there. Yeah, that's money right there. What? No ways. Oh. Yeah. That did it. With the battery chamber empty, we'll be all set to move in. And we already destroyed the power source, so... Okay, we've got... One more mission with our boy, the Murray. Let's try to... Ooh, there's a guy that way. Does it spawn me back at home? Or does it spawn me at the last mission that I did? I think, I think it'll spawn me at the last mission. Right? No. Okay, so that is a little bit of a fast way. Also, I just want to double check. We didn't buy Bentley's move, right? We did buy Bentley's move, okay. Let's go ahead and sell all of these. Okay. Shut up. Ooh, money. I'll take it. I'll take that money. If we're gonna get an eagle egg, you'll first have to destroy all the local oil mains. It looks pretty sturdy. The Murray is strong, but his fists can't punch through metal. No problem. See that old bear down there? His name is Grizzleface. The guards ignore him because he's blind and practically nerve dead, except for his sense of smell. If that old guy smells fish, there's no stopping him. Use Grizzleface to take out the oil mains. But I don't smell like fish. <laughs> Do I? How can I lure him around? A Bentley's fish? taking up a post along the river. He'll keep tossing bombs into the water, and the fish should get blown sky high. Plenty should land near your position. So you want me to throw a fish at the oil main so that old grizzle face will knock him apart? That's the idea. You might even try throwing fish at the guards. Might improve their odor. Alright. Mm. Give me fish. Oh there you go, I'm like But are you gonna are you gonna give me what I need here? He's coming. Can I Kobe this all the way over there? Oh, what? All right, Bentley. I need another fish. Bentley, my boy, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, man. Bentley, did we glitch the game? Did he, did I, did he drop a bomb and I, did I punch the bomb into a place that it's not supposed to be? I think I might have glitched it. 
Okay, well, in that case, we gotta go get shot. We gotta reset the level. He's on the way. Sick. Nice work. Trot old Grizzleface over to the next oil mate by luring him with fish. Oh, here we go. I was wondering how the fish were gonna come to me. Um, wait, I made one mistake. I don't know where the next one is. I didn't look like a dummy. Okay. Okay, he- oh yeah, I forgot he can't see me. Oh, here we go. Alright. Oh no! Don't hit me! I've got a fish in my hand! Please. <laughs> I'm trying to juke all these ducks. Grizzle. Where are you? Yo, where is this bear? There you are. There you go. Another fish. Another dollar. Here we go. Ah! Oh, wait, I smashed that fish on accident. Did I just do like a rare double bounce? Wait, can I even like, glitch that? Oh, that's so sick. I can just like infinity bounce. I wonder if I can like hit light speed by doing this somehow. Boink. Alright, come on, fish. Here we go. Sensors in the safe house indicate that Grizzle Face is on the move. Okay, where? Over here, Grizzle. I'm a grizzle boy. We need to run over all the way over here. Let's go. Where's it at? Um, did I make a mistake? Oh, it's up here. Okay. No! I meant to throw it at the thingy, not you! Well, this is what you get. Dude, Grizzle actually waited until he got up to do that. Also, why can't he smell the fish when it's on the ground? Okay, one more. Is it? Okay, it's not. It's not too far away. All right, follow me. We're going on to your next treat. Hmm. Oh, we might have a problem. Yep, minor problem. Grizzle boy is gonna have to come all the way around, ain't he? See, can he smell me? Bear's coming. Okay. He might just take absolutely forever, but what we can do is we can actually head over to the oil pump and just like wait for him. Is there another fish? Okay, let's see. Can I? Did it hit him? No, it did hit the thingy. Good. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom. What do we got? Slime mission. Very nice. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and grab Sly. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the Sly. Oops. Don't shoot me. Can you like forget that I'm here? Never mind, just die. I I want I wanted to grab his treasure, but I just don't care anymore. Alright, where? Oh, oh, I need to make it all the way to the top of the lighthouse. It's like the fourth time I'm gonna have to climb up there. 
Let's try not to get sniped here. Ooh. Absolutely tactful. Am I gonna get hit by those two? I don't think so. Okay, I think we made it. Um, I think we're gonna end the episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Sly. We are nearing the end of this map. I feel like we've done a lot of missions, so let's go ahead and do this. Sure, sounds easy enough. Except for the part where I have to swim a half a mile through freezing water. Why swim when you can paraglide? With the oil mains all destroyed, the pent-up combustible materials have just caught fire. I see. The updraft created by the flame should give me some extra altitude. Just make sure to stay out of the fire. Get too close and old Grizzleface will be eating barbecued raccoons for dinner. That's a charming image, Bentley. All right, so which ones do I head to? So if I go over here, do I have to hit just one of them? So I'm confused about which one is the closest. Well, then let's just let's just do what my instincts tell me. Let's just go one by one. And I don't know why I have to ride all the way over here for the eggs that are on the other side of the map. But I'm just going to do what I'm told here. Yeah, I don't know the reasoning behind it, but I'm not much of a rule breaker, so let's go up this one. This is wink. All right, one more. And I don't know where this takes. Oh, it takes us over there. Okay. Yeah, this one should take us high enough. There we go. That oh, should give us enough lift. Gotta go not near the fire, huh? Okay, will this give me enough lift all the way to the hawks? I'm guessing... Oh, okay, this is part of the game where I gotta actually avoid them, too. No, not really. Let's just, uh... I... Dude, I gotta rewatch that footage. I did not get hit right there. Can I just hit this one and then go straight to the other one? Because that was kind of cheeks. These, these things are long rides, brother. I'm not trying to go all the way around the map again. Maybe I can just, like, quick, quickly head. I feel like I'm going to get into the red zone, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and try this again without getting sniped by an eagle. So, am I going to get hit by that? I feel like these are things that are a little harder to juke than... See, but I didn't make it... To... Oh, okay, I don't need to make it to the egg. I can just get to the bottom here. Okay, I got you. I was confused. I'm like, I am not going to have enough altitude to get all the way up there. Zoink. We making omelets. Excellent job. If you can get that eagle egg back to the safe house, we'll be all set for the lumberjack game. Let's do it. Just a little, couple of hops, skips, and jumps. And we'll be right there, Bentley. I feel like that frozen mammoth has to be some form of crime. Like, we released them just to basically kill them again. I feel like there's got to be something in the Geneva Convention about that. I can't fly in, in this, right? <laughs> no. Dude, no. Wait, no, it's not going to make me do the flight again. It's not going to make me do the flight again. Okay. I will not. Those coins? Who stepped into that? What kind of genius would do something along those lines? Alright. I think it's for the final mission, right? 80%? The Lumberjack games are upon us. 
Now, despite Murray's study of the long chopping guide, none of us are skilled enough to beat John Basson at his own game. So, though it pains me to say it, we'll have to cheat. Murray, you'll participate in the power log chopping competition. Get us a good score, and then let Basson up for his turn. While he's chopping, I'll sneak the eagle egg into his trousers, and the protective parents should disturb his axe swings. Sly, given your ascension skills, I've signed you up for the ice wall climb. We'll keep Basson from beating your score by pulling him off the wall with some nearby grappling lines. And finally, I'll represent our team in the log rolling competition. With my knowledge of rotational mechanics, we're sure to get a stupendous score. Sly will be in charge of greasing Basson's logs so he has no chance of beating it. If you guys are ready, I say we head out and show these meathead lumberjacks what we're made of. Let's do it. I wonder if there's actual lumberjack games in real life. There's gotta be, right? Okay, we need Bentley. All right, Bentley boy, you're up. Wee. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talons from Jean Bissot. And he totally Sly, won't to see us. Low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. What's up, Bissot? Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, I'm sure enough gonna let you play. So long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still got a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first event will be a power chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever gonna beat my record, but let them try. Okay, so I just have to hit it as close to the middle as possible, right? Okay, just give me a few seconds to adapt and uh, we'll, we'll hit it. Watch and learn as I destroy that log without even breaking a sweat. Ten, ten, ten. Cross the board, bud. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on Basan, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. Um. So how do I get the? How do I get there, though? And how do I know when to avoid the hawks? Is that just RNG? I just like hope to God I don't get smashed by a hawk? Or can I like try to juke them out somehow? There we go. Again, I'm just running around in circles hoping to not get squashed. Okay, go to this one. This one. Here we go. Keep running, keep running. What? I think you better rethink them scores, boys. What you intended to give me was perfect tens, right? So, your pink friend knows how to handle an axe. Let's see how you handle a vertical wall of ice. Okay. Try that again this time, hopefully. My boy Sly doesn't like grabbing hooks, it seems. Alright, we'll make it up there in record time. and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Hurry! Use those grapples to hook onto Bison. You will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off the wall. I feel like this is not very sportsmanlike, but 
I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay, all right, we'll give it. We'll give her another try. Oh, that's one of the best times I've ever had. All right, gears. I instantly have trouble gauging where I need to be aiming here. These lower ones are much much easier, so that's why I need to hit. Okay, see that second one. I'm starting to hit consistently. Go a little lower. Oh, that one's money. Yeah, there we go. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than ten? I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log competition. Okay, looks easy enough. I just need to stay out of the water. Alright, Bentley. Me and you, bud. We got this. Just gotta hit those 50-50s. I don't know how I survived that, but I will definitely not complain. Mm, okay, good. Yeah, th those ones where I kind of like skim the water, I don't know how that's like legal, but hey, I'll take it. I will never say no to that. A little assistance from the game. Okay, ooh, that almost was bad. That was almost bad, but not bad. A little longer. I'm not gonna jinx it. I am not going to jinx it. You're one lucky turtle. Let's go. I'll give you that. But now, watch how a skilled log roller does it. This is crazy. John Bisson's got those judges so intimidated, there's no way he can lose. You're right, Murray. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but what if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Ingenious! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up. All right, so we gotta do this pretty fast then. Okay, and I also need to equip that gadget. Okay, so where's alarm clock? Let's go ahead and put that to L1, because I'm not gonna need L1 right now. I just need to not let them see me. That's really just the hard part. And aiming the clock, I guess, in the proper direction. Okay. Now if we put a clock a little closer to there and jump into here. Alright, let's say, is he close enough to the cave there? Alright, Bentley, he's in. Alright, where are he next? Boink. 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 Get in the barrel. All right, number two. Let's go for three. Yeah, he does not look like a duck. He's pink. Purple? Is he pink or purple? Is it like a Barney situation here? What color? Is he magenta? Is he fuchsia? I don't know any other purples. So I'm kind of out of colors here. Okay, one more. And then we just gotta... All right, there we go. Task successful. Judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take them? Uh. Oh. oh, triple kill. Those talents. 
villains really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. You got a concussion, yeah. brother. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisan must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. Bentley, you okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you'd find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were on just me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Lucky thing, too. Arpeggio is willing to plunk down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talons. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Visan. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which I love this I fight. Call. Yeah, kind of got to be careful of. Wait. <laughs> Anyone for some turtle soup? Wait. Oh, he won? No, I thought I won. That was cheeks. Okay. Let's do this again. Flames. Saws. That really didn't hit him? I wonder if there's like a way to break this. There's got to be like a way to break this, right? Done. Come on in here, boys. Let's get this farming. All right, come at me, bro. Yeah, I like totally missed them with like all of those. There you go. Ah! All right. I totally forgot that I was also. On top of those saws. I should do it there. Ooh, a little bit of health. I'll take that. Oh, I'm not supposed to go in the water. My bad. I like dynamite. The like Bentley's whole thing too. Loves himself some bombs. Okay. All right, get close. Ooh! I was like itching my nose, and also now I gotta sneeze. Ooh! Ooh! You're gonna have to excuse me. I know you guys. Ooh! Say excuse me in the comments right now. No, I don't like killing. That's not good. Killing is mean, Mr. Bison. Bonk. Right. Woo. Wait. Uh, tarnation. 
I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle? Times have changed. Once again, Braids triumph over Broad. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me! You... did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks! Uh, attention, uh, John Bisson. Arpeggio's, uh, carrier blimp will, uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Alright, well, Arpeggio has all of the parts now, so that kind of sucks, but on its way. where am I supposed to go? But what's nice now is, hey, all of the parts are in one place, so I guess that's a good thing in a sense. Um, oh, we got a bridge. Nice. I love bridges. Now, I was going to say, how does Bentley get up there? I guess he climbs. Bentley gets thrown. Oh, and then Murray uses the bling. Bling. As we shut ourselves into the Northern Light Battery, it became black. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that John Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then, we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp. It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had been stolen from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him. We'll get that van back. No no shot. We just leave it. We're definitely coming back for it. Alright. Is this the last... episode? This might be the last episode. That we will start next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. We're playing some more Sly. We are finally getting to the last episode. Episode 8. The Anatomy for Disaster. So... Let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what the last episode has in store for us. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the Claw Gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together. And when that happens, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Definitely one of the cooler intros in my opinion. I, I, I like that intro. Okay, final level. And I do remember this one pretty fondly. Let's see what moves I can buy. And these are the last moves, and I do... For once, I actually don't have enough money. <clears throat> Usually I have enough money to, like, just quick buy them. I don't. 
Uh, Feral Pounds, jump over vast distances, Diablo Fire Slam, freeze timer on guards. Okay, I'm definitely buying this. And then we'll have to save up for the other two for now. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab Sly here. And then we'll take a look around the map. Let's also see... Feral Pounds. Wait, is this the... That's a Thief Reflexes. Um, let's go ahead and see how far... Whoa! That's a big old jump you got there, bud. Okay, let's go ahead and get away from that. So, where's our first mission? We'll go ahead and do a mission or two, <clears throat> and then we'll look for the bottles and stuff. So, let's see, where are we, where are we at mission-wise? Okay. So, um, yeah, wow, this is, this is definitely one of the cooler maps. Um, what's in these eggs? More eggs. Okay, well, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Um, somehow at some point, sorry, I had to fix my setting for my, um, headset. Woo! Whoopsies. Oh, I just fell off. Okay. Alright, so I, I'm guessing that'll be one of the main things I gotta watch out for on this map, is falling off. Um, if you guys have watched this, the series, you know, I'm not the brightest when it comes to... Grab that one since we have it. When it comes to falling off things, I like to fall off things very often. It's a favorite pastime of mine. I need to get up there, right? Oh boy, how do I get up there? Probably have to use this thing, right? Okay, that's not the one I wanted to get on. Okay. Well, well once, once I get kind of learn the map, we'll go ahead and be a little faster with getting to places. For now, I guess we'll just run around, grab a bottle or two while we're at it. Oh, I need to go up there. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you. I understand. We'll grab this bottle. Ooh. Okay, those are jumpy pads. Noted. They did not look like anything, so that actually surprised me when I got lofted into the air. Alright, where's this again? It's over here, right? Mm, Okie dokie. So I'm pretty sure I can just walk on this, right? It's not gonna like just like throw me off. Ooh, can he see me here? No, he can't. Oops. Whoopsies. All right, let's just not do that. Oh, he done snipe me out of the air. How does? He... Oh, there's a piece of art. All right, don't leave me alone. That would be wonderful. Let's just get all let's get all of you off of the roof. Yeah. Can y'all stop jumping up here? <laughs> yeah, just do I have my okay, I do have my lightning spin. Okay. This is a stupid mission. I keep there it is. I keep coming up here for it and then I like forget where it's at. Ooh, bottle. We grab those. Ooh, there's gonna be a hacky thing for Mr. Bentley later on. My instruments have picked up large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If arpeggios already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find it. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's get a little higher, huh? I don't feel like just dying. I was like, am I supposed to... I could just climb onto the wing rider. I don't need to, like, glide right over. Yeah, I can just climb over here and then I can, um... Climb up the top. Ooh, that's a weird little texture. Cause right he oh do i actually fall off see no i'm standing on top of nothing currently it's a weird little texture um i can't tell if that's like a bug or that's just like uh uh okay <laughs> or if that's just like a ps2 thing where their textures you know couldn't handle it let's go ahead and uh Hop in the blimp. I, I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast. 
Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. I noted, so he basically just told me, don't kill anyone. Hey, Bentley, whatever you say. These Bonk. magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. Alright, what else we got? I need to get a picture of his head. What in the world? Yo, I see Nala over there. Don't think he can get, get past me. I'm guessing it's Arpeggio in his little wheelchair over there. Um. Okay. Ooh, he has treasure in his back pocket. Not yet. I want what's in your back pocket, bud. I know I'm not supposed to get caught, but I'm a little I'm a little sneaky goblin. Nothing? That was it? What? What happened to your treasure? Can I not get your treasure? Oh, okay. Ooh, that's kinda it for me, right? See, why didn't the mission of course, he shot me off. Why didn't the mission end right there? I thought Bentley said I couldn't get caught. Okay. Well, I suck at the game, but it didn't punish me, so that's fine. You know, it wants it from the front of the head. Okay, that was mean of you. Boink. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. I need to get the egg, but I also want to come over here. They can't see me, right? What are you doing in there, Nala? Hmm? What about you, bird boy? You little weirdo. He's actually kind of a big bird. Anyone else in there? <clears throat> Anyone else important that I should know about? Doesn't look like it. Okay, and I need to get... These guys have treasure on them. I need to get that treasure. Again, there now there's three more, tr like, treasure... Whoopsies. There's three more treasures on the map that I can get, and those will sell for quite a bit of money. So I don't have to gather that much, but, um... Yeah. And, so, okay, I need to grab a picture of the mech egg. I don't know what in the world a mech egg is. Mech egg? Eggs? Oh, they're probably in this room over here. I got you, I got you. Okay. He's stealing any of it. It kind of confuses me, to be honest. Don't know why they made it that way. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. Sly, I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Again, with these... Why does it say you have treasure and then you don't? That's false advertisement. I'm looking for money. Show me the money. Okay, we'll just uh blimpy blimpy over here. Nila? Nila's here too. Hmm. Why <laughs> was that not a picture to your liking? Apparently it wasn't, okay. Oops. Broski. I keep pressing the wrong buttons like I'm a doofus. There we go. I can't believe it. <clears throat> she must have been working with Arpeggio all along. 
I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. Okay. <clears throat> That's why I couldn't take the treasure because they all have keys. And I wasn't supposed to grab the keys beforehand. Oh, okay. That makes a little bit more sense. I'm out here, like, they really didn't. That's not a bug, right? Um, actually, you won't know be better. Maybe I can, like, do a little jump from here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, give me your key, bud. I wonder, can I kill you without everyone knowing? No, probably not. Alright. Whoop. Shoot. It's okay, maybe. Actually, I'll, I'll kind of have a chance to grab both keys right here. I'll grab you first. And then I'll grab you next. Alright, one more. Where's that last one? It's you, right? Yeah, you in the middle. Really the easiest one to grab because he's not really seen by anyone else. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducer. Alright, I'm gonna guess that is done through this thing, right? And I can climb on top of clockwork. Ooh! What a large bird. Look at him. I felt like he was bigger in the first... No, maybe? No, maybe that is scale. I felt like he was bigger in the first game, because we were over here, like, whacking his head. I feel like, yeah, that's about scale. Alrighty. Um, what's the easiest way to do that? I guess I can bouncy bounce on this thing. Okay, so I could probably jump on it when it makes its makes its way around. It's gonna take forever to do it, but there we go. Bonk. Okay, how many inducers are there? Is it just the one? I mean, on each, like, little platform. So I know there's the one, and then there's one over here. Okay, so it looks like there is two. I wonder, do I need to hit all four? And I just hit one at a time. Okay, I'm dumb. I should just look at the bottom of the screen. Yes, I do need to hit all four. Okay. Well then, we know that this one is the next one. A little, it'll be a little bit of a tight race. I gotta run over to it before the dip goes too far. Oop! I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I hit it! Oh, I did fall off though, which, but I'll, I'll take that as like a consequence of doing it absolutely last minute. Okay, that one's converted. So I just need to do that last one. So, all right. I have to sit here. Let's just take a look around. Why is Neela's like, outline is much, much darker than Arpeggio's? I'm guessing his is a little harder to like animate, considering he's a little bit more specific in his detail of his character. All right. Bing, boom, bop. Ooh. So this then, the magnets have been reversed. But by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Sly Cooper. Of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuits and be born anew. All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality. Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo, and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members. All the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Koopa. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Koopa. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah, well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Nina, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Ooh! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous! You're my protege! Not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> I demand it. Ooh! <clears throat> Yo! She murdered him so fast. That's not good. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the <coughs> clockwork frame and the union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We pulled off some tough jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Alright. <clears throat> Sounds exciting to me. Let's do it. Um, Let's go ahead and get Sly. We got 22 minutes on the video. Okay. 
So this is actually where we're going to go ahead and collect bottles and collect treasure. Because I don't want to start another mission. So, let's make our rounds. We collected just a couple of bottles already. So, yeah. Um, let's see, this is a Bentley mission. Let's collect this bottle over here. Is there... I don't think there's a bottle up there. Let's see. I, and this map is very, very <clears throat> vertical. Oh. So there's gonna... Oh. Can I grab it without... Okay. I'm just gonna actually grab that. And then I'm gonna... Okay. Well, let's keep looking. We got a lot of bottles to find. There's gotta be one down here, right? Yeah. Alright, we got seven already. Whoops. How do I get off of this platform? Oh, I can just climb up. Oh, where are you? I wanna see the bird. I don't know, dude, Clockwork is one of like the coolest villains, man. Look how sick that is. It's so cool. I love it. Right, let's see. Any bottles up here? No. There is a bottle next to Murray's mission, though. Go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna assume that there's gonna be a bottle on top of every blimp, just because <clears throat> why not, right? Let's see. Bottle? No bottle. Okay, noted. Um, yeah, I don't, wait. Oh yeah, that's where I just came from. I'm like, is there going to be a bottle over there? I guess if we really wanted to play this smart, we would go up to down. Because it's a lot easier to get down than to get up. R remind ourselves that that's there. Yeah, just remind ourselves that that's there. Oh, that could be it right there. Okay. Let's see, will it let us climb up here? No, it won't actually. That's weird. But we can grab <clears throat> this bottle over here. Where can I go that's high enough? Um. Oh, there's another bottle there. Bonk. I see, actually, another bottle over there, too. Try not to get shot. Let's climb up here. Maybe this is like a step closer to maybe leading us towards a way to get up to the mysterious place over there. Oh, can I climb this thing? Ah, uh, that's probably it. Maybe? Okay, I can definitely fly down using this. Let's see, can I hit it in the right location? Woo. Lit. Okay. So it's gonna be things like this I have to watch out for that. Like, I just, like, don't see that well. I think that's it for this area. So, can we get... Can we get any... Ooh! There's one up here and I didn't even notice. Ooh! What in the world is that? I don't know what that is, but I don't want to touch it. Okay, so there's nothing up here. Don't knock me off. Okay. So I think this right here will lead me to higher places. Okay, and another bottle, actually. Oof. Actually, here, let me fall off. If I fall off, it might bring me back up to, yeah, where I needed to be. Ooh, there's another... Oh, so that dude sniped me out of the air, like... I think that was the best snipe so far of the game, I would say. I see another bottle over there. Alright, um... Let's make sure if there's a bottle that requires height, 
we do that one first. Whoops. I say that and then I fall off, so that's cool. I think that might be the only bottle here. Doesn't seem like there's anywhere really else to hide a bottle. Zoink, give me your treasure. I still need a little bit of the money, so. What you got? Large gold bar. Look at you. Cashed out. Now you're done. Oh, you got treasure on you also, too? Gimme, gimme. What you got? Another large gold bar. I wonder now that we're in the last level, everyone just has gold bars on them. Like, these, these, these guys are the high pay rate guards, clearly. Alright, let's see. Did I... Did I check over here? I don't know if I checked over here. I'm still missing quite a few bottles, though. See. Oh, ten more. Okay, so it's a lot, but not that much. I don't think we checked over here. Really, guys? Just leave me alone for two seconds. I'm not like I'm not trying to hurt y'all or steal. I just I just want a second to look for bottles. Ah, the dude's gonna try to snipe me now. Okay, okay. I'm guessing I could do the same thing by just jumping down here, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll just go around. 20. 21. And then there's gonna be 22. Alright, there was quite a few in that area. I wouldn't suspect any more are here now. Maybe, maybe there's actually one... Over yonder. Wait, I've actually already been here. Yeah, I wouldn't suspect another one to be right here. Ooh, secret bottle. Grab that one. I'll just fly around this guy. Oh, what a clock low. You just went through the map. Whoops. Also, I'm probably going to die here. Yep. Psych. I'm still alive with like 2 HP. It's a weird floating egg. Also, did I just see a bottle? Bottle? Nope. Hey yo. Six more. <gasps> That's how you do it. Maybe. There was probably another way to get up here that I don't know about, but that was also kind of sick. Oop, I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Can I jump from here? Like, if I do this, and then I can actually double jump to get up here. Alright, I'm at, that was, that's actually pretty cool, guys. I know there's a time treasure here. Oh, we got a minute? Say less, that's more than enough time. Now, the only problem is I can't really get shot, but I think I'll be fine. Oh, yeah, see? Right there, bang. I just wouldn't have checked that for some reason otherwise. That's exactly why, if you get stuck, go treasure hunting. It will usually help you find a bottle or two. Not all of them, but it'll help you. See, and I hear another bottle. 
Yeah, so there is another bottle near here. There's actually maybe, maybe two. See, I didn't think this area of the map was actually accessible. There's another one over here. Okay. We need two more bottles. Two more. Okay. Well, what I'm gonna do now is... I'm gonna look for treasure. I need to find where the last two are. I hear a bottle. There's one up here, isn't there? Yep. Cool. One more bottle, along with two treasures. So, one bottle, two treasures, since now. I think there's gotta be a treasure on that large like, communal platform for all the guards. There has to be one there. But I also hear the last bottle. Okay. Yeah, at the end there, it kinda cleared up on its own there, which is nice. I didn't really have to search that hard. The treasures guided me. There's another one. I I had a feeling there had to be one in this area. Where's the safe house? Okay, safe house is that way. Alright, another timed one. We only have a minute for this one, so actually we have less time than normal. I'm, I will be taking the hard route here. Actually, I say it's the hard route, but it's just... The route where I gotta not be dumb and get hit by these things. Yeah. And then, while I'm at it, I will be picking this guy's stuff. Medium nugget, that's all you got for me? Disgraceful. Yeah, and I still have plenty of time to get back. As long, again, as long as I don't get hit by anything. Hopefully he doesn't, like, snipe me with, like, a little pebble. Alright, one more treasure. And I, I gotta find where it's at. Try V2. Again, maybe this time we won't hit the propellers. And maybe we'll take this way this time. A little bit of a safer route, huh? And then we'll check how much these treasures are worth, and hopefully... They are enough to buy the moves? I I highly doubt they would be. Because those last moves are going to be like 4,000 total, which is a lot of coinage. Please don't hit me. Alright, that is all of them. Let's go ahead and see what we can sell. We already got 1,000 actually. Oh yeah, that's not a lot. Wait, we're close though. We're, at, we're actually not that far off. Let's buy the Diablo Fire Slam. We literally need like 300 more coins. So you know what, actually, I will be going around pickpocketing and we're gonna buy the move right now. All right, I'm wishful thinking on that diamond. I'm just hoping that diamond's worth a little something that I can just sell it here. We're very, very close, I can feel it. There we go. All right, and I think other than the last safe, I think that's all the moves in the game. Alright, we're gonna get that safe and the missions next episode. We got the bottles and the treasure, guys, so see you next time. What's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly. Um, we got a lot of missions to do. Last episode, we collected all the bottles, all the treasure, and did like, the preliminary mission. Let's go ahead and start doing the actual work now. We'll be on the eye for the last safe as we go, since now we have all the bottles. And once we get that last save, that I think that's the last move we get in this game. We bought all the moves from every single shop. So, it's going to be interesting. I, I'm hoping the last one is a good one, you know? Like something real powerful. You and I are going to have to work together. Happy to have you along, Bentley. What do you need me to do? Pickpocket the guard's keys to the engine room. Once you've got the door open, I'll take over. Okay, you should take your position. It's not going to take me long to lighten these guys of their keys. All right, where are they at? Okay, they're all on this little bridge. That shouldn't be hard to do then. Try not to fall off when I do that. Ooh, he stopped very suddenly. Right, key number one for thank you. 
I'm gonna send you into the. You're stupid. Yeah, that's right. Alright, where's the next guy? You down there? So they're there. And there. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab this dude's key over here then first. Because the other two are more near each other. Hopefully, that guy up there doesn't see me. But I'm not gonna bother getting things like treasure now because I don't really need any more money. We kind of juiced the game of its moves, so. Another engine room key. Alright, the other two. Ooh, wait, there's five. Why did I think there was four? Apparently, I just would want it to be four. Maybe I'm trying to like, manifest. Get that fifth key to go away. What's up? Also, you could totally do this and then double jump, and I did not know about that. But that is pretty cool. Yoink! Alright, two more keys. I think the other two are a little higher, though, right? Okay, go ahead and don't chase me. There we go. Key time. Oh, bye bye. Where's the last guy? At? Is he right below me? Wonder. Okay, I was gonna say. You want one thing that I'm wondering? Do the keys change after I pick one? But it looks like they don't. They stay on the same person. Here we go. That took a lot longer than it should have. I don't know why it took so long, but... Alright, which engine room was that, bud? Alright, Bentley. I think it's time for you to do what you do. Okay, Bentley. You're on. So I wonder, are we gonna be, are we hacking or exploding? Okay, I did not let him finish. That was probably a mistake. Okay, so I need to hit that but then I also need to hit that right yeah whoops I did not mean to hit that one do I need to do it like in a timely manner or can I just not hit anyone else until I get that one I think I, can't, I just can't hit anything else until I hit the other one sniped In that case, I almost hit the other one and I didn't mean to. What? Mm. Darn it, now I have to go all the way. I have to wait for it to go around. I should have just tried to hit another one. Mm. Okay, maybe I'll. I should try it. Sniper Elite or something. I'm insane. <laughs> okay, one more. Where is the last one? Okay, pal. You're all set to bounce up to the next level. How do I bounce? Oh. A little hydraulic. I'm reading this right. Ooh. This isn't very hard. Because I don't really have to fight those robots, I can just avoid them. Bonk. Did I miss one? Did I really miss one? Oh, I did. <laughs> Blink. Ooh. 
Let's go, Bentley. That's one less engine for that creepy clock lock thing to draw power from. Let's go, Bentley. An absolute unit. Now let's get out of here. I think we got two more engines to hit, so. Ugh. Can't waste any time. I do like. Honestly, I always love Bentley missions. Bentley missions are always the funnest because you tend to either blow things up or you hack. And as much as I actually. I'm not enjoying the hacking right now because of my stupid inverted controls. Which. A lot of you might be saying, like, oh, just. You, you know, invert the controls on the emulator. If I do that, it inverts the controls for everything else. So, so far, out of like the 10 different types of minigames, they're all. Um. They're all inverted correctly. The only one that's not is the hacking games. So if I revert for the hacking game, I'm going to have to revert back every single time. And I don't feel like doing that. Um, question, do we even, okay, we do have another Bentley mission. Um, but apart from that, I actually really do enjoy the hacking missions. I think they're one of the funner mini games. I just, I wish it just wasn't screwed up on my end, you know? Can I? Oh, I totally. I always, I always forget that I just like have a jetpack. I don't know why I don't utilize it more often. I feel like Bentley is more easily utilized in Sly 3, which we'll definitely do. But even in this game, I feel like we haven't utilized them to his full like strength. Oop. Okay. Whoops. Let's go to the mission without dying, maybe. Woo! Don't shoot, don't shoot! Use the turtle. That's one of the engines that needs to be disabled. I won't lie to you, Murray. This is going to be a tough job that requires both our skills. My skills? Okay, Bentley, if you say so. First, I'll need to hack the stations controlling access to the engine room. Then, Murray, you'll need to head inside and use your muscle to finish the job. The Murray will be ready to go. Whoop, he's still after me. Let's just go. Maybe we can make it to the... Oh, yeah, we'll make it to the platform. And, of course, we have the little... We can do the little dash. All right, let's do some hacking. These missions... Ooh. Oh, my things bounce. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like this. It's less about movement, which is what is I'm struggling with. If I can do a little bouncy bounces. That is much. That's cool. I like that. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this one isn't very hard, but it's cool. I like it. It's unique. It's something we haven't done before, so... I definitely am liking this. Ooh. There we go. I just need to destroy that thing. Alright, not too bad on the first one. Not bad at all. Well, there's three separate ones. Okay. Where are the other three? I right, one over there. Oh, I guess it's not going to show us both. We just need to head over to that one. Whoop. Fall off of this. Pretty easily if we're not careful. Oh, yeah. We saw this when um, we were getting the bottle. All right. Hacking initiated. Here we go. We're in the mainframe, boyos. Um, what do? Oh, I gotta. I see what we're doing here. I see. Please get destroyed. There we go. Okay, there's one. I feel like the, with these things bouncing, it's so much easier to hit them. Because I can almost aim in the wrong direction, and I'm basically still fine. There we go. 
See, like, I didn't even mean to hit those ones behind me, but the game was like, yeah, let's go ahead and just be fine with that. Come on, bro. Is that it? Or do I have to fight something else? Oh, it looks like that's it. I just gotta destroy the red things and... more money. Well, I do gotta watch out that I don't die before then. The pizza slices are gonna get to me. Woo! Oh, actually, they hit me quite good there. But he seems to take a few more bullets to destroy than usual, it seems. Cool. Good job, Bentley. Where's the last one? Over there. Roger, roger. Let's see, can we fly? So that's where I'm supposed to be. Whoops. Alright, last one. Here we go. I love how they're starting off the level with us being trapped. Like, is this necessary? Is this really necessary? I'm gonna just sit here and have to shoot for a minute before I can even get out. I guess that, that could be like a funny way of punishing me failing. Yeah, you, if you fail, you're gonna have to sit there for another minute to get past that first useless wall. Was this it? Was this really the last level? Seems like this is... It was the easier one of the bunch. I think the second... The second one was definitely the hardest. Ew. Bentley's getting into the groove of things. Hey pal. Looks like Text. you'll need to lift all those giant cylinders. Once they're locked in the up position, you'll be able to take them out from the top level. Okay. Do I need to... Oh, okay, so... I was like, do they fall back down? That's my question. It looks like I am just kind of... Don't do that. Let me just get this one up and then you can hurt me. There we go. As long as they let me get that one up, I'm not even mad about it. Also, hold on. I, I have a couple new moves, right? I have... Oh, this is the... Fire slam. Oh yeah. This that's the roar. Um let's do this. Oh, wait, how in the world do I use it? Okay, I need I need to be carrying someone to do that. Okay. I didn't want that dude to blow up. Alright, well the next time we can pick up some someone up, we'll go ahead and give that a whirl here. Please don't hit me. Give me one moment. Kind of in the middle of something. Alright, let's give this a whirl, huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Man, yeah, that's not that amazing, though. I'm definitely... Let's do the... Yeah, let's do that. No. Oh. Okay. Ah. I'm gonna throw you at the next guy I see. Shut up. You wanna come at me, bro? Oh! I landed on top of his little gadget thing. Alright. Where's the last one? I think this is the last one at least. Oh yeah. Skirt. Boing. I wonder what the purpose of those little robots is. 
I'm sure they'll. We'll probably have to do something with them later. Oh, they're just kind of chilling. I don't really understand their reasoning. Can I only, like, berserk and at someone? I thought I could just do it in any direction. Apparently that's not the case. Alright, engine two. Let's go. Ooh. Alright. Get out of here. Now let's go to our third engine. Alright, what's Murray's deal? I He always gives us the slideshows, and I always forget. It looks like I'm going to need some help getting into that engine room. Happy to help. All right. Bentley tells me that the door to that room is locked down by wall-mounted power stations located throughout this blimp. I'll need you to take out all the power stations and then pry open the door by hand. No sweat, Sly. Okay, so how do I do that? <laughs> do I just punch it? Is it as easy as just punching it? Can I jump over this? Oh, yo, Murray's insane. I have to throw stuff at it, of course. That makes a little more sense. I'm like, we. The only other time we did a mission like this was over at uh, Dimitri's place. No, my not supposed to throw stuff at it. Hmm. Did I not throw something correctly? Egg. Give. Give egg. Okay, I was supposed I was supposed to throw stuff at it. I don't know why that guard didn't like go anywhere near it. That was a little weird. Whoopsies. Am I dead? I'm dead from that. Huh. This map is I haven't died on a map like this in a very long time. I'm gonna stick to the uh Mr. Besson's games were like definitely the hardest thing in this entire game, but this map is so easy to fall off of, it's insane. And it's probably not that bad, I'm just kind of I'm just a little dumb. Shut up. Don't shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, I'm gonna freaking knock you. Alright, there we go. That move is kind of nuts. Yo, how many times do I need to hit this bad boy? Haha, <laughs> you suck. Come on now. There we go. Moving on to the next one. We got three. Okay, so all four are over there. Let's try and take the high ground here, huh? I'll just punch you off. That works. Alright, I need things to pick up. Oh, I can pick these up. Lit. Alright, I'm throwing every single one of you at this. Well, actually, you guys will die. See that those weaklings are only take two hits. Ow! I somehow hit myself with that. Giant brain. Woo! Oh, it's dead. Okay. Moving on to the next one. You know, I'll even, I'll even take a barrel with me. Oh, what up, Clockla? How you doing? Beautiful weather, are they? Come on, bro. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'll definitely throw this thing at it. Got the chairs. Ah! Alright, each of you is going at this thing. Just kidding. Alright, where's the next one? Did it like move locations? Or oh, I think I got disoriented. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Alright, that was your mistake. Where is it? Over here. Alright, well, I'll definitely throw some guards at it when they come over then. Ooh, why is there so many of you? Holy. Oh, 
Oh, I have no health. Throw a bunch of chairs at it. Alright, one more. See, did I just like miss it? Or did it move locations? I don't know. Question, if I hold it longer, does he run longer? No, he doesn't. Okay, so he does have a set set running pattern here. Um is it over here? Oh going at it because you guys annoy me. These guys have been s sniping me all game. You deserve to get smashed into a power box. Whoops! Okie dokie. I was very close to hitting that red barrel and I would have been very embarrassed. Alright, slide. Do your thing. Each of us have opened the door and each of us have to break an engine room, so I'm just gonna assume that Sly has to do a little some something in there. Oh. <laughs> oh, so just. Oh, I get it. It just slowly moves over, so I just. Gotta sit here and not die for a minute. I got you, I got you. I was about to say, oh, that's not very hard, but I did just get hit by a laser a second ago, so I, I don't think I have the right to really claim that. Wait, where's where's the controller? I just got... Oh, it's literally right in front of me. Alrighty, here we go. We'll just hop back and forth. There we go. Jump here. <gasps> hey, here's the vault too. All right, let's see what the final move is. All right, give me, give me something. S invisibility? That's kind of nuts. I'm assuming that's invisibility. You can tell me what it is. Press L to assign this cat. Oh. All right, let's get rid of that. Oh, so it's quite literally just invisibility. That's pretty cool, but slightly useless now, but thank you. But that technically is a very, like, good move, though. That is a little nuts. 96%. Look, look at us go. Oh, I don't even... Why did I jump on that? I don't need to. Engine room is done. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, here's what I'm wondering. If I'm in the middle of a fight, and I do that, do people still see me? I think that's my real question. Let's do that. Let's give it a... Let's give it a little test world here. Where's an enemy? Okay, if I do this, okay, apparently I can't, yeah, I can't actually do that while in combat. I need to do it when I'm out of combat. Alright, that makes a little bit of sense. Okay, we got a slime mission. I think that's, that's it. We just got the slime mission. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves killed here so I can get some health back. Alright, let's make our way over to the next mission, but we're going to end up doing it next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. What's up, guys? We're playing some more Sly. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do the next mission here. This engine room is locked out tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside.
outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right, let's blow stuff up. Okay, seems easy enough. Although, I have my doubts about having explosives on a plane. It feels like out of all places to put an explosive, something that is floating might not be the best idea. Might not be the best idea. Come on, broski, why you walk so slow? What are you getting paid for? Walk faster. Although, when we were pickpocketing these guys to make a little bit of money, half of them were carrying, like, small nuggets. They were broke boys, so... Wait, did I just run past one? Oh, but there is one right here. Let's go ahead and grab this one first, since we're next to it. We tiptoeing. Love I love his little B animation. Boink. Okay, where to next? There's one over there and one over there. Okay, so I definitely think we go to this one and then we head back towards there because also the engine itself should be in the other direction. So it's easier to grab this one, head back, grab the other one, and then we'll just be closer to the engine room. I'm just gonna drop. I think it might be the easiest way to do this. Oops. There we go. He can't see me if he's not even here. Also, why couldn't I just like walk around with Sly and grab them and then attach them to my device? Is it necessary for me to carry the whole explosive with me? Okay, so now we need to get up higher, so... We need to get on one of these things. Oh, I can't get up? I need to go all the way around. Noted. Also, is that A for arpeggio? I'm guessing right. That would make sense. Might have to sit for a moment here. Alright, walk past me, bird brain. With your fake knees. Just another explosive device. Ignore me, you know. I look a little different, but who doesn't? Now, the real question is, can I boing on this thing? I'm gonna assume I can, considering they put st a stairs for me here. That's also funny. Instead of doing the boing thing, they literally brought me all the way up slowly. That's kind of funny. Okay. Yeah, I knew I needed to get a little higher for this last one, so... What up? Clock, well, how you doing? I like your... I like your wings. They're pretty cool. Can I have them? Goodbye. I guess she doesn't want to talk. Alright. Just another explosive. This one's floating a little bit. Yeah, he's the weird one. Look, it's a floating barrel. Look at him, not me. Bye bye. With the TNT barrel all charged up, it's time to deliver the payload to that engine. Okay, so it's gonna be a little hard. I'm actually gonna have to go across the tilty thing. So I'm gonna have to catch it at the right angle, because if I catch it like near the end, I probably will fall off. So, nothing to look at, just a explosive barrel in the middle of a bridge on a plane a couple miles up. Nothing suspicious, I guarantee it. I, I think I'll make it. Yeah, I'll make it. I'll be fine. Alright, where do I need to set it down? Oop. What are you guys doing? <gasps> Not legal. Even if it's technically like a terrorist organization or a thief, this has to be illegal. Or against like some war crime, right? 
Okay. Alright, engine. Later, my guy. Should be the last time anyone puts that engine to use. Cool. All the engines are destroyed. Bentley, give me the, give me the PowerPoint. What are we doing? What do we what do we have in our horizons here? And an unexpected windfall. I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. That's so kindly then. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Klockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. All right, Bentley, I got you. Sly, I'm guessing he's the man for this job, right? Yes, he is. Got my way. Okay, Sly. We need to send Carmelita a radio pulse so she can home in on the blimp. To do that, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right, sounds like fun. It does sound like fun, actually. Oh, Woo. that is a high jump. All right, that is cool. I wish we had that during the normal game. Okay, so, oh, where are we? Dude, can you leave me alone? What are you obsessed with me? Get your girlfriend, get out of here. Get the oh, we're not even near where we're supposed to be. Okay, noted. I'm nowhere near. I am in the wrong location. Don't, don't do that. Did your parents teach you to be nice to other people? What's wrong with you? Alright, we could probably super jump from here and then go somewhere. Alright, so let's go ahead and super jump. Can we make it to that platform? I think we can. No! I think we're... No! <laughs> That's okay. There's a ladder right here. Whoop! Um, nothing to see here. Treasure? I don't need the treasure, but I'm stealing it from you because you almost caught me. I don't appreciate that. What do you got, a nugget? Medium nugget. I don't like you. I'm actually going to kill you. If you would have had any, if you would have had anything better, I wouldn't have killed him, but. Oh, God. Okay. Woo. This is sick. Boink. Boosted. There's the next one. So there's one there, there, and there. And I guess we will go to that one next. We could even almost just ride all the way over there. We're pretty close. Let me jump here. Jump here. Whoop. Boink. This is so cool. Oh my god, I love this map because we're, we're just. I'm obsessed with maps that are just high. I don't know why. I mean, I, okay, I guess it's a natural instinct for most people in video games. That's why Assassin's Creed is so popular. I don't think it's the story of the characters. I think it's you can go high and then jump. I think that's the fun part. I'm saying that with sarcasm, just in case you guys didn't detect that, but I do love jumping from high places and very long glides. Um, I guess I'll just keep smacking my head at the top of the boards until I figure out where I need to go here. Alright, one more to go. Can I jump on top of this? Is this a climbable thing? It is a climbable thing. That's sick. Dude, you wanna wonder. Maybe I don't need... Can I just do that and then not even climb the thing? Just go straight to it? No, I can't. But that was pretty close. Blink. Whoop. 
No, 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 that's not what I wanted to jump in. Oh, what up? Dang, she got close. Now, let's try to get on the right thing this time. Ninety-eight percent. Look at us. We're almost there. All right, what is that? How many does Gunner? Man, why can't I keep the jet or the mega mega boost jump thing? That thing was cool. They should they should have let us keep that. See, if that thing was in the safe, that last safe, that would make me a happy man. But at least we can just glide all the way over here. Whoop. I don't want to fight. Later. Looks like for once, let's cut the flirty chit chat and get down to business. I need an experienced tail gunner. Jump in and grab the gun. We've got a bird to take down. That's not flirty chit chat. <laughs> oh, oh, we're just jumping right in. It. Oh, my controls are inverted. I think I know what to do. I just gotta <laughs> be better, I guess. Gotta get good. Shoot a couple at her head here. Fall, fall, fall. Shoot a couple at her body. Ooh, we got a nice, nice couple shots in there. Just look at all these red things. Ooh. Get a couple of body shots here. Let it cool down because I'm gonna have to shoot a couple of these red things down. Oh, I missed quite a couple there. Let's take these things out early. Okay, so I just have to shoot it once to get its electricity away. I don't have to shoot it multiple times. That's, that was the mistake I kept making. I assumed I had to hit this thing a whole bunch. I just have to hit it the one time. That, that one's gonna... I didn't know... How, how do I avoid those big red ones? I don't actually know. He, Papa kept shooting those big red ones, but I don't know how to dodge them, actually. I'm gonna get that one out of the way so I don't have to throw too far. Oh yeah, there we go. Shoot that one. That one. Oh, I almost missed it. I totally whiffed a lot of those. I don't... Again, I don't know how to dodge those, actually. I wonder, are they undodgeable? Get that one out of the way. That one, that one. Oh, did I disable both of those on accident? I'm sick. Oh, my... <laughs> You tricked me with that one. I did not see that turn, actually. Oh, yeah. She's throwing in some curveballs here. Throwing them in places where I can't see. Oh, she done. I'm a cause into that. Are we going down? Guess we're going to the ground then, huh? Maybe not. Oh, all right. I'm oh, he's still guys. sneaking. Hold on. Um. Oh, that sucks. All right, here we go. I just need things to tilt in the direction that I need them to. And then with things like this, I just need to not hit their propeller, which I'm very prone to do. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that entire building and just go to this one. Yeah, I made it super close, but then I hit a propeller. I'm coming, Bentley, I'm coming. Not really anyone else here to help you, huh? I don't I don't think the cops particularly want to help. That's just a guess though. My life is literally flashing before my eyes. I'm sorry, Bentley. Literally. Is it literally, Bentley? Is it literally? <gasps> I almost missed that. Very close to missing. Alright, I'm coming. I'm Last jump. Hurry. I'm coming, Bentley. Don't be scared. You probably should be scared, actually. We're kind of in a bad situation here, but... I'm coming. Ooh. Still the low-down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave all you can. All right, let's go smack her in the head, you doofus. Okay. Oh, it doesn't hit her wing. It hits me. Oh, I literally got. Okay, I gotta smack her in the head. But how do I? Oh, I literally just... Okay. I overthought the crap out of that. Here we go. I'll just hit her in the head. You good? Are you, are you okay, Clockwork? Ooh, those are some nice talons you got there. Very shiny. Do I just, like... Oh, can you just climb up here? Hello. I would like one eyeball, please. Whoops. Uh, goodbye. Um, okay. Hmm. Do I... <laughs> Man, they are not giving me any clues about this, huh? They just... Oh, he'll... For... Okay, there's our head. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just... Smack. Watch out, that thing's still kicking. Lagla mentioned something about a heat chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. I'll pry open that beak so that Bentley can go to town with his bombs. Let's do it. Murray's going. You going crazy. You going X game smoke. Alright. Bentley get up in there with your bombs, homeboy. I hate you, Cooper Gang. I will find you in your sleep and I will destroy you. You will never know a moment of peace for the rest of your short, miserable lives. The clock lock feel no revenge. I am revenge. I am the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, dude. Oh, that's gotta that's gotta be like break some religion right there. Alright. You know what I wonder? Can I throw a bomb in there? I think that would be kind of funny. Do I have to place one or can I just like lob one in there? Okay, I can't. Apparently I can't just blow her up like this. Ooh, it did break something though. Okay. Was I supposed to do that? That's interesting. Alright, let's go in. Let's get out of here! She's about to explode! Ah! My glasses! What? Bentley! I'll save you! Come 
on, Sly. Let's get out of here. And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated, and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in on Clockla. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It was the least I could do. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, well, everything. Books, music, art. It was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours, a fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Floating away on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! I'll be seeing you soon, Ringtail. Yeah, what a great game. Such an improvement from the first one. This is just like such a classic case of when there's a game and it's good, and they really take the next step and make it better in every single way there is not a single thing in this game that is a downgrade from sly one but almost everything is an upgrade there's not a single thing that isn't so i don't know i think um this is a really really great game i can't say any more than that usually i have things to critique about a game nothing to critique here um, I think this game, for its time, couldn't do much better than this, to be honest. And... Ooh. Nice. Classy as always. Could use the search for... Current whereabouts are still unknown, so they... she doesn't know where he's at. Cool, I wonder if there's gonna... Oh, Dimitri went on work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. Okay, so we're gonna get a little update on everyone. Super sick. Rajan now owns a series of rug outlets across North America. Okay. Contessa went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the greater Milwaukee area. Okay. Went on to work for the EPA. Ended up frozen yet again on the rescue mission, saving baby penguins. Okay. Very cool. 
And I'm sure we'll be seeing a couple of those characters soon. No spoilers, but we'll be seeing a couple of them. But yeah, what a great game. And honestly, I'm just as excited for Sly 3. Okay, that's it. You've seen everything. You won. God, Sly, no, don't tell me what to do. It's, it's winter, dude. It's, there's snow out. So did we 100% the game? That's my question. 100%. The game is 100% done. We got all the bottles, all the treasures, all the moves, all the missions. Very cool. Okay, so you guys know where we're going. We're going slide 3 next, and I'm almost just as excited. A lot. Of, it, there's a very hot debate whether 2 or 3 is the best game. Um, it depends on how you look at it. I think... Well, I guess we'll have to play 3, but from what I remember... Three is a better game, like the game itself is more fun, but two was such an upgrade from the first one. It's like, it's hard, you know, cause two is, Whoa, oh, wait, there was a little thing at the corner. Two is a classic, but three is a masterpiece. So I don't, all right, everybody. So that's it. Let's go ahead and end the video here and I'll see you guys slide three.